Welcome back mga kaibigan sa Filipino broadcast ng PGL RMR European Groups as we're on the way towards the Antwerp Major and geared up tayo ngayon sa laban between Astralis versus Players ngayon. Ako pala si Dad Femina. Kasama ko si Sneaky Frog na patagal ko ng kaibigan pero mamaya na tayo mag-introduction. Mukhang nandito na tayo sa laban, Sneaky. Yep, and it seems like um, yun na nga, CTs for the side of Players. T-side para dito sa Astralis and uh, ooh, more fights actually na dito na sa mid already. Astralis wanting to get etong donut control so they could get A site really easily. Oh yeah. I mean, aggressive push towards A site para sa si Axel. Oh, snap a clean ng shots. Shiro and Hobbit getting three pieces all together for the players right now. Astralis though. All relying on config ngayon. And so far, sobrang, uh, sobrang aggressive ng pag-push ng Astralis ngayon. Yeah, we got config on taking a piece for himself. Dito kay Shiro. Kaso nga lang, 3 HP, walang armor. Hindi siya makakapanalo dun sa duel niya kay Axile. It's an easy, easy 1-0 to zero so far for the members of uh, uh, the, 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 the city side actually. Yeah, I think Astralis, medyo nag-spend sila ng utility dito sa mid. I think that's the reason why nagmamadali sila. Actually, they, they actually want to get in before paka-timing dito. Yung players coming in from top mid, but unfortunately, you, sa ibang place sila nag-meet, it was actually itong A site. Players obviously having the angles dito sa ating mga teams in Astralis only having a hard time and they will just probably have more kasi nga, ego sila ngayon. Aba, ego na ego nga talaga. At uh, on the contrary, yung kabilang side naman sa mga players. Si mm -hmm. They do have M4s, FAMAS, and an MP9. <laughs> and a P250 dito kay Shiro. And ayun na nga, I mean, that's pretty much it for the side of players. They really want to save as much as they can. I think Shiro is trying to save for that AWP, which is really useful dito sa Ancient, especially pagdating dito kay Shiro. He can turn up mid. Ng, uh... oh. And he can get uh, a side as well. Pero Hobbit, nakuha na si Zipex dito. Oh! And nagkaabusa na nga dito sa mid. Axile is gonna get config blame if at least can get the plant. No, he can't. Yun lang. The maps playing para dito sa players. And ayun na nga, 2-0. What a good start para dito sa mga players. But it is kind of expected. It is ancient. One of the city-sided maps dito sa ating map pool. And um, yeah, just so far so good para sa players. The map is literally playing for them. As they are playing it normally, not seeing any sins yet. No one one trees that they eat off from any of the teams just leaving one person to defend A. But now they can go aggressive. Kahit pa paano, pero no mga mga utility itong players if they want to go aggressive, maybe they get pop a flash into the short. Maybe get one. Pero Astralis, they're just gonna be back on their slow pace, the usual Astralis that we are used to see. Oh man, I mean, I believe it's the experience that they always bring to the table. Chaka with enough time that they have with their new roster coming in, especially with Lucky out of the equation ngayon para sa Astralis. Uh, this, one of these tournaments, ito ngayon, nasa PGL RMR ngayon tayo ngayon. Eh, this could be the amount of experience that they need para makapag-grow sila sa team nila ngayon. Pero ngayon, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a slow play para sa T-side ngayon and Astralis. Looking to split up a few of these members, take mid control for config, but oh, a slick shot onto Axile and already trying to head over towards the house side. And because of the smoke, Hobbit is not gonna get found out. He makes his presence known, he takes down one of these members out of Astralis. It's now 4v4. It's an easy pick out of the members of players as he backs away from danger. Yup, and napakadali na to para sa Astralis. If ever they want to go into the A site, they only have to smoke the temple, which is already smoked actually. And as long as they can get the right timing and Shiro doesn't peek in time, this would be a disaster and good reaction. Galing dito kay Glaive, and I think they have some minor control here as Shiro has to get a pick dito sa A. Oh yeah. I mean, a really good recovery out of one of these players. And Shiro just trying to build that momentum back up. Ulit. Glaive is out. Pero si Zipex nakakuha ng refrag. An advantage para sa mga miyembro ng Astralis. But ooh, they had no time para plant yung 
yung Bob mismo, that it, it's another bonus on their side that they got another kill towards these members of Astralis. So it's a 3-0 already in favor para sa mga membro ng players ngayon. As if, I, if I remember correctly, it was a bit of a low buy. It was their bonus 100%. And uh, they expended as much damage as they can dito sa Astralis members, Shiro. Katulad ng momentum na siya or yung flare with the op that he had in the previous days. He's showing the same flare that he had now. I mean, he's one of the best offers in the CIS region for a reason. He is one of the fastest as well. And as long as he is alive with the AWP, then Gucci Gucci. Ang A site nyo, he, you can just plop him down. Pwede siya mag anchor kahit mag isa lang siya. And that's the only acceptable way to play the 1 1 3. It's just to put the upper in nga, who can make the individual plays happen and just have everyone defend the rest of the map. Problem ka lang dun sa setup na yun. You give up donut for free unless gusto magpush ng offer doon. And if they don't, then there's a way for the Astralis members to get in. But for now, Deagles are not the best option if you really just want to go for a straight up peek when the op is on the other side. Pero maybe the one shot headshot will go into effect. Then yun nga Glaive is gonna get Hobbit dito sa mid. That might be a free rifle as well. It's not a one shot, but it's definitely effective to take out one of these players out on players. And honestly, that's the best that you could hope for, right? For these Astralis members, just play off of the picks there and eventually you just get over to the objective that you want to. It's looking like a B push for Astralis ngayon, and a really good boost as well. Eventually, he might actually catch. A bit of a nuisance around kay Inters, kaso nga lang, ang ganda nga din ang angle niya. Nakalok sa other direction, but Inters was able to adjust. Blame F able to refrag while Nafani just making it all the same numbers for both sides. As Nafani not gonna get a second there. Shiro and Blame F trying to refrag everything, but it's Shiro. Siya yung may last laugh sa 4-0 para sa mga players natin ngayon. Yup, and it is Shiro once again. Siya na naman ang na giging sakit para dito sa Astralis every time that he is alive para sa kanyang team there's always a factor to consider that the, he will literally pop off no problem but not just that the rest of players actually uh, playing that oh so well Inters is staying alive dito sa my short making sure that not, to not give up short control dito sa Astralis kasi pag meron pa silang isang way na makapasok ng site then that's at least two times easier para sa Astralis but so far no success just yet needs to decide. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, they've been, uh, this is this is their map pick. Kaya feeling ko na not may hinahain sana yung Astralis members. But players have been, uh, I would say, counter stratting effectively din. Yung kung ano man yung aggressive attempts ng Astralis. I mean, like, the, yung pace sila. I mean, it's not as fast as they would like, honestly. But players themselves, off the back of the op from Shiro and the, Nagita natin na ma maganda din yung flame aiming na meron si Hobbit and the rest of the squad but a spray down from Axile but it's only gonna get one as Config was able to refrag one for one it's a four versus four now the members of Astralis are left trying to wonder where they're gonna push now mm -hmm. Config on nine HP you really don't want that if you are actually going in to the enemy team but it's Farlig oh no Farlig oh no Man. no no no, 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 no. I do though. I mean, those two picks are really huge for Astralis, especially with how slow they've been. And they, they've been really cautious of the op from Shiro, but no, they don't need to be cautious. They can just go for the quick peek. And already, four versus one, si Hobbit lang natitira. But he's stuck inside Donut, and he has to clutch this 1v4 with Astralis already taking the site for themselves. And, I mean, he could just pick off Config as we speak, but he's dicked down to 46 HP. Take the 8k. It's the best you can hope for at this point. Yeah, I mean, malaka ng choice at this point. Kung ikaw si Hobbit dito, might as well mag-save na lang dito sa base. Maybe get one more. Make it... Um, make it a clutch? Yeah, maybe... Maybe... Nah, not enough time. He's so nah. far from the bomb. Plus, Zip and Farlig only having three digits in terms of money. So, unless the loss bonus is gonna be really generous here, hindi ko alam kung makakabay pa ba ang uh, Astralis pa rin dito despite the win I mean look at that the money is still pretty bad para sa side nila kasi nga they bought until zero doon sa round na yun and unfortunately they could not uh, cover their losses despite winning the round I mean ang importante lang naman talaga is uh, 
they could get this win para at least build try to build that confidence back up kasi kasi nga lang mahirap to keep building off of that kasi sab kasabi mo nga lang sobrang dami na lang ni risk para sa round na to di ba and with these losses with these uh, these quick frags out from the members of uh, players when they're trying to refrag for each other wala eh naging ano natitira na lang yung isa the best they could hope for is to keep that rifle to the next round kaso since the money is not there Makakapag save na lang sila, maybe go for the eagle shots. Same as what uh, these members from Astralis are also doing in one of the previous rounds. Kaso nga lang, uh, I don't really see that much happening unless they over-aggress. It could be an opportunity for the rest of the members for the player side. They're dumping a lot of the util around that mid side. Oh, that smoke bang from Hobbit. The assist out from the flash as well from one of these members from players. In yung coordination na gusto gusto natin sa CT. Yung ano, yung quick deny using a lot of those util. Slow everything down for Astralis. That's what they want. That's what they need. Especially with how, especially with how uh, it's coordinated they've been so far. What? Ooh, a 1v1 on towards that mid side. Hobbit. Kung hindi siya makakapanalo dito sa head-to-head -head niya kalaban si Glaive 4v4. And uh, with this uh, tempo slowing down for Astralis, they could go towards this B-side pa rin naman. Kaso baka ma-pick off ulit si Glaive. Si Axel just lurking around this pillar area. Yard might be the gravestone for one of these players. Ooh, and it looks like Glaive's gonna be big. A big pick for the members of players right now. Ooh, and that money is gonna stop itong push ng Astralis actually. And that mid-pick really is actually favoring it on players just shooting to favor back but far leg oh gets the big hit dito kay nafani suddenly it's a 3v3 however utility still pretty healthy by the side them players they should start tossing some of it oh yeah i mean do what you can to delay this for sure this b site is what they definitely need especially since they are committing on towards this b site enters it's gonna stop that momentum with shiro to follow with a pick again it's a 1v3 with blame f all alone until Axel just claims his head. That's a 5 to 1. Players get another win. Yan talaga. That is the definition of teamwork diff na nakita natin. Galing dito sa baka players playing that 3v3 also. Well, Shiro actually just trying to uh, move around para hindi siya ma wallbang dito sa may cubby na area sa site. And at the same time, enters with some good cover for his teammate while short it, it well, while short is smoked. And uh, it was just pretty easy at that point. Just uh, bait each other out, then wait for the player to just peek out entirely. And you know, I mean, just like you said, um, that initial delay dito sa mid para sa players is really preventing Astralis from taking majority of mid control. And that's the goal. That That's the goal of the mollies and the smokes toss to get that first step dito sa mid because once you have mid control, I mean, half of the battle's already won para sa yo. Yeah. This uh, correct response from players there shows the... Uh, I feel like they've played that scenario so many times into their CSGO careers. Uh, parang textbook na lang sa kanila eh. <laughs> Even the smoke bang. But Zipix just coming out of that smoke. Tech 9 out. Nakapista lang to but he's still aggressive as ever. Just denying the possibility of a double but It's still a 4v4. It's a 1 for 1. And Shiro's still ever so dangerous with that op. Kaso nga lang... Yung shots na yun, just warning shots towards the Astralis members and could be enough to make them rethink their choices kung pupunta sa sabi. Oh, well, banging throughout that ninja though, Sifix! Another pick and a smoke bang again from Farlig, but it's Nafani himself who takes the frag over towards one of these members of Astralis. It's a quick plant. They can even upgrade the weapons right now. Nafani waits for one of these members. Come out! And he even gets the headshot onto Sipix. Another for Hobbit. It's a 3v1. The retake is perfect for players so far. As Glaive finds himself in a 1v3. Might even isolate one of these members out. But the Tech 9 is not enough to win that clutch. It's a 6 to 1. An easy defuse for the player side. Mm -hmm. Rounds going as expected para dito sa players. I mean, Tech Nines really don't have a chance up against um, M4s unless you are in a group setting. Pero yun nga. I mean, Zipex killing his own teammate was a bit unfortunate there. Zip uh, getting one more kill 
and they got the upper, but unfortunately, uh, the rest of players just knowing what to do in that situation. Na hindi dapat sila magpapanik. Tamang retake lang tayo dito. We are the CTs. We are the more uh, advantageous side dito sa mapa na to. And Astralis, unfortunately, feeling the burn of playing T-side on Ancient. Uh, I mean, it's, it's heavily it's, ano eh, CT-sided eh. Ang Ancient. Like Sabi nga, nuke. Sa nuke. Si, o nga eh. Wala, sabi ni Dropout Candy kaya... I think I really do get why. Because you could just throw so much of this util to delay more than any other map. Blame F. I don't know how you got that kill, but Farley. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pixel Big peak. Shot. Hop was perfect. So as one of these members of players, and this is what Astralis need. They just need to kick these picks off. And Blame F gets another while Shiro, an off-camera kill with Op. So all these picks are very important for the Astralis members. They need all of these advantages moving forward into this ancient map. Mm -hmm. But the bomb is still dropped dito sa my base. So, um, medyo madedelay pa ang push dito ng Astralis. I think what's important for Shiro is to cover mid para dito kay Hobbit just in case na yun nga mag-flank dito si Config. But it's gonna be all up to Hobbit whether or not makakapasok dito yung Astralis' side. So he's gonna have to get some well-placed shots galing dito sa my cubby na area or else it's gonna be uh, Astralis just getting full control and they're playing this really patiently but this could actually bite them in the back if they take too long. Oh, pag hindi nila kinat yung corners na nila but oh, they don't need to check their corners just Hobbit's just gonna come out of cover anyway kaya Shiro left all alone in a 1v3. It was a 1v4 kaso nga lang si Config nagkahanap ng patay. You have the man advantage so you don't really need to peek out like that. Could bite them in the dust if they're not careful but still, naka-up pa rin si Shiro in a 1v3. Trying to retake towards B side, I don't think he has enough time if he's uh, playing a bit more passively, just like this, what we're seeing. And again, uh, Strawless, na kuha na nila yung tempo na kailangan nila dito sa round na to. Kaso nga lang, they need to do it like time and time and time again if they want to catch up against these players. But I'd, I'd be happy with them getting the second round, nonetheless. Yeah, I would be too if I was Astralis. I mean, that's, that's like if, optimally if you want to play Ancient, you would go for four or five so only three left for Astralis and they're gonna have a comfy time dito sa ating city side pero players um it's a bit bad para sa economy nila at the moment I think the only good part about uh, what happened the last round is na save nila yung off dito para kay Shiro so Shiro can maybe make a play maybe sa top mid maybe sa A site if they do decide to put him there on his own pero oh it's gonna be a force by para dito sa players I think Hobbit's only gonna play close and uh, the guy with the MP9 so far, 11 to 4. Galing sa kanya. What a performance. But uh, for the other side, it's Far League once again. Not uh, like this. Not like this. Not like this indeed. Now, I expect man sa, sa player like Hobbit just popping off right now. IGL, guys. Uh, para sa Astralis, na si Far League making like all the, all the heavy work themselves, guys. Coordination is all that they need. Nafani. Oh, oh, na catch. Na, na timing. And really rough indeed. The two picks for the members of Astralis. Another tempo. Another uh, chance at actually uh, aggressively taking the B site. Well coordinated in this round right now. Hobbit. Trigger discipline. Not waiting any longer. This destroys Config. Trying to take a peek. But blame F. It's taking the F over towards Hobbit. And that's 2v4. They could try to retake but... Looking like a save for the two players, and it's understandable. They have the op, they have to conserve as much of the buy as they had in this round. Yep, and it's a bit of a disaster para dito sa players, but at the same time, there's some unlucky timings. I mean, Nafani turning around as soon as uh, Astralis peeks the corner is not what you want kung ikaw si Nafani dito. Could not even get one kill. Hobbit with an MP9 could not fight back as well. So Shiro and Axile have to lick their wounds and just try to see if they can do some damage with the guns that they have now. Nag force by sila sa last round, ibig sabihin niyan, Hobbit, Nafani, and Inters have no choice but to eco. So, a timeout will be used for the side of players just to, just to try to rethink yung, uh, yung situation dito sa ating first half. I mean, 6 and 3, if your players here, you really want to fight for more CT rounds dito sa ating first half. I mean, tama naman. Especially since this map is definitely CT-sided, as you, Dropout, have said. 
then as if you're a straw list, then you can take as much, much of those rounds as you can. Especially when we head into the second half. Pag nag swap na yung sides ng parehong players, then tong si Astralis, sila naman yung magkakaroon ng CT side advantage, right? Especially with uh, this being their map pick, kung matatandaan mo, Sneaky. And the uh, players, uh, ito talaga yung kailangan nila. Uh, since uh, map pick nga naman ang sinabi ko ng Astralis to, they could take advantage of it being CT sided as much as they can dito sa first half. And if they give out as many rounds as they can towards the Astralis members, then this uh, it's a big W in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And this is such an important win para sa Astralis kasi judging from the statistics, um, they have not won a single map of Dust 2 for the last five times na nilaro nila. So it is an important map one just in case kasi nga players, I mean, they're really good at that Dust 2. It's uh, their bread and butter. And they really know the map like the back of their hand pero Astralis it seems like ever since the roster changes they just forgot how to play those two and instead um, that's one of their perma bans no? if uh, napabayaan nga na uh, hindi pala na ban or you have a free ban to the other team but Shiro though good shot dito kay Far League tight angle really really tight angle I mean Kinausap din ako ng comment section kahapon at sinabi nila na si Shiro yung isa sa mga players na dapat matingnan. Oh, kaso nga lang, oh, Shiro dead. just needs to keep looking at his corners though. Hindi siya yes, nakatingin. Kirsten. Unfortunately, no, nakurse ka siya. Sorry, sorry. Caster curse, kahit anong game, kahit anong bang bang, it's already oh. gonna happen. But Zipix! Ooh! 12 a quick HP. peek right after the flash. A quick peek and 12 HP. That's something that he is definitely gonna need. A 3v3 now. All... All the time in the world for Astralis, they plant over to the B site and the members of players with Axel being down to four and with only three players alive for themselves. It's still a 3v3, guys. So I think the call is going to save one more time. Uh, an op Ooh. on the hands of Inter. She wrote their star player. A bit of a fumble in one of the previous rounds. They even got another op, guys. So I think it's just, uh, just to yeah, dispose of it. Yeah. It's going to uh, dispose of it. Long. I mean, to be honest, if I was players here, I would give Farley the op. By the way, Anna, if you don't know that, I'm the biggest Far League hater. <laughs> I am the biggest Far League hater, but no, this guy needs... I mean, I've been saying it like since the last tournament. This guy needs the lucky treatment where you just keep him on the AKs. Because uh, every time that he goes on the AKs, he does super well. Every time he goes on the up, he, either two things happen. or He gets a, an insane play or 80% of the time, he's just going to miss. So, I don't know, man. I think they've... You might need to get back on the stick, man, because uh, Far League uh, might not be it as of now. But uh, the rest of young Astralis members not in are actually picking up the stack. It's like zip seven to five so far. Oh man, you know I'm still uh, I'm still hurt about the the device situation. It could have been a uh, could have been another reawakening if they tried their best to keep the roster together. It was uh, a solid up in that position but Farlig I mean he can still make moves like this and it could still have a lot of effect towards these players right now so another early advantage these picks are very important if Astralis need to keep going at it with a tempo that they want then players could uh, could lose out on the momentum that they're trying to build back themselves back up again I mean they can go back A here Config and Glaive already getting so much control but that's uh, that's kind of the risk that Axile had to take kasi nga uh, kailangan niya mag-push dito sa mid para matulungan dito si Habit and hindi na pala nila alam na meron nang nakagapang dito sa likod Config if he gets the lurk kill then that would be huge mas lalo na if he actually went uh, top temple then they can get some minor mid control but instead they're just gonna be satisfied with taking itong A site and I don't think donut control is not gonna be enough for that one yep that's rough. That's rough out of these uh, players. They needed this round. They cannot lose a single round after this. Ah, uh, lalo na na natanggal na din yung si Shiro. But Axel at least gets a really good smoke bang. Habang nag-secure pa lang naman yung mga membro ng Astralis. Di pa sa nakapag-plant ng bomb. They want to fully secure this A site right before they try to go for the ejected. But Axel just playing around oh, just the smoke. Stick it, man, no? Almost, just stick it, just try to stick it. You have 10 seconds, and Exile just taking so much of this work. Nafani also to follow through three versus two right after Farley gets a one kill with that off, and another for Glaive. It's another 
easy plant for these members, but they made it so rough. 1v1, Hobbit versus Farlig, and honestly, it's looking like a lot of the odds are going in favor of Hobbit as he's trying to go for these oh, jump peaks, and there you I'm go, you, spray you. and pray, baby boy. It's a 7-4, to four, an easy defuse for the members of players. I mean, good shots coming in here from Farlig, but when it comes to those high-pressure situations, he's kind of not comfortable at all, but players... That has got to be the, mo the most ancient win ever. That's just the map playing for you at that point. Donut with free, uh, literal free line of sight. Not really line of sight, but uh, line of fire for the side of players to just spam through it. Molotov, everything. But blame F. If he just stuck it the first time, I think if he just tanked some of the bullets, he, this would be a fine round. Sana para dito sa side ng, uh, para dito sa side ng Astralis. I mean... They had full control of A. Meron na silang control ng, uh, ng temple dito, but I don't know. That's uh, just ancient. <laughs> That's just ancient for you. <laughs> I mean, it's just ancient. Hindi nila na take into account din yung, ano, yung lack of, of uh, donut control, which is a huge opportunity for Axel to just make these sprays happen. Hobbit as well, though. I mean, come on. The man is ice cold. Just destroying those last two members. That was a 1v2. But he just made it look so easy. High pressure situation. You just know that this guy can clutch out. Yep. Oh, and Hobbit, major winner for a reason, man. That's for sure. Oh, let's fly out. Try to go for the flashbangs. Nafani. Good dry peek onto Na Blame F. Nafani again gets a double. Glaive just sprays on down. While all of these kills are happening for both sides. It's a huge advantage for the players right now. Astralis, they try to go for a very aggressive push towards this B-side. Kaso nga lang, na-stop agad ni Nafani at saka ng mga players. Kaso, it's 2v2. Equalized for both sides. A lot of mollies to uh, try to make it difficult for them to defend the site. Bomb, I believe not going to be in sight. However, it's going to be a swap of uh, ano, adaptation for both sides again. Yeah, I mean, as long as you stop that initial push ng gagaling dito sa side ng Astralis, then you are... A okay now you just have to play the site normally. Pero Glaive, ooh, gonna be a bit brave. Dito sa A site actually just wide swinging everything. And meanwhile, players playing it smart, just playing it together, making sure that a one v one situation does not exist at all. Dito sa round natin and far league, just gonna play it patient, making sure Nasi Glaive is gonna go for some baits. Dito sa A site, but instead they're actually gonna decide to go mid for some quick rotations and far league. If you go back to A and you go through mid and the timing is right, that might be a mistake. Oh no, they see Glade. Mm -hmm. Nakita yung shadow. Nako po. They spot him. Not in the best of timings for one of these players, Astralis. It's all up to Farlig now. He's already down on the A side. Can plant the bomb too. But a lot of the time bought for one of these players now. It's a 2v1, oh. but it's a quick shot. That's a Ferrari That's peak if I've ever though. seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Counter Strike Global Offensive, baby. We got running guns as well. Oh my god, the M4 A, the M4 A1S is just crazy. To be honest, it napa crazy ng paril na yan. Uh, I think at one time, 99% of the players in one tournament, uh, na naka M4 A1S and the meta is just crazy. You can't have tracers do the smoke even. And I think the only person that only runs the M4 A4 in in our tournament, from my memory, is a bit. And He's literally the only one. There's no one else. Actually, I've heard from an interview uh, from Electronic no, na, na ano nga siya it, when he has to pick up the M4A4 because he can't shoot through the smoke. Because, uh, you know, tracers exist. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense that it's a meta gun compared to like the M4A4, right? It's, uh, it's cheaper. It has mm. a lot of uh, rate of fire. Look at that. Just demonstrating the power of it right now. Proving my point. Despite them being blinded, he had info towards one of these players, Astralis now. So it's a 5v4, an aggressive push for Hobbit. Despite him being on the CT side, he's looking to play. Put the plate towards these members of Astralis now. And because of that early pick, it's, uh, again, slowing down the tempo for Astralis. Mm -hmm. And this is bad for Astralis. So if they don't get the first pick dito, then this is just going to be them getting run over as they attempt to get into the site. So they're going to have to get... This first pick, definitely. Pero tignan mo naman si Nafani. He's just jiggling itong A main, making sure that if he gets information, an instant smoke goes down. And that's 15 to 20 seconds more delay dito sa B-side. Glaive and Axel are just playing ring around the rosy. 
around this temple oh, area. <laughs> Glaive just tagged him. <laughs> Even gets the tough, the tough kill in Hobbit. Double kill for him. Oh. Ooh, Harling is gonna Harling win the shot. The up, triple man. for Hobbit. Might even get the fork, but Glaive is just to save the day. It's a three v two, but but Astral is down in health. Glaive especially ten HP, but Zipix still alive. Just finding Inters. Not accounting for another player around midside. They could just push towards this A side right now, but Shiro has the angle. I don't believe they have the smokes to work with to try to play around the slot, but they still get the plan anyways. Mm -hmm. But, ooh, Glaive getting that bit of kill on Nafani, and Shiro could not do anything. He could not even spot Glaive with that off angle. And Astralis, I thought na matatala sila dun sa round na yun, actually, kasi uh, Hobbit has been controlling mid oh so well, pero... Imagine the distraction dito sa my lower mid. He thought na dun pa manggagaling yung mga T side players natin from the side of Astralis, pero that is uh, not true, unfortunately. So, still, I implore Astralis to give this man Farlig the lucky treatment right now as he missed <laughs> for the fourth time in this game. Oh man, you, you, you don't like him. I'm not like I'm not digging into this guy. <laughs> Bring Bumpski back, man. Oh, yeah, Hobbit! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hobbit! Oh, too ambitious. But Glaive, a perfect spray to three players. Ashtar, Shiro, Inters are down. This is the the eco buy, the low buy for them. But well, so aggressive, but then I really like these plays coming out from Astralis. Just taking so much of their full time, making a lot of work using the rifles that they have in their pockets. It's ay, pistols lang. Ano magagawa mo dun? Yeah. I mean, at this point, pag natalo pa yung Astralis, it really doesn't matter. Because they've already achieved what they wanted to get dito sa mapa na to, which is getting more than five rounds. And in terms of Ancient, that's going to be an easy time. And players, unless Nafani, Inters, and Axile start to pop off at the same time kasama na si Hobbit, then I don't think it's going to work out in their favor pag dating dito sa T-side. And Astralis, they're not stopping their aggression. Pero tingnan mo naman si Blame F turning around and smacking Inters in the face. What is that aggressive push? Oh, Nafani though. To refrag, it's a one for two, but I really like the aggressive moves out from these players. Kaso nga lang, it's, uh, it's gonna be traded out. It's a 2v3 now. And unfortunately, the mid side control not gonna work out for the CT side players. So you just have to adapt to it as we speak. But Astralis, they're looking to rotate towards the speed side, especially now that it's open for business. That's a customer, and Glaive is already taking the sale. A 1v3, but Shiro, only man alive. That's tough. That's tough when you go see Shiro dito. I mean, M4, A1S, no op in your hands, plus you are stuck trying to play this 1v3 para makuha man lang ng team mo ang 9 to 6. But I think it's going to be a sure win para dito sa Astralis. I mean, Shiro, what can you do at that point? I mean, pray that you can at least hit the shot Tito I blame F and uh, maybe try to get into the site. But Chiro, now is not the time to save, my friend. Is eight to six. Get in there, brother. Yeah. I mean, you can you can still try, try it. About. This is like the last round anyway. Try to go for the clutch. Oh, there at least. <laughs> do as much uh, do as much damage as you can. But well, it's looking the other direction, and it's a clean first half. Uh, at least, para sa both sides, it's not gonna be as easy heading into the second. Pero especially if you are on the T side, so now a lot of work cut out for the members of Astralis. Kasi sila na yung mag CT side and Ancient is a uh, is a really good map for the CT side of squad. Yep, as long as Farlig doesn't miss, you guys are gonna be fine. <laughs> All right, Blame F doing his work dito sa CT side, but I think now is the time that. Nafani has this thing, right? Na we really thought that matatala the players, and you know everyone thinks, that, oh, it's over. Then Nafani suddenly starts to come alive and he just aces the other team big lap. So I think Astralis has has to keep in mind that any of the players on players can explode at any time. So as long as they can keep them cooled down and uh, keep them uh, keep them guns out of them hands, I think it's uh -huh. fine. Para dito sa Astralis. Taking time bomb, as you say, it's a uh, possible nga naman. Kahit uh, kahit nga ata tungo si Inters, kasi kahit uh, support player alasya, he could still pop off at any given moment. Everybody has a chance to clutch here, but Axel, 
He's trying to infiltrate stone at the area. This is uh, the players just setting the tempo now. Axile destroying Glaive Farlig with a clean with a clean reap, actually. A double mm. kill for Axile, a double for Farlig. His shots are not hitting. His shots are not missing, actually, right now, Sneaky Frog. Yeah, it's like a, he's, really, he's a really good pistol player and a rifler as well. But, oh, Axile! Is this gonna run over two people? And oh no, this is a bad start for Astralis. Players get oh. the first round. Oh, oh my God. unless Blame F has something, man. I mean, there's a kit on the ground. Kaya pa naman. Pa yeah. naman. Oh. He made his presence known. Now he's going to try to clutch this 1v3 now. Especially with players knowing where the position is. Oh Blame F just running over Naphany, but fortunately going to be stopped with the momentum here. With Shiro taking the headshot. And it's a free plant. It's a free win. A free round for them. A heroic shot from Farlig in the last few seconds of the round. Unfortunately, though, the enough you may getting clutched on. And it's going to be players just running away with another victory on their hands. Mm -hmm. And this is so important for the players no, to actually start the second half after, I would say, an abysmal first half though on the CT side. And now is their chance to actually start the streak and maybe eliminate any momentum na na gain dito ng Astralis ever since that first half. But the flash is gonna come in. Oh, that's two! Oh my god! Oh, they get they get double kills for each point, right? Axel may double may double kills, ha? Para sa kanya. A one tap from Conflict from downtown there. That's a really clean shot. And it's already uh, denying the snowball out from players. And the one tap started enough definitely for the Astralis members. Ngayon, but Glaive still has the angle. He still finds a few of these players around the mid side, but Zipix has the angle as well. Might even catch one of these players off guard. Shiro, though, runs away from danger as a lurk. Is also being put down. Axile just trying to cut these corners, but Glaive has the angle as well. It's all up to Shiro. It's the 1v3. Make it a 1v2 as Config. We get found out. He's running towards his A side, but Glaive is just waiting. He's holding arms open. Para kay Shiro. I mean, napanganda naman ng flash na tinapon all the way from A side. Palala lang. Open po yung skybox dito sa agent. So any flashes that will go through. From above is gonna go below, and you know Astralis using their numbers. I mean, no one or no rifle is gonna win up, up against uh, three five sevens when they're shooting at the same time. So Astralis doing a good job, just grouping up, making sure that they can actually acquire yung mga AKs dito and uh, just going back. But look at this forced mid control, Galaxy side ng uh, ng players actually or ng Astralis, and now it's the players' time to suffer the wrath of D side in ancient. <laughs> Kung galing sa mid side yung paglabas ng mga molly sa chan ng mga util mo, di ba? Sino ba yung hindi ma delay para sa kapag t-spawn ka? Yun, ito yung sa mga, ano eh, sa mga gusto ng mga city-sided players sa uh, ancient. Eh. I mean, you have a lot of these range advantages, but, uh, but just mid side being enough for you to throw a lot of it until now. But you can just wait out these utils and just uh, weigh out your options right now. So it's like gonna be a B push for the members of players as we speak it's the one for one and make it a double for farley a triple for farley might even get traded out by the tech nines it's a 2v2 they're not able to take the site and it's all the spoils for the astralis members as the tie up the score line man i mean so uh, so effective as uh, astralis members oh, keep it now. me up for back thank you oh my god i was stressed out <laughs> I was just stressed out. I, I, I said while my mic was muted, I was like, oh my god, Farley is such a good player. Just stick to the M4, man. And trust me, you guys are gonna win the map. Mananalo kayo pag nag M4 lang si Farley dito. And players. I mean, the story tells itself. I mean, they just lost a uh, Tech 9 round there. Then easy para kay Conte. Around the corner. Once again, it's gonna be them with the player advantage. I mean, it, uh, they have a, a loadout advantage in it, so they have a lot of confidence for the push. Nobody is going to get deagled off. That's a spray transfer. Really clean out from Blame F. Nice all left all alone, and not going to be able to win this, especially with just a Glock, Glock, Glock. That's a Zipix going for the wall bang. That's a 9th 10. Astralis for the first time in the ancient map. They have a lead here, my friends. And this is good for Astralis. I mean, now they have... Uh, a lead in their own map pick and if they can finish this one off they can go into dust 2 at least with a lead and maybe they can just try some wacky stuff doing to dust 2 and uh, I don't know I don't know how Glaive's brain works but it really is up to him whether or not Astralis is, is gonna do some 
some crazy stuff doing as a dust too. But players now. Oh no, they're on the back foot. Need to say adding map plus control for mid. Not gonna be acquired. Instead, it's gonna be Inters just walking in and Glaive is already taken down. They don't have donut control, which is gonna be so important. Pero pag nila si dito, this is gonna be huge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they did. They, no. they did. They did. They, 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 they didn't even need to control donut altogether. They could just run over this A site now. And unfortunately, it's not the same story for. Me, nakita natin yung ano yung paghold ng donut para sa is mga member ng players pero but Astral is trying to take the page out of the playbook of the T side there, not able to capitalize on donut being open for business kaso nga lang it's a blame F all alone one v five he's a he's a strong player I'd say a decent performance in the ancient map so far kaso this sa mga pag clutch against these uh, this 1v5 especially with the bomb about to tick 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 into a destruction that I would like to see in the ancient map yep and it's 10 to 10 somehow players find their way into the A site I think they recognize that they have a lot of focus on Astralis here in mid control which means um, the player from Donut has no other choice but to try and support our mid player natin. and uh, I mean that's a good call. Galing dito kay Nafani, just having atong si Inters literally walk up to the side. If he dies, he's gonna get traded anyways. Pero some really good shots. Galing dito sa mga players, even getting the donut player as well. I mean, just full control. Galing sa side lang dito sa A. They literally just walked in unannounced. Ah, parang ano eh? Parang naka boxer lang tapos wala wala silang ibang magagawa kundi uh, they try to throw away the clothes, guys. So he's just still running around naked. That's yeah. my bro. Paso nga lang. Wala. That's true. Config. Again, another aggressive push towards his mid side. Again, they are uh, rinse and repeating the same strat that they tried. And Config working out wonders. A double. Para sa mga miyembro ng Astralis ngayon. It's a 5v3. They tried to swarm around this A side, but good smokes, good util to push them away. It's going to make them think that a lot of players are already controlling this A side. And they back off for now. Yep. I mean... Players trying to go for the 3 2 split to a mid, and they tried to get control of B short. Unfortunately, it did not work out in their favor. Config with two huge kills to a mid, uh, kind of reminisced to what Hobbit was doing earlier, you know, just um, controlling it on mid with a single M4. Just have one guy anchor it. If he dies, then we just play around it to a mid. And Config, this is a perfect role for him because um, he can play aggressive, no problem. He can make some plays happen on his own. I mean, like the playmaking out from these players from Astral is uh, perfectly adapted now. I feel like na na the na mga players kaya it's uh look like looking like a save call maybe for the players, but they still have twenty seconds to work with. So, I think Axel, I think alam na nila kung nasan si Axel ngayon. He just hold up around this A main side and. He can take the pick around Farlig here. And as you mentioned, he doesn't uh, always hit his shots. But 10 seconds. I don't think uh, they're going to try anything. The best they could hope for at this point is a save for three players. The rifles, they don't need to buy so much. In the next round, Strahlis are going to get the lead. And the players, they still have a lot of firepower but because of that save. Mm -hmm. And the firepower is still... In the hands of players, kagaya nga nung sinabi mo. So, meron pa silang panlaban dito sa ating next round. And para sa Astralis, I mean, they just collected on the round. Map plays in their favor once again. And now, I mean, tignan natin. Astralis, they are not too far away from just collecting 16 dito. It's really up to the players to make the plays uh, around the map. And Astralis, they really just have to sit around, just absorb regression galing sa side nila. But... I want to make some early plays happen. I mean, Blame F always pushing dito sa B short natin and nagahanap ng pick palagi. At this point, they're just trying to deny them from coming out of spawn right now. Yeah, I mean, para sa mga Astralis members, I, I kind of get that. They want to burn as much time para sa players. If you can't get out of spawn, then you're not going to be able to make plays all over the map, right? But three players swarming around all around this yard side. Uh, so, Astralis, see, they're just sitting pretty. Maybe uh, try to deny a sneak, a sneak play out of these players right now. But 
They can just move on towards this A side right now, especially with Exile opening up the space towards this A main side. Config is not going to get any sort of value in this map. And the temple area is open. They can try to push towards this A side now. Mm -hmm. And there you know, I mean, players, they do get the first pick, but can they get any more? I mean, what's important for the leaders aside from Astralis is they still have donut control. They still have, uh, they still have temple control in this one, so they can create an easy crossfire. Even though my smoke has had up in that far leg. Oh, actually hits the shot this time. Oh, look at you. Just smiling for your boy Farling right now. It's a 4v3. Glaive coming out of the corner. Na catch niya si Hobbit off guard. Sipix again. Sinampal niya si Inters gamit ng M4A1S niya. It's all up to Shiro. But again, 10 seconds. Not gonna have enough time to go for the bomb. Not gonna have enough time to go for the clutch. And not enough time to flick towards the last player. That's a 10 to 12. Extending the lead para sa mga miembro ng Astralis again. Yep. And... Yeah, one second, guys. We will have to fix something in the background. So you're going to see us in just a bit. And here we go. Hello, guys. Um, so far, it is still 12 to 10. Uh, for Paradito's at the ancient side. I mean, Astralis getting a two-point lead. That's pretty big, to say the least. Uh, starting things off, the second half, or rather uh, around the midpoint of the second half with the lead. Plus, take naman naman yung setup ng Astralis dito. The double up config. If Far League misses, Config's there to at least uh, pick up the scraps. Para sa side dito ng Astralis, but players. Oh, oh, na lang. Ooh, oh where's Config? He's not the. Oh, oh my god, no. there you go, though. They're able to take advantage of Far League whipping the shot, trying to misposition himself, but you know, 5v4, it's an easy, easy take towards this ace site. And the members of Astralis are forced into a situation where they have to go for the retake, but Nafani Exile just denying that, trying to make their entry there. All up to Config and Blame F, but Exile gets destroyed by the Molly of his teammate. But I feel like that's just collateral damage towards the success that players have. That's a very aggressive take, and I believe Astralis... He didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. And... Ah, that is tough. I mean... I swear, man, just put Far League on the damn M4. Put him on the M4. Stop, stop him, stop, stop holding the offense. <laughs> Config do it. Let Glaive do Let anyone else do it, bro. Just don't let him at least even sniff the AWP, dude. <laughs> not, kasi, ngayon, now is not the time, Far League. No? Now is not the time to do that. And especially players, they're a single miss and they have the entire side. Yun yung, yun yung role ngayon, Far League. So you're telling me that uh, yung win con ng, ano, ng Astralis, it's not to try to aggress or try to put your focus on a one player. He just try to take the op out of Far League, right? Yeah, but TK, at least, the ba, my up, I mean, this TK, the, I mean, I mean this, uh, this kill from Config though, it could mm. be uh, instrumental into their eventual win. It's already uh, Nafani out. That's one of their util users down. Uh, pero still, players could just perfectly reset and try to go for the take. Eventually into the round. Yeah, I mean, Config is not a bad op, or not gonna lie. When he was in complexity, maganda naman yung performance na as the secondary op para sa kanyang team. So I think he knows his way around the 4750 rifle. But Hobbit, na siyang mid control dito, and this could be something major. If Glaive gets caught out, this is gonna be something bad. Ah, there you go. Perfectly predicting it, and it's a trick. Oh, another kill, actually, for the members of the players right now. Hobbit coming out of cover again and takes down one of the offers again. Two ups out of the picture. That's a triple, if I'm not mistaken, for Hobbit. 4v1 with players already taking the site for themselves, even taking the plant. That's another advantage and another 4v1 with Blame F, the only man standing for the Astralis members. I know... It was kind of Glaive's fault na nakadaan to ng Nidzi Hobbit. But I'll still blame Farlik. Because <laughs> he, he was holding the op, man. That, that's all, he already broke the rules. He already broke one of the win cons dito ng Astralis, which is just get get the op out of his hands, man. I mean, just put him on the M4. Dude, nakita mo naman, di ba? Nakita mo naman na uh -huh. when he's on the M4, he can do. He can do something. Like yeah. he, can make, he can make some plays happen. But once he's on the op, yeah. and you put a teensy bit of pressure on him, then... You know, he starts to miss. So I think a full M4 would be nice, at least. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
at this point the only thing stopping itong um itong Astralis from uh, not buying yung kanilang AWP dito is their economy. So maybe maybe in this buy we are going to see him on the M4 and I am going to I'm going to bet that if Farlig is on the M4 in the next two rounds they are going to win and go to match point. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, the Astralis members have to focus two players now, right? They have mm -hmm. to try to annihilate any sort of effort out from Hobbit, and they have to take away the op out from Farling, right? That's your win con, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, try to limit a lot of the options for the members of the players now. This is the I mean, just going for the wall bang towards Ninja. So I don't want, nobody is uh, holding down that angle. Lame F, going for the boost, the kills, the spray down. Fortunately, not connecting. Inters is down into 39 HP though. I believe he has enough armor for him to uh, sustain a bit of damage. And another attempt at going for mid control again for the members of players right now. A lot of util to deny so much of the vision. Which for an opportunity actually for the players right now to move in. The entry, Hobbit, and the op not going to connect. He's going to be able to get out of danger and he's able to go for the frag. Ooh, Shiro, like a fast. tight spot, a really quick kill onto Blame F. That opens up so much for the players. Gotta shoot him in the head, man. Or else uh, he's just going to react just like that in a snap of a finger. Shiro, one of the faster offers, just like I said. Dito nga sa ating CIS region and Farling. I told Ooh. you. <sighs> he has the M4. Okay, just put him in B. <laughs> put him in B. He's going to clutch it. Look. You know what? You're gonna, you're gonna, oh, well, it's gonna be a, a stop of momentum already. Mad advantage in the favor of players right now. Inters holding down the angle, gets one, but Farlig, a refrag, but another for Exile. Be a three versus one with Sipix. Oh, the I mean, clutch he's minister. The clutch minister. Back online, 1v2. It's doable, especially with Shiro. Down to nine HP, but he still has the op, and he could just hold down that angle, come out of cover, but. Daphne just has to be careful, especially for Zipix. He is known to have these situations to be in a 1v2. He knows this so much, but he spots out one of these players. But Shiro has the angle, and he's able to destroy Zipix, deny the possibility of a clutch. Hey, man, all I'm saying is Farley got two kills with the M4, even though it was eco. So I, I stand with what I said. But still, napaganda naman ng take dito ng Astralis, just playing around the map. And just um, confusing Etong players the whole time. And now they have the round in the bag once again. I mean, other than a plant, uh, not much was gained other than the normal uh, money when you get the plant para dito sa side ng players. And, um, you know, I mean, full buy para sa side nila. Inter is not having a good time, but he's entering for his team. So I don't think it's a problem. And mm. M4 on Far League. So. That's good news. Bias Astralis. Yeah. I think uh, I realized that they win. Gondola. Just get far leg off the damn up. Right? And uh, I feel like uh, they could just use a lot of their money ngayon, Especially with players just coming back alive. Parang nega. Nagsasalita na lang sila ng lead at this point. And it's understandable. Especially with how much the confidence is building back up para sa Astralis members. They need to put a stop to that. So players themselves take the lead. It's a 13 to 12. Using a lot of the util onto the mid side. Nafany is down to 30 HP. Smokes out. But I feel like they're just going to push out of it. That's a smoke bang out from Zipix. But nobody is going to get caught in crosshair. That's still a 5v5. Leave very early into the round, they tried to make a lot of plays happen, but I mean, we don't have But I have a Hobbit! It's coming out of cover! Makes his presence known, might even get the double right after he kills down Blame F, but still, 5v4, a lead for the members of players with Hobbit just looming over the horizon, might even catch oh. these players off guard. Look at the angle! He's on a double! He's on a roll! But Farling just stops all of that because he's holding the M4A1S. That's a 4v3, and it could be a B side push with Axel going for the entry, with oh, Axel no. getting a double too. That's a 4v1 with Config, the only man standing with a Famous in hand. Oh my god, grabe naman yun. Galing dito kay Hobbit, taking over dito sa my B short, and... This is why this fan is a major winner. He played that oh so smartly, getting two kills and uh, even damaging the last guy. And for, I mean, at that point, even I think players were surprised that Naho and Dalawa dito si Hobbit as they were just ready and waiting for the flash to go into the side. Axile with a perfect kill, getting two members here. And unfortunately, Farlig with the M4. 
that might not be enough. I mean, players, if they're winning mga ganito ng rounds dito sa T-side, this is so concerning para sa Astralis. I mean, look at their economy. They're gonna be dealing with a gun round every round until it's OT. Uh, money's not uh, best of shapes para sa mga miyembros ng uh, Astralis ngayon. Especially with just uh, Famous para sa kay Config. Just saving up two pieces of util then. So they need this time. Uh, they need to, I mean, parang uh, assess na lang. Kung paano na lang nila i-approach yung defending rounds. Parang napapansin ko kasi that they take too many risks trying to come out of the bases. Maybe make proactive plays. But yeah, players themselves are perfectly adapting to the situation then. And able to read the play happening for uh, the T side as again. Heading on to a next reset, another lead for the members of players ngayon. They only need two in order for them to secure this first map. And this is the map of the Astralis, if you remember, but Config is making good of his word. He just won oh. on to Navity, but that's a perfect spray from Exile. It's a 5v4 already. Ugh, that is so bad para dito sa Astralis. I mean, Exile going huge in mid. I thought yung guy lang dito sa B-Short yung makukuha na dito, but actually, nakakuha pa siya ng dalawa. Dito sa mid, and that is gonna cause Astralis to have to play together. They have to play the number since naka pistol lang sila dito, and they are gonna risk and give up etong 15 na scoreline if one of them gets caught. But man, this is looking like it's a player's game written all over it. And uh -huh. unless Astralis meron silang plano para dito sa OT, um, I do not see them actually winning this one. But Far League with an AK, maybe. <laughs> maybe, Malemo, diba? I mean, he was doing well with the M4A1S. Malayman naman with, uh, with an AK, could be doing more, but uh, that's just as we were trying to hype him up, Chiro just denies that AK from having any full value out of it. 4v2, and honestly, this would have been, this should actually have been the round for Astralis to try to catch up to the lead that players have, especially now that they're on match point. They only need one more win in order for them to secure Ancient, especially Namnapik yon ng Astralis, and if they tried to at least delay it as much as they can, then the pressure, a lot of that confidence could be building back up for the members of Astralis. Like, Oof, this is, a, this is a rough time, man. A rough time to say the least para dito sa Astralis. Oh, no. <laughs> as soon as soon as the pop out in buys, I just see it immediately. The sin. The sin I that lose. I see on my screen. Farleg losing his team the game. <laughs> Unless uh, he goes crazy, dito sa next round natin, this is unacceptable from him. But tik the players, they're on, they're on fire at this point. And uh, if Shiro gets the pick, dito sa mid, as soon as that happens and Farlig misses, there should be a roster change as soon as that happens. Mm -hmm. And he puts just Bubsy did? in. No, it's like Dita's, if the coach says, "Yeah, get out, <laughs> get out, dude," I'm not sure. Yeah, like go back to the drawing board. Na lang, diba? Go so back to the academy, dude. Na, uh... You need more time. You need more time. <laughs> you need more time in the academy. Come on, brother. But I mean, they have like a crap ton of academy players. So I think Astralis have plenty of players to test out. No? I think Farleg is the next man up. Jesus, Nafani is getting pelted dito sa, dito sa Kahoy. I mean, Kahoy is not bulletproof. Man, I mean... It's pretty easy to penetrate through with a lot of bullets. Kung kaaway ba? Jump spot. Oh, blame it. Blame it. They get caught. And Molly's really good to try to delay any sort of playmaking out from the Astralis members. But Nafani just gets caught by Blame F. Not the assist of Zipix there. That, that's a 4v5. And that's like, that's good news. But as mga Astralis players ngayon, they could have this mad advantage. And I mean, they, don't, they have to go back to the base and secure. Probably the possibility of a lurk for one of these players, again, especially for Hobbit, who has been trying to open up the space for the players right now. 45 seconds, they have to push through one of these sites, but smoke banks through. Just blame F. I mean, find the smoke. I'm not gonna catch one of these players just yet. Operator out from far leg, oh but no, god. it's too not slow. from too Shiro. Slow, oh my god, too slow, not expecting the cross. Out from one of these players, the boost was perfect. Exile though, is able to trade it out. That's gonna be a 4v3, and Blame F making it a 3v3, equalizing the numbers. They can just run on over to the A side. It's free for business, but they have 15 seconds to run over Ooh, to that side of the map. Inter is able to catch one off guard, but Config goes for the one for one. That's a 2v2 now. They have time to go for the bomb plan. Ooh, Shiro can play long here. So I think this might be the situation where players are going to look for the win. 
unless meron pang asin dito ang Astralis, which is not likely, wala silang nades. They, I mean, they cannot cover anything at this point. Look at the position. Galing dito kay Hobbit. This is what we call the prime lason. Ay. Nagagawa oh, pa siya. No! Oh. Wala. Walang prime lason. Wala. Chira has to go here. Na <laughs> oh, no. What has happened? Parang nakatulog yata on the wheel. Itong players. And 15 to 13 for Astralis. A bit reckless. Galing sa side nila. I mean, the positioning was super off for both uh, both players. Yeah. You can't really celebrate earlier, no? Especially with the... How close that would have been, actually. But Hobbit and uh, one of these players out from uh, players are not able to win out that 2v2, especially with the response uh, from the CT side. It's a lot of money to buy for the next round. Naman. That's a good sign. It's a bit of a first buy, though. It's Blame F. They having the famous to work with. Hobbit. Again, another proactive play towards this mid side with Config using a lot of the UTSL, but ooh, sinampal na m 4 A1S! Config is able to go for the early frag onto Hobbit and denies ooh, another opportunity for space taking. Para sa mga miembro ng players ngayon, but Navani able to trade it out one for one. Might even get another on Zipix here if he comes out of cover. Oh and there God, you Nafani. go, a double for Navani. It's a 3v3 now. Numbers are equal, especially with Far League taking one off. Using the op to his trade. It's a 3v3. They haven't pushed towards one of these sites, but in the end, all of these picks could be very important for Astralis. Oh. As Shiro, oh, a tight spot. A really good shot onto Glaive. A lot of util pushed out towards his B side, but they don't know. Exile and Nafani are pushing towards mid. They could go for the A side now, and members of Astralis oh, are not going to expect config. this. Oh no, Nafani literally just spraying everyone down here in this round to, and it is only going to be Far League. Oh poor oh. Far League. Oh, oh no, <laughs> he has the off. Yeah. Alright, I mean, just throw everything at him. The bottle, throw him the AK as well. Yun lang. <laughs> I mean, players with a very convincing map 1, even popping off here at the T side. And just like I said, when the right people pop off here at the T side, sub players, it is going to be possible. And it seems like Axile is the one to step up for the plate. Para dito sa players, I mean, um, that's just an overall really good game um, from start to finish. Galing dito sa players, I mean, they could have had a better CT side, but at the same time, they don't play Ancient that much. So, yeah. I think uh, sa T side nal nila pinawi yun. Oh, I mean, importante din naman talaga yung, ano, yung uh, the amount of wins that they have as well nung nasa first half sila. Importante para maka, makapag, ano, is, Kahit ng hirap nila para sa T-side, dito sa ancient map, at least they have as much wins as they can in order for them to secure an easier an easier way towards the victory here for the members of players ngayon. Unfortunately though, para sa mga Astralis members, they're not able to build their momentum and maintain it. Yan, yeah, build sila, kaso nga lang, uh, hindi sila nakapag-catch up sa steamrolling na meron na ang mga membro ng players ngayon. So, congratulations. You're gonna be winning the first game, the first map from Ancient para sa mga membro ng players. And especially now, that they're gonna be on Dust 2, the map pick para sa players ngayon. It's gonna be one hell of a bumpy ride para sa ating Astralis players. Yep, and uh, they're gonna need to pull the best Dust 2 of their lives or else they're just gonna get run over doon nga sa ating Dust 2. But that is it. Para sa ating map one of this best of three, there's gonna be more action, more uh, CS, and more analysis coming after the break. But before that, we would like to thank Rivalry. Uh, use the code Lupon WXC for up to two hundred dollars bonus on the website. And uh, if you want to bet on the games that we have in the RMR, make sure to check out Rivalry.com. And uh, yeah, that is it for me and uh, Dad for now. We will take a small break, but when we come back, more Counter Strike action. Coming at you. Don't go anywhere. Three, two, one.
This is Keanu Reeves and welcome to Rush Lane. Rush Lane is a new intense multiplayer racing game where you can compete against real players to win real money. Set in the towering crime-filled metropolis of Hub City. Here, champions put their life on the line for glory, power, and riches in the ultimate death race known as the Rush Lane. How does it work? Simple. Pay a small stake to jump into the next race. All the stakes go into the prize pool, so the more players, the more money there is to win. Once enough players join, the race is on. Races last just a couple of minutes and are fully automated. Rush Lane is driven by our unique physics-based randomness engine. Starting positions, track segments, and traps are all randomly generated, and we've tested over 10,000 races to ensure no player has any advantage over another. Cheer on your racer as they scream down the winding city streets and through mysterious alternate worlds filled with dangerous traps and pitfalls. The first player to cross the finish line wins the biggest share of the prize pool. But don't worry, the top few finishes are also in the mix to win. The exact number of winners will change depending on how many players were in the race. The more players, the more winners. Rush Lane is live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so you can jump into the action anytime you want. Good luck out there, racers. Only on Rivalry.com.
hello and welcome back to official Filipino broadcast ng PGL Regional Major Rankings para dito sa ating European region. My name is Nicky Falk. Kasama ko si Dad. Bago kami mag-start. Let's go for the bet first. Courtesy of rivalry, of course. And I think it's a pretty easy decision. I would just go <laughs> players at this point, no? Oh, uh, may no no ano ah. No uh, no surprise there actually, especially with how consistent they've have they've been uh, not only dito sa PGL RMR, pati na rin sa mga different tournaments that we've had. Parang compared to how Astralis has been playing, na hot and cold medyo sa mga performances nila, especially with Farley on the up. Don't quote me on that. Uh wala eh. Uh, players all around, solid performances all across the board, especially for Hobbit himself who has been ano ah, has been a really Uh, much of a playmaker para sa mga miyembro nila. I mean, para sa mga Astralis though, para mataasan yung odds nila, para ma- maybe magkaroon ng, I'd say, fate yung mga better sa kanila. Maybe they could uh, place them and win dito sa second map nila sa Dust 2 and they could probably shut up a lot of haters right now. Katulad mo, di ba? <laughs> I mean, hopefully. I mean, I really want to see a best of three series kasi ayoko talaga uh, na maaga matapos ang, uh, ang match na to. But, At the same time, tapos na yung ends. So, already half of my attention span is gone. Galing sa RMR. As, I think, pasok, pasok ta ba yung ends, Timo? Hmm. Isang win pa. Isang best of three. As long as ends can get in, I'm pretty much happy. Pero we have the players versus Astralis. Game 2, Dust 2. I mean, players have all the stats in the world para dito sa mapa na to. I mean, they picked it at this point. It's gonna be... Pretty bad kung hindi nila pinikimapa na to. And it was up dito sa ating map pool. I mean, 75% win rate versus zero. A bit rough para dito sa Astralis. Yeah, Coming into like the depths of hell as we speak. And I mean, territory to basically na mga players. Yun. Kaya it's a really tall task. And if you're a better, if you're uh, if you're betting with the members of players ngayon, you'd be pretty happy with where we stand ngayon. Nasa dust to tayo, ito yung home, yung teritoryo ng mga players ngayon at uh, starting at a really low win rate para sa mga Astralis players. It's gonna be very tough to actually place a lot of the, my faith dun sa kanila. But syempre, may, may chance lagi. Basta, di ba, wag na lang natin bigyan ng up tong si Far League. And above all else, maybe, uh, maybe uh, limit a lot of the options para sa mga members and players, di ba? Yep. Um, hopefully, na uh, we do not see Farlig on the up unless he's really confident with it and wala masyadong pressure sa kanyang, uh, sa kanyang kamay dito. So, I mean, let's see. Uh, Astralis, let's see ano yung take nila dito sa mapa na to. Players, I mean, the the teams that na nabit nila sa mapa na to are no joke as well. I mean, they have um, they have uh, Team Liquid. Wait lang, let me make sure that stats are correct. Yung team Liquid, that is right. They only lost to FaZe, which is literally the best team in the world right now. Right now, yeah. So, I am at the weeks. And uh, they won up against Entopic and Big with the exact same roster. So, <laughs> Big, of course, best of one kings. Alam naman natin yun. And um, um, Entropic is... Entropic. I mean, didn't Entropic have a really good run dito sa, dito sa groups natin? I mean, they did beat... Or they got beat by Anonimo, actually. Yun para naalala na the Polish demons, the Polish dark horse nyan Anonimo really popping up sa kanilang group. Pero I mean, tignan natin. This is a 2-0 match, by the way. So whoever wins this match natin is gonna go to the PGL Antwerp Major with a legend status, and uh, they don't have to fight for fourth place anymore unless uh, you know uh, they really want to do so. Then someone starts throwing in the match, then wala na And I mean, Go ahead. I mean, that's the dream, right? I mean, yun yung ano eh, napakaling advantage na kapag nasa legend stage ka na, you just, just wait for everybody to just keep slapping everybody else. And, mm-hmm. I mean, so that's what they're fighting for. watch all the matches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, usually nangyayari. There's like, I heard, from what I've heard, right, sa mga kwento ng mga players, they, sometimes the IGLs, they all go together. Like, kunyari, like, um, let's say, players IGL na Fanny, then, Um, si Boomich and then who else is another ideal Crab, I guess Crab or something like the mga kababayan nila na ano na na players don so they just go into one room then they, they just watch all of the games and ina nga that's the problem no if you have super smart IGLs watching your every move contenders palang 
that's uh that's not the good news. And alam mo na Carrigan is like he has five monitors for each player. Just <laughs> malaman niya kung uh, anong gagawin ng mga players dito. Uh, well, slow tempo player, pero what compensates for that is like the big brain. IGL power that he has, right? One of the best IGLs in the world. Probably also one of the pinnacles. Why is the best team in the world, actually, in the world of Counter-Strike right now? But let's focus all of our attention to the second game, the second map. It is Dust2. This is the map pick of players. Ngayon. They took away Ancient out of the hands of Astralis, but now Astralis are looking to make the Redemption arc complete. But it is a tall task, especially... Now, players are in their best map. One of their best maps, if not their best map. Play map. I mean, now spot me in the lone players around that Xbox side and they take control towards this uh, this intro side. But Hobbit having a 1v1 might even get a double here. Ooh. It's the power of the Glock, the run and gun out of this out of this gun, but it's a that's another for Hobbit here. He's opening up space for these players. And eventually, he's going to go for that plant towards this. Ooh, and Config coming in from short. Now, it's a 2v3, but uh, with, in terms of positioning, the players I think it's next to impossible to take it, especially if Fanny's peaking that aggressively. Ooh, what the hell? These taps are clean! Actually, out from Config. Remember, in a 1v2, make it a 1v1! It's alone for Hobbit Jesus. with 5 he HP, the sheer 8 HP actually, and he's just gonna go for that fake. But then he complete the defuse dito. I think he has the kit too, but Hobbit just tapping oh. through eventually gets the frag of 40 of 4 piece for Hobbit. It's another round that would have been in the favor of a strongest, but it's all just gets stolen away by the members of the players right now. Yep, good patient. Kaling dito kay Hobbit. The staying lang dito sa long, it was a bit precarious. Medyo uh, mainit na si Config doon. With the USP, even getting the gush dito sa long. But Hobbit, knowing it's a 10-second diffuse, he just check around the corner just in case na may nakayuko nga doon. Pero uh, unfortunately, Config could not get it in the end. And now it's going to be a force buy. Kaling sa Astralis. All the money in the world to try to make it a second round win. Para sa kanila, para sa mga players. I mean, it's a slow push towards this a long side. Habang nasas pa yung ibang sport players or the members of the T side right now. If they could go for maybe another try at mid control. Habang ang mga miyembro ng Astralis, they stationed up a lot of these players. Possibly around CT as well as the A site for Zipix holding down the angle. Gamit ng Beagle. And uh, this is a good angle, actually, if he could just catch one of these players off. But I go for the flash, the util, try to push away Zipix on that angle. And uh, eventually, they're going to reach this east side with Strawless hanging on the back foot. And players. Oh my god! Zipix hitting all three. Woohoo! A nade. A nade is perfect. Another for Farley here. Members of Astralis only had the pistols, but they're taking so much of this control towards this A site. And the players, despite them having the better guns, they're not able to secure the push towards Elong correctly. And eventually dissipate the smokes. Oh but my Zipix god. Zip. Still has that Deagle. Another one tap. That's a double, a two piece for the clutch minister himself. But in the end, it is Inters just slapping it with reality. But in the end, Astralis. Able to bite back despite them having the lower guns. Man, what a huge round from the Clutch Minister himself. Making sure that everyone is tagged down. Gamit ang kanyang deagle dito. Oh my god, that is such an important round para sa side ng Australis. Just to turn it right back in their favor as they do need to be the ones starting off with the better half. Ito sa ating first. And yun lang. Somehow, way, the Clutch Minister does not need to be in a clutch situation for it to matter. Just needs to uh, make as much impact as you can while you're still alive in the map, especially with a lot of the resources still alive for the members of Astralis here. Despite them having uh, the low guns, they decide to just invest so many of these players to go for the response on towards this A site now. And uh, again, it worked out really well, especially for Zipix here, who has a bit of a high streak for himself, especially for Config too, but who has been really hot on the pistol. But it also forces the members of players to go for another low buy. But the Tech Nines are something that you can't really underestimate. Especially for Shiro, who also has a scout 
over towards this mid door side. Eventually, they could try to go for the push, but Config just has a really good angle. If ever that they want to go for it really aggressively. Mm -hmm. And I mean, all they have to do is literally pop the flash bid and hope for the best and lump para sa side ng players dito and get what they can with the tech nines. Tech nines cannot be underestimated though, so they're pretty deadly. How did Nafani snake his way in? Oh, but you can see his big foot, size 12. Oh, no. size 12. Okay, he's got Jordan. So, another frag, oh. another kill, a smoke bang, Glaive. It's fine, see, it's two players. So I'll have to Shiro again with a scout, but not able to get any sort of impact, especially with how passive the Astralis members have. They know that they have the better guns, they don't need to give it up. They don't have to be too overly aggressive knowing that the players need to step foot in their territory. That's another win for the Astralis members. And as these wins keep piling up, the confidence can just keep being on a high, blame F. Just given a free piece for himself. And Glaive just needs to hold down that angle towards B. And oof, Astralis. They just collect an easy one. Dito sa ating third round. Players gonna go for an eco. Unfortunately, the force buy did not go their way. So back to Glocks na naman ng hanap dito ng mga players natin. Not the best start, but it has to happen eventually. Uh, they are going to go back on the Glocks and maybe they just run a train to, through someone, but they're just going to go for the hunt. I mean, players, you have nothing at this point. Oh. It was an attempt to go for the jump spot, but no, you don't need to jump anywhere. He goes for the spray and blame F and config. Just take a piece for themselves. Two kills for both of these players of Astralis. And I saw that just left all alone, just wondering about the next round now. Tries to make as much damage as he can, but that's a triple. From Config and Astralis. Man, they're uh, moving, their, moving the winds, piling it up. I mean, grab it, no? I mean, Tito won. I mean, what else can we say? Astralis, after uh, after they turn around doing second round, not in done. I mean, they just carried the momentum through and through, making sure that the Tech 9 round does not affect them by that much. And great start, but. Meron ng mga barrel ang mga players dito, so they are gonna be a bit more antsy to get into the site. So Astralis, they have to be a bit more careful here. Zip, uh, don't go car, my friend. That's a bad idea. No, 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 no. Uh, especially with, uh, I mean, the, the Molly could be pushed out by one of these players from uh, what well, players? You know, especially with Hobbit having that, he could have like the the insight. The bami, then go hold some like, car area. Smoke though could uh, deny the vision out from players ngayon, but a really good boost up. Zipix could be in a position to probably take one of these players out. Leave and uh, one of these players again from Astralis gonna be trying to look look towards one of these entrances. And again, players are taking their sweet time trying to assess if A is actually the better pick for the push. Good. Bit of util for Zipix. They know that the push is inevitable on towards this A side of it. They go for this entry, but it's denied by Zipix. That's a 5v4 early into this push. 35 seconds for something to happen, but that's a that's a nade perfectly into the face of Axile. Di sila makakapag plant dito unless they take these picks off one by one towards Astralis. But maganda yung ane, maganda yung position sila. But that's a really good shot, a flick from Shiro. Again, time is not is of the essence. They have to plant this now. It's a four v two, and they're doing the best that they can to secure the objective. Shiro not hitting the shot. Eventually gonna fall. It's all up to Inters, but it's not gonna happen. It is another round win for the members of Astralis. Yeah, I think if you know, if Shiro fell back a bit more, that would have been easier for Sakadiat just to fight the distance with the AWP. But he decided to stay close to his friend. Maybe at least try to trade them out and uh, cover a short at the same time. Pero yun ang ah, players uh, taking a bit too long. Dito sa long, no? I mean, at that point they were just getting naded and molotov by Astralis, knowing that uh, all five members dito ng um, ng players nandun na. They're not. They're literally not budging. At any time at all. At that point, Config na huwana siya ng flank dito from D base. <sighs> I don't know, man. I mean, 
players not the best start galing sa side nila but I think it's gonna be a bit no before they can figure out yung city side dito ng Astralis however if they do figure it out early on and start shaking dito sa T side then that would be good news para dito sa players however not so good news is they have to go on eco once again oh, oh, share with the hero AK okay ah. oh wow I mean, the ball's on this guy. Mukhang uh, na. Uh, mukhang confident siya sa rifle niya ngayon. Malay mo naman. Yung hero buy na to makakuha ng as much damage as they can. Yung iba naman, sa mga pistols ng players, kailangan na lang nilang uh, work through yung mga pistols nila. What do they do? They smoke on towards this mid side and eventually find their, their way towards this short tunnel. The upper tunnels actually. Sa around the vicinity of B site but I think it's just uh, if them figuring out kung nasa na lang yung Astralis stations. But three players invested around this A-site. Their players are going to be in for a trap, especially with Blame F. Even if he dies here, it's a lot of info para sa Astralis. And they can just rally, especially with a lot of damage out from that nade. Enters in Exile. Oh, comes out worse for wear, but... Gonna be in through the smoke, but that's a tech nine kill and an upgrade, a free one, a freebie out from the fanny. But Blame F is able to go for the wall bang headshot. That's a 4v4, a one for one into the trade. The plant is gonna go secured for the members of players right now. A forced retake past Astralis, but it looks pretty easy on their side unless they get they underestimate the power of the pistols for players they use a lot the of the utility push them away the hp bars are so perfect for astralis a health advantage and eventually members of players fall that's another freebie win for the members of astralis yeah i mean force by and only one ak what can you do at that point zip is doing really well huh? it's a uh early stages them first half not in in that that's just a welcome bonus para dito sa side ng Astralis. Usually, he's just the guy to clutch itong mga rough na situations out. So, maybe they can at least um, two or three or four wins out of just clutches galing dito kay Zip. But Zip, proving that he is like a Swiss army knife of a player para dito sa Astralis. I mean, ever since, you know, the the core of... Uh, yeah, the core of Dupree and DC Majesty left. I think Zip has been doing uh, more work than usual, no? Para dito sa Astralis. Yeah, if you, uh, if uh, the, the important pieces of the puzzle get taken out, then you just gotta be the important piece then. You just gotta adapt. And sa mga miyembro ng Astralis, yun yung kailangan talaga nila. Especially with uh, one of their key members, uh, the device being out of the equation. And as you said, like the core as well. Para sa old Astralis, wala na eh. Kaya kailangan nila mag-adapt to the newer times and eventually, they're finding the advantage so far against players. It's a bit of a reset though. Everybody has the rifles in their hands. Shiro with an op as well. And it's looking like a push towards mid. Eventually, a really good play. Kung makakatch nila tong si Blame F around CT side, a smoke towards the CT. Eventually, it could be a push towards the B side. The smoke bangs are not hitting for Blame F. Ooh. And eventually, Nafani is going to find a frag onto Config. That's a really big pick. That's the guy who has a really hot hand in towards the lineup of Astralis. So now, momentum is going to get slowed down for the Astralis members. But Zipix is going to get everything back. That's Hobbit taken out of the picture. An important piece in the chess puzzle that players have in the favor. Inter is not going to expect the off angle out from Glaive. Refrag not gonna happen as Napani in exile taking pieces for themselves. A double for exile, a triple for exile. That's a five to two scoreline, and eventually they make it work. Ah, that is so rough para dito sa Astralis. I mean, si Axile dapat ang late lurk para dito sa side ng players, but instead it's his lurk who actually gives the win. Para dito sa players, I mean, the B site was a bit rough knowing that hindi makapush ang mga players dito kasi uh, they have the knowledge that Glade is still in the site, so he's still quite the big threat dito. But, ooh, really good shot ganing dito kay Shiro. Is gonna tag Glaive down to 30 HP. No heals in this game. We're not that type of game. <laughs> you get bang wounded, yan. you're wounded. That's it. <laughs> Walang heal heal. Alang med kit, med kit. E pang bang bang yun eh. Nandito tayo sa OG bang bang. Or if you do play Danger Zone. Ah, I... Real OGs 
play Danger Zone. It's actually a really fun game mode, guys. Not gonna lie. Huh? Ganda talaga. Danger Zone. CSGO BR. Who knew? Who knew? You love to see it, diba? OG Bang Bang could actually have a Battle Royale Bang Bang. And uh, ah, it's the times changing. Uh, they're able to have multiple game modes, but as, as we're talking about times changing, and look at Astralis. Still have a lead, but Glaive not in the best of spots. He's up. Ooh. He's going to go for the eventual bang through the smoke with that op shot, but I think he spotted out these players trying to go for the Xbox jump. Yeah, A site is uh, gonna be in respond. Naga station up na tong key players para sa Astralis. It's blame F Chasi Sipix holding uh, the flank as well, and eventually they go towards A short. They have to try to take out these players, but can't make the flick. The Napani Sinampal ng AK, but Sipix is able to go for the refrag. A one for two, an advantage in the players of Astralis, but. It is a three versus three now as Exile is able to go for a piece for himself. And now, I'm slowly navigating towards this A site. Oh, and Walan is controlled towards its A long side, but Nafani is not gonna get the shot. Farling is able to catch what? Exile with the no scope, and Zipix just pulls out the USP. Just digs him down to win and able to go for the win for the members of Astralis. Quite a big whiff regarding Dito by Nafani, man. I mean, if he did get the spray Dito so long, that would have been. Uh, at least one tear down para dito sa Astralis, making it easier to defend. But Zipex, <laughs> the clutch minister turning into the frag minister para dito sa Astralis. And grabe naman yan. I mean, 6-2 to two, Astralis literally getting hard carried by the clutch minister and the config at the same time. I mean, uh, the, the action just doesn't stop. You know, the players are going to be salty oh. about that loss and Shiro. It's gonna have the resounding shot over to Blame Map. There's a warning shot of sorts, knowing that one of the defenders, one of the CT side, are gonna be crippled. It's gonna be the four versus five now. An opportunity for players to take one of these these sides of the map. A long is not held like Sipix compared to the previous round. And uh I mean two players split up on both sides of the map. What can you do when you're a sprawless at this point? But Nafani just crossing towards A short. A one tap is enough. Farlig trying to try, just, just tap. Just go for the tap over to Farlig. Looking towards a long. But I mean Zipix, he still has the AK. He finds one of these players around the mid side, but not gonna have the aggressive push just yet, Shiro. Might even catch Glaive here, but Glaive just thinking twice. It might be a three-man save for Astralis. I like how I did not notice that Farlig was dead this whole time. I think I just zoned <laughs> out. Then it was like, oh, Farlig's dead. All right, whatever. Okay. All right. All right, just buy, buy another off next round. All right. <laughs> just uh, go ahead. But players, though, be nice take from their side. I mean, they just got picks. Uh, on, I on either side of the map, play map, Pedro Mahinit dito sa ating lower tons. Trying to go for that early pick, but is gonna get punished. And Nafani is and gonna redeem himself from that last round. Getting that one tap dito sa long. It, I, now I remember. There it is. He finally played na one tap done. Pero, yeah, he was <laughs> just holding an angle, even though short smokes were incoming. Six to three. Players, uh, let's see. This might be the momentum starter para sa side nila. I, I think. Shiro should really start challenging yung mga angles dito ni, ano, ni Far League if he really wants to open up the map. The uh, early pick is uh, very important there. No? <laughs> that flick would have actually hit, but it's Config just taking that first kill, that op, demonstrating the power of it. If you go too aggressive, but I mean, Interis is a uh, I mean, entry. He's uh, the support. Uh, not much is lost. It's a man disadvantage, but players could actually uh, regroup. Then they could probably take one of these players out, especially for Config, who hasn't spot the cross over to Nafani, but a lot of util. It's by dumb luck, Nafani just has to push out 28 HP. Config Ooh, is aware, but he's not able to get the frag. Nafani oh, just runs Glaive. it back, but Glaive is in the perfect spot. He's going to try to go for the frag over to Exile. What? Even the smoke bag onto Hobbit. That alone just stops all the attempts to go towards this B side and Zipix as well. Coming out of this mid side, it's left all alone to Shiro. Pulls out his Glock, but I mean, he has 50 seconds. But four players, all of them, majority of them have the full health. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could just take off the pick to Zipix, but in the end, it is just Shiro 
who's not really that hot in the Dust 2 map right now. Yeah, 2 to 7 so far. So, he's not going to eat it. That's uh, really bad news for these players because they need to offer it, especially here in Dust 2. When it comes to CT side, he is going to be an asset that is well needed. But Shiro is just going to decide to save the op for 20 seconds. But Astralis is going to attempt to go for the hunt so there's an op to see config when it comes to the next round. Because every time... You give COVID, uh, you give config the op. You said COVID, but <laughs> every time you give config the op, he can do something, man. I think he's the real offer for the Astralis, man. <laughs> Just give it to him, dude. Farley, what are you doing with the op? Oh, he got the op. Real oh, offer right the there, you know, sa kabila. Uh, uh, I think, I think, uh, it's not my fault. Shira had the op. Uh, I believe. Uh, yeah. Chaka, decent din naman yung hold ni config sa mid side, eh, de ba? I mean, we could like brush away like the previous round where he got uh, overwhelmed by Nafani's push despite Nafani being down to 20 HP. I mean, I mean, we could like scrub that away and uh, just consider that config was, is, could actually be like the better upper into trying to hold down mid, especially with how methodical these players are. I mean, yung attempts towards the upper tunnels is... Uh, one of the pivotal points, and to get there, they usually go for a split push with one of these players actually going down to A ramp, and I mean B ramp actually, and then, ayon wala, eh, madali lang sila makapag, uh, split push don if they actually get mid control on their side. But the only thing to stop that is if an upper actually has a really good position to deny that. Diba? Ooh, para habit. Ooh, he's actually the first spawn there, so he is gonna get the advantageous position, pero. Players, they they okay. They have minor long control. If they can get one, that would be huge. Oh, that's huge, man! Ooh, oh my god, how about just risking it all into long? There you go. I mean, I mean, you, that's the doc what the doctor ordered, and I believe that is the prescription that you wanted. But Farlig, oh, that was a clean shot. Another Ooh. jumping shot there, a double for Farlig. He's heating up. Ito na, umiinit na yung mga kaibigan. Umiinit na si Farlig, pero this is enough to actually make players come out of this ALA aggressive. But no, it's a triple for Farlig, and he's come on online. That's the most unexpected thing to happen this whole series. Him getting that 3k, <laughs> not gonna lie. But Farlig, pretty huge from him. I mean, he did hit the shots, I respect. So... Okay, players losing one more round. <sighs> Man, are they gonna rely heavily to sa kadalang city side dito? Oh, oh. oh Farling 4k. Oh man, this is the guy that we've been talking about. Like, not getting, you know, kapag kung gusto man ng Astralis, they have to keep him off of the up. But that 4k is, uh, it's a, it's, it's a story something. to begin with. Malima, it's something. Yeah, and tack pause from players. I mean, that's one sign. No? If Farley can hit those types of shots, that means the pressure is off para dito sa Astralis. And I think they are just playing the standard at this point. They're like, okay, let's play a 2-1-2, two, two, then uh, just have the round play out and see what happens. And if that starts to happen para dito sa Astralis, then Farley is going to be in full comfortability. He's just going to be like, okay, uh, I can rely on... Kind of like a structured na defense, no? Dito sa map natin instead na uh, medyo mas magi fluid like the usual Astralis na, na defense na nakita natin. Pero players, I mean, they need to break the mold, man. They need to do something para bakabalik sila dito sa game. Kasi pag dumaret, pag dumaret pa strict dito ng Astralis, then the second half is gonna be a bit of a pain to say the least. I'm going back to his uh, lurking ways, having a 1v1, but no, the Tech 9 actually wins it. And uh, Glaive just spraying on down towards this tunnel side. Axel gets a double right after a double from Glaive. Really so now, that was a, that's a really big pick. That's the low buy of players. Ngayon, but with the space opened up from Hobbit and uh, I mean the push as well coming out from the players right now, they already secured this this B side for free. Dude, I did not notice Axel had an AK. <laughs> <laughs> or I think he acquired it from one of the players while he was running to the side, but he did it. Okay, he just straight up bought it, I guess. And players, nice. They get the round off of a really good B-Rush. Hobbit, once again, the cause for win for the side of players. I mean, getting this initial pick dito sa short is going to trigger and yung dalawang, uh, other players dito sa A to just stay inside A so they can defend. And they're forced to play the 2-2. And 
now the numbers advantage just coming in from the players. They saw one person already peeking, he just done, so they're like, F it, let's just push in. What's the What's like the best default strat for any CSGO player? Rush B. Rush B, mga kaibigan. Yung ginawa ng mga players. I mean, in this it. map, dude, na open na yung roof dito ng Dust 2. I think that's a valid strat. Yeah? I mean, like, we can consider the fact that Hobbit actually went for like, I mean, one lurk. Not a full rush towards the B side, but it's already still there. Rush B is still there, mga kaibigan. Yeah, I mean, I mean... Oh. Ah, okay. I thought there was going to be another player overextending, but... In the players, gonna play that it's safe. Maybe they're gonna try to go for the mid push. Oh no, far leg. Oh no, far leg. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they know where the op is. So, oh. a really good smoke out from Nafani. He knows that he could like run away towards CT spawn now. Molly as oh, well, they're, too. They're actually daring the up. They're all going short. Oh this god. Is, uh, this is something para dito sa Astralis if they want to defend. <laughs> No, they, oh, they no. go towards the short now. I can't think is aware, and everybody else on the straw list are running for the hills. They have to go for this retake now, but oh, look at they could actually just take off this uh, no, this uh, this aggressive push. But enters, why? Is it there? He's standing menacingly. He does a top mid. <laughs> a Chad. Look at chest. Now. Like a Chad. Like a, I mean, there's a possibility for a lurk out from Astralis. Then they pass. So, I mean, they're gonna oh. invest a lot of these players to go towards this full retake now. But Nafani, oh, nakita niya si Config, and he goes for the smoke bank too. But Blame is able to catch one for one. But Inters gets a double. But Blame F just stopping his momentum. But Axel and Nafani to clean everything up is able to find the win for players now. An e short aggressive push. It's all that they needed in order for them to make the up out from Far League a little bit uh, NC, to say the least. Yeah, di ko pa na ikita ko magana yung four CT na push kahit kailan. Unless they really just burst out with a single flash and everyone's blind on A. Other than that, it's just you know, like yeah, you know, shooting fish in a barrel. But meron din barrel yung fish, so uh, you have to hit your shots. But Shiro, speaking of hitting shots, <laughs> getting it on Siglave through the door into his head. I think if you are Nafani and Inters, you just run B, bro. You didn't see anyone cross. <laughs> Classic dust too, eh. Sobrang open just go in, para man. Sa, what are you guys oh, doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're just, uh, wow, we're just waiting. Be screaming right now, actually. So they want to take their time. Take oh, the sweet that's... time, blame. <laughs> To find the one frag that they needed onto Nafani, but Hobbit is just climbing everything back. It's all up to Blame F. Who with the shot. Hobbit just takes his three piece. That's an eight to six. Players uh bling burn momentum back up at the very least. Yeah, I saw Shiro look at him for a second. He's like, he didn't listen to me push. That's what you get. You get digged by Blame F in mid. But jokes aside, it was a pretty easy round. To say at least I mean Astralis had pistols, so I'm gonna magago at that point. Uh, USB. Nakadigals lang ang mga ibang tropa natin with no armor. So, pagdating sa mga rifles, eh, good talaga sila. Doon sa laban na na yun, but players, pinakamagandang part para dito sa half na to is they actually equalized it. Now, it's 8 to 7 instead of 8 to 3. Yeah. And uh, we, we talked about uh, the disadvantage that they've had uh, early into this Dust 2 map. I mean, players, respectable first. The Astralis members, actually, they, they know that they have to keep a lot of the eyes on very key points of the mat. It's through mid as well as around the long sides of both sides. Yeah. Na exploit the siguro ng players na basa na nila yung defensive positions for the Astralis members and acting accordingly now, they invest at least two players to go for the lurk now. If mawala yung isa, may madaling refrag but a bit risky especially with how much people. Kung gano ka daming tao nagdi-defense na ngayon sa may A long side at ngayon Using a lot of this util to fish. Sipix out, but he's still alive. A dead man walking, but Blame F going for the spray down. Exile goes for the double, despite him getting flashed out from one of these teammates. But Farling whiffing the shot from the op again. That's a very good opportunity for the members of players right now to move on to the A site. Yep. And there it is. Config, though. He ran all the way to the T base and uh, punta na siya dito sa long. Unfortunately, he's gonna get sent to the gray screen in just a bit. Glaive gonna get killed by Inters. 
who has been mid this whole time, we did not notice. And <laughs> crappy naman yun. I mean, just like I said, finally good to miss. But uh, just kidding. But I think <laughs> the precarious situation, no? na Molotov na nga si Zip doon, the guy who was trying to trade him only got one kill and an instant flash reaction galing dito sa side ng players. So, this is the best case scenario, no? Kung kayo yung players and you started out this first half in a really bad state. Now, you can start off dito sa CT. Even if you lose the pistol round, you can uh, you can rally it back dito sa gun buy. Uh, not the uh, best of starts for players kanina, pero yung maganda sa sa gagawa nila ngayon, nakapag... Uh... Parang natatrack na, na nila ng ayos yung mga membro ng Astralis dun sa city side nila. And uh, promising, ang ganda ng ano, ang ganda ng, uh, ang ganda ng strat nila na mga kapag uh, ma-pick off yung keep components ng Astralis members. But now that we're on the, se- oh, wait, the second half, that. Shiro might even get more as he gets one to start off the second half. Farlig is not gonna have any more value into this next round, but Config is able to trade it out one for one at the very least. The A short side could be able to be pushed up, but Config, the Glock, Glock, Glock is online for the members of Astralis ngayon, pero Blame F and Hobbit trying to make moves around the mid side, but it is only Hobbit who's able to get the one piece that he needed, a 3v2, but a double peek. One from the upside, one on the downside, Exile, the only man standing between them and victory, but Zipix gonna kick that door down, and another win for the Astralis members. Yeah, I saw what players were trying to do the this my middle area not and they tried to go aggressive so they can catch out these Astralis members um super early and they have confirmation that there's one person here long from the nades that they got there Zip so they expected that this would just be a straight up fight here in the mid I mean it was a good first kill sana dito, and that could have just been it for the aggression for the side of the players but they still wanted to push unfortunately Astralis was ready for that one and uh this is going to force it on players into the pistols, into the force buy. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Excel so again on the uh, on the, on the scout. A lot of damage if you hit it in the right places. But Zipix just uh, knowing that there's information around this garage side. He's free to go for the spray. But Nate. I mean, free as it can. But Nathany down to 46 HP. The nade not going to hit. Not going to connect. The A short side could be in contest. But... But he's holding down that angle right now. And only Shiro, as well as the pistols out from players. It's kind of a tough gamble if they want to invest a lot of these players down. Still, I think players can still get an advantage dito if they do get a single pick. That's going to be rifle on their side. Or if you do kill Glaive and Farlig, that's a MAC-10 and... Scout, at least pero pa yung pambawa sa mga players dito just in case, but instead it's just gonna be a full eight take. Yeah, I mean, they have the better guns, and uh, Glaive would just entry in with just the MAC 10, as we said. Ooh, I like fire rate, but it's not, it's, not, it's, not finding, it's not finding anybody. He has a scout, he could just actually take Glaive, take his head off right now. But oh, Nafani spraying on through with that 5 7, but <laughs> Farling, oh my god, right after the scout play gets a double, but Shiro. Hiding behind backside, only getting one onto config though. Seconds. Farling is able to go for the frag. It's three versus two, 20 seconds, 15 as we speak. The Galil was perfect out from Blame F. They're able to plant that bomb towards his A side with only Hobbit alive and breathing. I mean, ano pa pamagagawa ni Hobbit dito? I mean, in season 75, three people, AK 47s on all the sides. Galil dito ay Blame F, but 45 HP. Good attempt from the side of players. Kaso, yun lang. I think if Axile did not get to tap by a running block, I mean, this would have been, uh, this would have been possible. <laughs> ah, the, the quick jiggle from Blame. You love to see it. And, uh, love to see Astralis, like, climbing the ranks back up. Having that confidence back towards their side. Farlik was very impressive, though, into this round. Look at him just going for the smoke bags from the Glock. And no the, way that's I mean, the Scott, dude. it's another uh, scope weapon. It's not enough, but at least he shows his prowess into the A short side. I mean, impressive yung kaibigan natin si Farlig dun sa previous round na yun, But players need to fall back on another low buy na naman. Pistols across the board. But Glaive again, another aggressive push towards a long side. Actually, this is a, this is a new thing into the second half para sa Astralis members as a... 
could be challenging yung defense na matry na i-hold yung A side na to. Yep, it's just gonna be pure numbers at this point. Sino na lang ang mahuhuna dito na mamamatay galing sa side ng Astralis. Nate is gonna go through but it's not gonna do too much. And yeah, it's just gonna be easy pickings for Gothic. I mean, one flash and it's over. Uh, one flash. I mean, the assist as well from the Util. Blame F and Zipix just taking pieces for themselves. Only Nafani just trying to dance around the smoke. He takes one, but uh, I mean, actually, no, it's a team kill from Config. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, all good. All good. They still get the win. A bit, a bit uh, expensive para kay Zipix, but they still get the win nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. Now, Now is the time for the side of players this is the round to do it to actually turn it back around in their favor so if ever they actually want to go for any plays that can be a guaranteed win para sa side nila then that would be huge but Astralis still 11 to 7 plus economy is looking good para sa side nila so kahit matala sila sa round na to I think they're still capable of doing at least a high force buy or even a full buy but look at this hopping to naman sa mid gets two Whoa. he was hiding in the corner he was waiting for the members of Astralis to get greedy. I mean, the confidence is definitely building back up, but it could be they could be too complacent with how they've been playing there. And uh, Glaive and Config are gonna be pay paying the consequences there. Hobbit was in a really good spot to take more, and the two pieces, although it could have been three, it was all the more worth it for themselves. Slow towards his A short now. I mean, Hobbit, yes, he dies, but he still has a deep pool of strats past my players ngayon. But Astralis are unrelenting. So, pa rin nila matik yung A short control. Eventually, the A set as a whole. 45 seconds, a quarter of a minute. Para mapagplat sila mga kung ng objective. But Nathani, that's big. That's far they got in the picture. They cannot. Try to go for the defuse, but it is going to be 1v2 for Zipix. The clutch minister online, not Ooh. able to isolate as Inters just denying them of the win for the members of the T side. And that's a really big round for the side and players. I mean, this is the round to actually get the momentum back, snatch it back out of Dito Astralis. They've had it for too long Dito's around na to. Hobbit with a really big play Dito's a bid and Nafani and Inters just finishing off this one. I don't think she had to do any work doon sa round na yon. And if they do recover the op, this is everything going well para Dito's a CT side. Now they just have to ride the momentum until that they until they can get the lead. Yeah. Yeah, and especially since it's a broken buy. For the Astralis members, kita mo nga naman, dalawang Tech 9 at saka isang Mach 10 lang meron sila. Pero ito yung setup na meron sila nung second round, heading into the second half. But, difference is, it's gonna be a lot of rifles across the board for the player's side. Nafani, despite of getting blinded, is able to find an entry. But Glaive, to trade it out one for one. But a lot of members from players are gonna swarm around this B site. As Nafani again with another on to blame if they're not able to secure this B site, but Zipix is fighting back. Farlik as well, taking a piece for himself. Another for Glaive. It's a 3v1 despite them having the broken by. Astralis are able to fight back again, but Exxon is still alive. He's still one of the key players out. He's ticked down to 51 HP. Picks up the op, but I think it is going to be a save call for the members of players right now. Could take the exit, but no. Farlig. Just denies the op from getting saved for the members of players there. Astralis are able to bring back the momentum. That is a really, really bad round for the side of players. That's a one round that they needed to win as well to build the economy para sa side nila. Oh no, this is going to be a rough time out para sa players. They have to fork up a strat where they have to maybe force by or either they eco for this one and they go for something really drastic. After uh, after they do concede 13 here, but Astralis has full control dito. Is this the game that Astralis can get their first win on Dust 2 in a while? And it's up against players of all the teams. I mean, this is not good for the side of players. I mean, if they don't get the next two rounds, then their mental wala na. I mean, their mental is just going to be shot. Then papagisipan na lang nila paano nila gagawin yung inferno dito kasi going 14 and 8 here would not be an option
para sa players. Oh. Oh. I mean, you gotta deny the match point here, right? But Blame F uh, running in with just an M4A1S, but Napani just going for a spray, but Blame F a triple! Exile Napani and Inters are down! I mean, I mean, this, at this point, he's gonna run in with a lot of the guns that he still have, but Zipix, let's make it close. It's a 3v1 right after the one tap out of the players, and it's only onto Hobbit. But, I mean, the op. Perfect place, perfect angle. 13 to 8. Another win towards match point for a strong. Mm -hmm. Nasty eco. Para sa side ng players dito. I mean,. I mean, it, it is expected that they that they actually uh, lose the round there. But at the same time, damage has been done. So, economy is not that high pass aside now, Charles, at least for the case of Farlig and Kai Config. So, if they can get at least two more rounds here, then maybe, just maybe, they can punish it on Astralis while wala pa silang lost bonus here. I mean, take what you can at this point in the game for players now. I mean, take as much uh, frag plays as you can, but the Exile doesn't even need to go for the cross. He just goes for the, the frag. After the flash out from Far League, good assistance, good team play to catch one of these players off guard. Blame F, who we've been talking about as one of the players who has really hot hands ngayon sa Dust 2 map. Uh, as he gets taken out the picture, Hobbit have to dodge away from the flash and he puts out the nade trying to contest them right now a really good nade onto config and farlig though as the smokes are out the molly is in it too another molly to delay the push shot from hobbit eventually the flash might even come forward but again astralis are taking their sweet time but inters has a really oh, good act so where's the wind of car and even gets one onto glaive but Farley is able to trade it out. It's a 3v2. Make it a 2v3, actually. But Khan being able to spot out one onto Inters. And that's eventually a frag over to Exile as well. I mean, everything. It's a fiesta so far. But Hobbit able to get that advantage now. And Shiro just ends it with the op. I mean, what happened? What What's happening all over the map? Everybody <laughs> just taking kills left and right. I mean, I was just looking at the screen. I was like, oh. One guy's top mid with an op is gonna get caught by a CT player. And yeah, someone in window got punished by a dude in the smoke. I'm like, hmm. This is a really interesting round, but somehow players come out on top. And you know, that's the round that they need, and they need the round after this as well. They need to punish the economy dito na Astralis. They have plenty of money to do so, but still the loss bonus is gonna be a bit friendly para dito sa Astralis. So meron pa silang leeway. Para dito sa maybe isa pang gun buy, maybe they can drop some deagles, pero yun nga, medyo maliit pa yung loss, uh, loss bonus pa dito ng Astralis. So, if they can, or if players can force yung economy nila back to zero, then that's uh, that's gonna be the best news that they've heard all of this map. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's a story of, you know, of uh, cursed map picks. If you remember, it was uh, Astralis who picked the, the ancient map, but eventually players take it away from them. But it's players themselves. And we've been talking about how players have Dust 2 as one of their best maps in the map pool. And unfortunately, we're seeing them struggle against Astralis, who have been hot and cold as of late. They exchange util around the garage side, but nobody is taking that extra step. Exile, though. Exile might actually... Uh, Surprise Zipix as he's uh, narrowing through. He pulls out his knife. That's the wrong timing for him, but Config is able to trade it out one for one. He pulls out the scout and able to bring it all back. It could actually be a winning chance for the members of Astralis as he take that frag over to Exa. Mm -hmm. But a 4v4 hurts the uh, CT side more than the T side as of the moment. As, I mean... Meron pa namang ibang mga players dito sa A. I mean, two is enough, I think, to stop a three-man push. But, I mean, some well-placed shots lang dito galing sa Astralis. Then, uh, pwede na itong ta yung round. Pabalik sa side nila. Pero, players playing this one really patiently. They're not overextending at all. Even conceding most of control dito sa A for the long angle. Para dito kay Shiro, and you got to trust this kid to hit all of his shots dito sa short, or else this is gonna be game over para sa players. 
especially that uh, this is one of their last buy rounds. I don't know if they're one of the last buy rounds. Yeah, and they if they give up players. that, yeah, if they lose out one of these rounds and the pivotal match point for Astralis, and eventually they just run away with the map pick of players. Now it's Shiro. It's Ooh, bomb drop. Just destroys Config. That's a bomb drop. Five seconds for them to plant that bomb. And there you go. They are able to go for the objective, but they have to deal with the players right now. Two versus two with Inters and Shiro still alive and well. Glaive is trying to hold things down around default, but Shiro with that, with that op, wrong timing to pull out the scope, but he's eventually going to go for the AK, but it's not going to be enough. Glaive is able to readjust at the 2v1 with Inters. Just has to isolate these last two players out and not able to hit the flick as well. That's a triple kill from Glaive. And eventually, they reach another round towards match point. Yep. And, ah, man, their mistakes from players is just stacking up. Nito sa ating second half. I mean, they should have just cleared Glaive as fast as they can. But at the same time, Shiro tried his best to hit his shots, but he got swarmed oh so quick. And um, I think if you just played long the whole time, you can get the A-side control dito. However, uh, well, I, I, just like I said, Astralis just really <laughs> hit some really nice shots in that round. Yeah, key, key frags. Key frags for the Astralis members there. And, and players, as I've said, this is a, since their money is not in the best of shapes, they're just going to have to force by at this point. Try to deny match point out from Astralis now. A lot of Util Exile, Oof, the luckiest of dogs, just dodging away from a lot of the Mollies now. They're pushing on through. Knows that they don't know. They don't know that Exile's on the other side. He could have actually go for the peak, but it's a freebie out from these two players. From well, the player side, CT spawn is a, is gonna be in a really good position as Glaive is able to go for the corner kill with Nafani. The lurk was successful. The assassination. Astralis weren't able to read the play happening for the players right now. As despite them having the lower bias, the Famous is doing a lot of work, especially with how much they've been pressuring both sides for Astralis right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the same time, Axile, um, Gaben just gave him that round. I mean, allowing him to not get burned by the Molly because he believed in your boy Gaben. <laughs> so, 24 seconds on the clock. Um, is this possible? Para sa side ng Astralis to get an execute going. Glaive is just sitting in mid, waiting for an execute. Galing kay Nafani and Nafani is gonna go down. But they know where the bomb is now though. They can aggress dito kay Farling. Farling has to go for the plant and this is gonna be Inter's going for the push. It's gonna be 5 seconds left. All they have to do is live. And suddenly, yeah. the players get a random round. That's... <laughs> I mean, I mean, it just works out in the end for the CT side. I mean, they burned so much time para sa Astralis players, especially with the very questionable push towards the A long side. Hindi nila na check actually yung corner. Exile dealt so much damage, especially for Hobbit 2 with the assist. And eventually, hindi nila na expecting lurk from one of these players. Kaya, I mean, they burned a lot of this time. They also made it a little bit more difficult for the members of Astralis to recover. Yeah, players, that's a really good strat from them. And I believe that's uh I believe that also calls for a timeout eventually. But I mean I mean I don't think that's too much damage, I believe, for the mental on Astralis side. Yeah, I think um they easy but in the okay we can maybe eco one round and by the potato miladito I say Ah when it starts to like do like 14 13 uh, pag nang Again, ganun yung score natin. And pag naging 14 14, okay, Farlig is gonna start to miss. Once again. Kasi pressure is already on. So, that's the only hope na meron dito yung, uh, yung players natin. They really just have to hang on until pressure starts to mount again para dito sa Astralis. And sometimes the pressure just eats at the team itself. And, uh, yeah, I mean, let's see. It seems like locked in naman yung uh, Astralis dito. They're not gonna let them. Uh, let them get this comeback easily back into the game and suddenly Glaive is down to 13 hp what happened? was it a nade was it I think a he dink? jumped into pit and then something happened uh, i mean broke his phone he's he's stuck he's stuck now 
especially ngayon na uh, in players ang dami na naman dito eh I mean I feel like uh it's gonna be playing for info now maybe even catch uh, a lurk out from players ngayon but that's also one of the key players down or I mean I'm mean, not really down I mean crippled sa Astralis side but at the same time just reading a lot of their options right now I was scared a bit because his inters started walking up into P entrance. I was like, that's not the play, brother. That is not the play. Get back in B. And 35 seconds. I mean, Ashal is taking their time, um, taking the CTs on a tour of Dust 2 uh, just to see the good sights. But making a long take na ba to para sa side ng Astralis Smoke's already down but Smoke's at the same time para kay Hobbit it's actually a one way so he can see into the side Hobbit is gonna recover yung AK but he's gonna trade 3 ayun uh, and eventually all the cards are falling and I mean that's the eco buy I mean isa lang naman yung may rifle dun sa side ng Astralis so they could just sweep this aside sabi mo naman uh, isang eco lang naman yung kailangan nila para makulit yung guns nila for the next round and eventually they could clean everything up para sa T side nila I mean yung mga membro ng players eventually recovering ngayon knowing the naka-eco lang yung mga membro ng Astralis they can still fight back para sa T side natin Especially with another attempt at trying to go for, go for information sa mid-side. Nito natin na laging ang inasabid yung kahit is mga players sa uh, One Piece sa uh, Astralis sa kaya sa players. And it's Config. Looking towards that mid-side. And Shiro, after that, oh, man, nobody's pushing down. Nobody's taking too many risky plays. I, I believe the pressure is on for both of these squads. I mean, you risk losing the pressure or losing the momentum out from Astralis. Uh, you're Risking mirror map pick for mm. player side. If players lose this round, then they just lose, bro. That's the L, L taken. Because even if they win the next round over, I mean, it's just going to be a solid going for eco, then that's a whole nother puzzle for the players to figure out. But the Astralis, they're keeping it, uh, they're keeping it quiet around the map, just letting it on players uh, melt as much utility as they can. Problem is new meta. You can just drop as much nades as you can into CT and just have one dude chuck nades deep short, and uh, job's gonna be done for him. But 40 seconds left. We need that dude in CT with that Molotov. But it's gonna be Hobbit actually. Think the Nathan. Where is he gonna throw it? Oh, good Molly, but Glaive, good shot. Onto Hobbit, but this could actually be a bait. This could actually be a bait and switch. They made so much noise towards this A side, but the members of players are unrelenting. They're still holding it down. But oh, kalani na pa rin na patay niya. Napag flick pa pero wala. It's Astralis aggressively taking the B side despite so much noise towards this A side. But blame map spot out the lurk onto Exa, but Exa actually winning it out. It's a two v four, but. I don't know. I don't think they have enough time. Well, the Deagle knows that the Famous is not going to be enough against three players around this tunnel. And eventually, we're going to move on to match point. And players, that was their last chance. Such a big whiff regarding Dunke Hobbit, man. He really needed to hit the Glaive, Don. If Glaive got killed, the B players would have not reacted like that. And the uh, players would have been a bit more ready for this B split. But that's lang. Astralis looking to collect their first win in... Five, six maps. You gotta include this. Six maps. Need this a dust too, and it's coming in the hands of uh, players. This is not a good sign for us, players. No, that means other teams can actually target their dust too. Uh, mm -hmm. If ever, I you know they keep playing in this uh, group piece RMR, but that's gonna be a thing that they have to think about, especially knowing Inferno in third map, Nathan and Astralis is gonna be extra dangerous in that map. So. Uh, yep, they just gotta think so, about it, man. Historically, yun yung ano, teritoryo naman ng Astralis. But it's been a question of do they really perform on their map picks? Kasi yun yung nangyari sa players. But oh, <laughs> Exile. I mean, he's just beating off the chance that they could still try to go for these wins, especially that a few of these players have the guns that they could need in order to win the head to heads. But I mean, Sipex, he's a really big part, but you have uh, multiple Titans for Astralis. They're still alive. They're still uh, trying to possibly make a play around this A long side. Kaso, 
mean, alam nilang meron silang man advantage. You don't need to overly aggress for the player side. Eventually, Glaive is just, just going for the spam towards the smoke. And nobody is like, Defending the car area nga naman. Mali mo. Malagyan na lang ulit ng molly. Tapos walang mangyayari, di ba? Kaya, I mean, taking a page out of the playbook for players. But, Nafani. And for A1S, might actually spot out three players out from Astralis. Even finds one on to blame map, but not connecting the shot. Config is so low, down to 9 HP. 35 seconds for the members of Astralis to claim match win. In order for them to tie things up against players, but Hobbit! Is denying that possibility, even taking one down onto Glaive, trying to deny the win out from Astralis here. It's again, Config and Farlig out in a two versus four. And they even pull out the op. They eventually give Farlig the AK now. As Shiro and the rest of the squad from players, they're just trying to hunt people down on the side of Astralis, but with the clock ticking down. They're able to get the 12 round and delay the inevitable for Astralis here as, again, another shot at redemption in the Dust2 map. Yep, shot of redemption indeed. I mean, Gambit, or rather players, actually on a tear to on surrounding, and especially itong si Hobbit, man. Hobbit is really single-handedly saving itong players dito sa ating game. And... Man, this is the major winning mindset right here. It's not over till it's uh, till it's 16 on the map. And Hobbit, this man is refusing to give up. And is this going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be a rush beat for Astralis, but I remembered that they are Danish. But, you know, huh? Ooh, Hobbit, he had to duck in real life. He had to duck super hard for that one. Uh, I mean, sobrang close na sana, Mabtesha. Really good nade. Uh, Na-damage itong kaibigan config yun, but... Uh... It's, well, uh, I think as the tech time, they might just win it. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, you you they gotta have him. Uh, you you gotta have him go for the entry at this point. You just have to play for trades now. Far league, no, although not having like the best performances in the first map, he could make his redemption here now on the two map. But again, using a lot of the util, just try to fish out these players and deny any sort of uh, control for the players now. But and I feel like they know that it's eventually going to be a push towards B side now that upper tunnels is being fished out for Util. It's 45 seconds eventually. And players playing so steadily, trying to hold things down with Shiro with the op, and eventually finds Blame F not hitting the shot at a second though, as Napani finds a second. It is Config trying to spray on through with Smoke Bang, but it's going to be a three versus four. The members of Astralis. They have pushed towards this eighth speed site, but still a numbers disadvantage. Hobbit has to respond to the aggressive play towards this B site. Smoke out. Tough, man. They are eventually going to push out then. They need to make this work. They need to make this 4v3. But eventually, everything gets equalized with Sipix and Farlik making so much damage. And Astralis are going to win on the map pick of players as we're heading on to Inferno. Damn. I mean, Astralis with a really big dust to especially here from Glaive, carrying his team to victory as the IGL and as the main fragger for that whole time. But overall... Mistakes over mistakes coming here from players. Just their timings are a bit off. It seems like they're out of sync. Tito sa ating second map. It's unfortunate to see, but it does happen. I mean, Astralis collect their first win in uh, six maps. Dito sa Dust 2, which is what we didn't expect. Dito sa series na to. Kasi nga, I mean, who expects uh, a team that lost on the same map for the next, for the past five times na to actually win this one? But it seems like Farley on the rifle. I'm telling you, man, that uh, we, we need to convert more people to that belief that we just need to put Far League on the rifle, man. That's uh, that's the key. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just uh, let him play the rifle and, and take him out of the op. That's a really good equation. That's a really good, uh, actually, I'd say variable into the winning factor for the members of Astralis there. And uh, honestly... I don't. I think map picks don't matter at this point. I feel like now that we're moving on to the decider map. What led us to this is that we had all the confidence so much for players, especially on the second map. Pero lie, 
like Astralis just come out guns blazing, especially for Farleg, who also put up a very respectable performance for himself. But we all have to praise Exile and Glaive for this performance right now. Look at him just it's just pure instinct, pure killer instinct at this point. Yeah, Farleg had a bit of a I don't know, a bit of a performance for himself, but let's not forget the core of Astralis who actually carried it on forward to the win itself. Yep, I think um, Zip had a way better game than he should because uh, he's the clutch minister, but they didn't expect him to have this much impact around the map. That being, uh, you know, it's not yet clutch time, but Glaive still collecting some rounds for his team because of his gameplay, just overpowering um, the player side. And I think this is a sign that uh, Zip is slowly turning into, just like I said, the Swiss Army Knife type of player since... Uh, uh, Magisk and uh, Dupree left. Uh, parang lumaki yung role niya dito sa Astralis as a player in general. And uh, he has to cover for the mistakes for his teammates as well. So, Zip, so far, carry mode is on for him. But uh, can this continue para dito mm -hmm. sa map 3 natin? Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Inferno is going to be a banger. We're going to have more analysis after the break. But once again, shout out to Rivalry.com. Use the code LuponWXC for up to $200 maximum deposit bonus so if you want to bet dito sa aming EU RMR then make sure to go to rivalry.com but that is it uh, for us for now we're gonna take a 10 minute break and when we come back more uh, CSGO action game 3 Inferno be right back This is Keanu Reeves, and welcome to Rush Lane. Rush Lane is a new intense multiplayer racing game where you can compete against real players to win real money. Set in the towering crime-filled metropolis of Hub City, here champions put their life on the line for glory, power, and riches in the ultimate death race known as the Rush Lane. How does it work? Simple. Pay a small stake to jump into the next race. All the stakes go into the prize pool, so the more players, the more money there is to win. Once enough players join, the race is on. Races last just a couple of minutes and are fully automated. Rush Lane is driven by our unique physics-based randomness engine. Starting positions, track segments, and traps are all randomly generated and we've tested over 10,000 races to ensure no player has any advantage over another. Cheer on your racer as they scream down the winding city streets and through mysterious alternate worlds filled with dangerous traps and pitfalls. The first player to cross the finish line wins the biggest share of the prize pool. But don't worry, the top few finishes are also in the mix to win. The exact number of winners will change depending on how many players were in the race. The more players, the more winners. Rush Lane is live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So you can jump into the action anytime you want. Good luck out there, racers. Only on Rivalry.com.
Maganda gabi mga kaibigan. Welcome back. You are still watching the game between players versus uh, Astralis as we speak. We're heading on into game three. You're still joined by the same casters, Dad Feminine, Sneaky Frog, covering all the best action down in PGL RMR, the European group. And so far, napakalaki ng, uh, ng upset na nakita natin dito sa Dust2 map. It was players who had the map pick sana, kaso nga lang. Astralis run away with their own map pick and we're heading on into Inferno and honestly, Sneaky Frog, what are the odds here? Uh, I think now is the more accurate saying of whoever plays worse because both of them medyo cold streak sila pagdating dito sa Inferno side natin. So, ayun nga, whoever plays worse today dito sa ating Inferno map is probably gonna be the ones just falling into the 2-1 uh, scoreline and uh, I think none of these teams really want to go 2-1 as they really want just to go Straight 3-0, straight legend status, don't think about anything and just fly towards Antwerp, fly towards Belgium, enjoy the kebab or something. Pero, um, ayun, I mean, uh, Astralis, you know, historically, they, they are good. No? I mean, if we imagine Astralis even way back when, magaling sila dito sa Inferno. However, their stats have not been looking good for the past few games para dito sa Inferno. Maybe it's because... Um, there is just a way better Inferno team playing dito mm -hmm. sa ating tournament and their meta is uh, kind of countering yung meta dito ng Astralis as of the moment. So, FaZe actually kind of trailblazing their way into the Inferno meta. And now, I think um, Astralis could be playing a bit of an outdated version of uh, yung playstyle dito sa Inferno. No? But at the same time, maybe it could work against players, man, kasi... At this point, anything can happen dito sa mga players. Pero bagay yun, Timo, hmm. pwede pa ba tayo mag-bet or what? Apple pa. Sige, oh. Oy, let's put it on players. Man, sinaba, sinaba. Ah, players. I mean, kasi naman yung wala si, si, ano, si Fire League, di ba? Doon tayo. Kacha, If I mean... Astralis wins, I wouldn't be mad. Kasi ah. I would never bet, for, bet on Fire League. <laughs> I mean, at this I point... Did, I lost a lot of money, that's for sure. So never bet uh, on this channel. But if you are an Astralis believer, feel free to use our code Dupon WXC pag nag uh, deposit ka dito. Sa rivalry.com, you get up to $200 and lose as much money as me when you bet on Farley. <laughs> so, yun nga. I mean, map number three. Players, better stats, but it's still pretty bad. Kasi 46% versus 25%, it's still pretty bad. No? Kasi both of them are no. below 50 Oh. And uh ni siya coin flip eh. parang yung coin pareho silang tails para sa parehong uh, upunan natin and uh for reason si bias pwede nating ano sabihin na yung momentum nasa side ng Astralis ngayon pero without Astralis have been performing as of late it's uh, it's still up in the area eh? unfortunately para sa kanila parang I can't really put my 100% on the Astralis side ngayon, but they have been pretty impressive with how they adapted into the Dust2 map, especially with players 2. They brought their A game definitely there, but unfortunately not going to be enough. We are forced into a map 3, Inferno, the decider map for both Astralis and the players natin ngayon with Astralis. With their... I believe they have this chance to actually close this into a reverse sweep against players, but again, players, they do not want to run away with that defeat. So now, with the CT side on Astralis, they have to stop the players now from heading on towards the side with an aggressive push towards mid and interest going for the entry. Oh, and that's a pretty aggressive pick towards Farling now. A double, a two piece up from interest with only the Glock. Only a one for two with Shiro. Not really the biggest of losses. And Blame Math, though, traded out. It is a 3v3 now. Mukang nakapag ising na. Ang mga membro ng Astralis dito right after an aggressive push out from players. But Config able to readjust. Na hanap si Exile sa corner ng apartments. But so 3v2 now. Still doable for the members of players to hold down the site with Inters. The only man trying to hold things down. He's able to find one onto Sipix, but he only trades it out. Hobbit able to find Config out of the sky. It's the 1v1. Blame that versus Hobbit. And they're trying to play ring around the Rosie. All Hobbit has to do is just buy as much time as the bomb is about oh to detonate. But no, no need to God. wait to pop that thing. He's blowing up on a server, ladies and gentlemen. That's a 1-0 for players. That is so huge. 
coming in here from Hobbit, playing it the veteran way, just milking the time of this bomb and making sure that it's gonna explode no matter what happens. In that 1v1, Hobbit really just showing us the experience that he has on his on his arsenal and just like that just dancing around Blame if they get a win off of a round despite some really good shots coming in from Blame F and from config grab it young players i mean good thing they have hobbit on their team huh oh yeah i mean i mean this guy is just as smart as they come not too aggressive and alam niya kan eh nasa oras na nasa advantage na oras kaya just buy as much time as you can but with the pressure coming to blame f there i mean the trade the win the duel although time and pressure was off for hobbit there he just come loose especially with the the mental being pressured on towards the astralis members but now banana is swarming with so many players so far but with the smoke put out it's enough to make them think twice about going for this peak Their attempt at going to the mid side para sa players natin and eventually a site unfortunately though swarmed around by so many astralis players at kailangan nilang maging uh, maging aware ang dami nila dito sa may a site 30 seconds kaya pa rin naman nilang isipin na baka b site na lang yung play para sa players ngayon but i think it's gonna be the uh, the take you can try to go for it now, especially with Astralis not having the best guns. And now, the one tap is not going to work out for Config there. Shiro to follow through, but he can little kill. And an entry, a clean one. Not as clean as they would like, as Axile is going to be taken out. But in the end, it is a 4v1 in Sipix. Lone man in Astralis. Mm -hmm. And only going to be Zip, the Clutch Minister, with a dig. Natira dito sa ating CT base. But, I mean, wala na siya magagawa at this point. Tim versus the world players doing a really good job of just swarming itong a site with just pure numbers and uh i don't think uh usually the five sevens and the deagles and some of the usps they do really good in cqcs but uh players i don't know they just took it really fast at this point as fast as you want i mean it's uh it's a sign of their confidence building that back up again that's what they need, especially na nawala yung dust to sa kanila. Na nilang bumawi sa Inferno and still keep a lot of the guns that they had in the previous round. Also have enough to buy a few of the guns that they did not have. Sa mga namatay sa previous round. Itong Astralis could be another pistol round for them. And trying to rely on the one taps that Sipix could have for themselves in the Inferno map. Like another split. Possibly around the B site. Banana swarming with so many players as we speak. Just throwing so many util. Making their presence known. Using a lot of the grenades as well to try to push them out of close ranges. Knowing that they only have pistols. Players sobrang careful sa pag-push nito. Alam nila na baka naman sila lang ane, ng digal na pwedeng makuha ng mga Astralis members ngayon. But they aren't checking their corners. Napani no good for one but blame F. It's finalizing the last one on to Nafini. That's a four versus four. I still like how slow they're playing it on ground to actually, you know. Um, making sure that Astralis, if ever they go for the overextension, then um, there's going to be a person punishing it on the other side. I think Glaive is dead. That's a pressure, my friend. Oh, no. Inters, inters, inters. Don't hit this, my friend. <laughs> Get the kill. He has a USP. It's yeah, it's a what gonna do it. I mean, it should be enough. He is deep down, exile a little bit. He's playing no, he's frags that they should get, but he's they're taking him. so much he's he's time to believe. Eventually, oh. eventually taking frag. So one before, he only has a Mac 10 to work with now, as a 5-7 as well. To just give the, this Mac 10 to one of these players later in the, in the next round. But again, players they take another piece for themselves, they get another win. And it's a good sign for them. They do not want to keep thinking about how the dust tube map worked out for themselves. As we're looking at a 3 to 0 scoreline, players, the MVP of Hobbit, get another advantage into this Inferno map. 
Mm-hmm. And 0-3, players with a stellar start dito sa ating first half of the third game. Grabe naman. I mean, they call me pretty healthy para sa side last year with an AWP. Everything is going well para dito sa players on the east side of MVP and Astralis. I mean, they're gonna have one more chance to at least try to reverse the damage dito to the players that are doing it dito sa map. Pero, ooh, with the push. Oh, it's a really good flashback. It's an opportunity para a PC blame F, but Hobbit, they can get a two for one. It's a freebie for the IGL of Astralis right now. Nafidi again just with the Galil is uh, slapping it onto config. They had shot, enters as well with a mid lurk. Successful, successful assassination. Farlig picks up that up, and this is the nightmare that we've all been waiting for. Farlig with an op, ladies and gentlemen, on 1v3. A clutch situation for one of the newest members of Astralis says, I don't think this is winnable. Oh. Yeah. All that Even? anticipation, man. I'm just like, oh, maybe he'll actually hit the guy in live. And it's like, nope. Yeah. It's actually Inters. He has more kill. He has almost more kills than he had the first 10 rounds of the first two games. But... That's actually really good news for the players. I mean, their entry fragger is actually hitting yung kanyang mga shots dito. And when the entry fraggers like Inters start activating like this, then it's really dangerous for us Astralis. They cannot display the corner and uh, go for the over peak. Kasi nga, I mean, if... <laughs> if oh, oh my gosh, never mind. Please. I could not even finish. Napani was dabbing too hard. Then Axile oh gonna get needed. In lang, players, they lose too. I know, I know, sneaky. Sa mga gantong sitwasyon, kung maka, maka pistol ka lang, rush B na lang yung mga kaibigan nating Astralis. Rush banana yung ginawa nila. In the, beneath all the smokes, the fire, and the flames, they want to confuse so much of the vision of players, and they take full advantage of that. However, they just swing that momentum back. Shiro finds one. Dito kay Config. That's one utility user down, and... They upgraded one of these players to an AK, so a lot of damage towards players ngayon. And Astral, it's, it's, it's good news. They still have a man advantage, but the need could have actually caught Hobbit and dealt as much damage as they could. It actually could have actually killed him. Ooh, but the flower pot boost. If Hobbit catches any of the players, Tito, ng Astralis, then. I think that's just gonna be game over unless he hobbit pala yung caught dito, but I think B side is gonna be the goal here. Hobbit! Gonna start to farm some of the members ng Astralis and... Yep, it is just looking likely that they're just gonna wait this round out, wait for any more over extensions, but the time is of the essence para dito sa players and... Farley is playing a really good angle dito sa may hay bill. However, pag naikutan to dito sa may moto na area, then... That's not going to be good news. So they're going to have to clear this really, really quick. They're going to have to go for the push immediately. Hobbit with a really good angle. So he's going to have to watch Pit the whole time. So they can plant. Where's the plant? Where's the plant? Inters! Inters! What? Astralis! What? What? Players, everyone's brain just turned off. Oh! Oh my god! Players, it was the freest of rounds they had the sight in their favor but they're taking so much of their time trying to clear every corner the only threat they would have is farling but he was in hell he didn't much mock up and peek it but man players it was, it was a freebie it was so free you know you freed it up wise as strong as the win i'm like out of tv what <laughs> i mean that can be a Momentum ruiner right there to get in the play, but let's see again the players pick themselves back up after that horrible play that just happened right in front of our eyes. I wish we could forget it, but it's ingrained in my memory until next week. But babe, no one on action on Sadito IGL on IGL action. I mean, this is uh, this is just falling apart. For the members of players now, but at least they're able to trade it out one for one. Exile just catches one off guard, but as I say that, Config and Farlig making a lot of work. Double kill from Farlig, but a two piece out from Shiro pulls out the Deagle, but in the end, it's all gonna be for naught. Farlig just wins out the round MVP there. It's a two to four Astralis. I'm feeling unexpectedly a timeout, funny. <laughs> yeah, they should. They should. They you should time out. I think after that round, it's uh. 
it's pretty bad. Na ituloy ituloy yung rounds nato para sa side ng players. I think they're just gonna play into the tilt and uh, not gonna be good for their momentum at all. And if, for Farlig, no, I mean the pressure is gone. I think players are in a really bad spot. But Shiro, in that refuse to lose mindset, galing sa kanya, no? he really wants to get the win for that round. So it'll be easier para sa kanyang team. Pero Astralis just outnumber them at that point. No, hindi naman ako professional player. Caster lang ako, commentator lang ako mga kaibigan. Pero, kung ako yung players at naalala ko yung round niya, makawala din yung laro ko eh. Makawala rin yung, ano, yung stability ng laro ko kung players. Yeah, you need pasok. an IGL like Apex, no? So, you can just laugh about that mistake. <laughs> But, Nafani <laughs> is not that type of IGL. Dude, this guy does not smile. Oh, really? I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, at this point, they're just... Trying to make a lot of these noises, these sound cues. Banana is still swarmed around with so many players, but Astralis and Isidro Nakagat, they're just keeping these angles in check, even using the smoke to slow down their push. Eventually, they find themselves around Coffin, and B-Site could also be secured, especially with Crossfire. They could, they could set up for themselves an anchor for both Blame F and Sipix around that B-Site, but... On the other side of the map, on the other side of the team, actually, it's uh, still a banana kill or a banana secure. And execute it all together, and Blame F just finds the frag over to Nafani. Try to make this delayed for the players again, make them forget about the plant. A lot of the frags happening for Astralis as everything is falling into peace. With Exile getting a double, though, into a 1v3. Convict still alive, 9 HP. But Exile is the start of the show. He puts out a lot of the util. Just try to delay as much as you can to isolate these members, but they could just double peek oh out. God. But Exile is isolating these players so effectively. Oh, he might even get the double, here? but it's the FP9! Out from Glaive! Enough to secure the win for Astralis as they get the third. Oh my god, that's so huge. Para dito sa Astralis. I mean, nakuha na nila yung momentum ng players that one round. I think the timeout should really come out anytime soon para dito sa players because this is getting out of hand. Yeah, four, man. You, got, you gotta use them eventually, pero pwede pa naman bumili dito ang players. 5.7k, 3.5k. Maybe they can go for the four spy. Some of them will opt in for that Galil or Mac 10 if you want a more mobile option. But... Yun na, yun nga lang. Shiro has to opt in with the AK, man. No timeouts. I mean, players just keep going. I mean, that's not timeout. I mean, at this point, players, they're running out of steam. They, in that in that round that I will not mention because I, I just cannot stop thinking about it. They, they definitely lost so much of their confidence now. They, they're they easily fragile at this point. And Astralis are taking a lot of these free wins now. I mean, look at how confident they are just trying to smoke bang through and another push out to Banana. So, Blame F and Sipix, Guardians of Banana right now, and broken by his all for players means that they have to pick their fights correctly. Molly out to try to fish them away towards the push out from Banana, but I mean, a lot of time being bought for the Astralis members. Mm -hmm. And Astralis opting in for the Alex Albin approach not not even changing not pitting no change of tires no timeouts Ooh, just straight up but that molly that is what Astralis is known for man the molotovs pero yun lang si Blame F ngayon namatay doon <laughs> and yun, yun yung ano yun yung nag oh? sa series natin so far talk about hot hands Glaive a free spray down might even get a third but Inter is just able to go for the refrag there but a lot of damage has been done. 30 seconds. They're already swarming towards B yeah, site. And Farlig, though, yung masamanga lang dito, yung angle ni Farlig, it would have been, it's so good. It's the crossfire out from the members of Astralis. But the members of players, they still make it work. They're able to trade it out. But Shiro, the only man standing for the T side with config going for the rotate now. He's looking for the op, I think. I mean, config. It all stands on him. It all stands on him to try to continuously break down the confidence for players, but it all falls down. All the pressure, all the weight, lahat. Nang kailangan ng players, na kay Shiro na ngayon. The tap oh, towards the bomb, but Config is able to win on the 1v1. Kinagat, kinagat mismo ni Shiro yung fake na yun. And Config is able to win it out for Astralis, tying everything up. What is happening to players? 
man, Sheer was so ready to fight. Kung ano man mangyari dito sa site, he was jiggling and doing the right thing in a 1v1 just to make sure that he has the upper hand pagdating dun sa fight. But Config is like, I'm gonna straight up defuse kung ayaw mo mag-peak dito sa new box. And uh, he has the advantage, the elevated angle ganing sa kanya plus the fountain blocking one or two shots, actually helping him dun sa fight na yon. And Astralis, they're actually gonna be the ones using the timeout as they need to at least re-strategize a bit because eh, that was a bit too close galing sa side ng players. But I think that's okay, no? I mean, you can time out while you're ahead in terms of momentum. Then you can think of a strat and have players figure out the new Rubik's Cube that will just jump on Astralis here. Huh. It all comes tumbling down for players now. I mean, for Astralis' side, it was as close as it could come. I mean, config. He, he did the right things well. Then sa post plant tayo, and let's save all the uh, the mistakes that Astralis had into defending site. Ang ganda na trades para man for players paputa dun sa B site, but like magat si Shiro eh, and si config yung napagkuha ng panalo dun, and uh, so far another secure, another attempt at securing actually para sa mga players natin ngayon on towards the banana area. Apps as well as being controlled by Farlig and the op. Ever so deadly, but Inters oh, dealing so much damage towards Inters. Uh, actually, for Glaive, kaya, he's just running away. He just trying to run for the hills. As I believe that's uh, an advantage, especially for the MP7. But oh, Farlig down to 41 HP. That's a lot of damage towards the op, and it's gonna make you uh, think twice about where you want to position yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, the best thing for the players no? Meron silang banana control so they can set up for this B push. They're just gonna go straight in. They're not even gonna wait. Wala, wala nang ano. Wala nang hintay-hintay. Pasok na kung pasok para sa mga membro ng players ngayon. Smoke's Ooh. out. Or try to go for the smoke bags, but it is gonna be the MAC-10 starting off the action. But Blame F coming out of the cover. Getting a double. Even the nade was perfect. But Hobbit trying to make things happen for the members of the players right now. Inters was trying to go for the lurk towards his B-side, but he just has to help him. He just has to help Hobbit. He's in a oh, bit of a pit, but Farlin, he, why did you peek? Hobbit was in the perfect spot to try to go for the kill, but Inters all on him. Trying to go for the 1v2 right after he kills down Glaive, who was so impressive into the series. As now it falls oh, on him oh, to try to oh, win. Oh, what is oh, going oh, on? Is the castle is it's Inters and just conflict. What is happening? That's a free kill for Inters. It's now up to Farling. Tries to go for the defuse now. Even has the angle towards this side of the map, but Inters oh, could just it. wrap around. He's not even going for the oh fake. Oh my Inters. god. It's a freebie. Oh, it'd be too clutch for the players. What a clutch from Inters, man. Grabe naman yun. I mean, Hobbit kind of into that. Not gonna lie. That na nagpicha dito sa my city na area, but... What a situation that is gonna shoot the energy back deep to side on players. Astralis have to use the tactical pause, and now the players can have a little bit of a breather after a little bit of a, a banger of a round to say the least. <laughs> and I mean, who expected that from Inters? Dude, this dude was negative KD the first two maps. Now, Shane yung nagbubuhat dito sa players. The duality of Inters, man. I mean, it could be dumb luck, it could be pure awareness from this guy. Uh, definitely dumb luck yung nakasalisin niya yung isa, diba? I mean... Yeah, that was insane, actually. <laughs> <laughs> pure timing. And like, the awareness, uh, I mean, it could be just a quarter of the play. I think it's all it's all just uh, perfect timing for this guy. Eventually, it is going to be a timeout for the members of Astralis there. And it's understandable. They, they seemingly... Gave back the momentum that players have, and inside of the players, this is what they needed. So now they're down into the pistol buy for the members of Astralis with only Glaive having the SMG. It's, uh, it's a bit difficult, especially when you are on the CT side. But Banana is still trying to get controlled. If that wasn't a wall, then he could have actually gotten the kill there. Lang. Oh, the flash! Exile. Actually, not gonna be pushing towards that side, but there's a push. There's Blame F blaming himself. 
Dun sa pag-push niya kay Nafani with the better gun in the close range fight. That is 4v5. Banana is still trying to get controlled. Remembers the players, especially with the man count being in their favor, but... Looks like a call towards the east side now with config Take down to 30 HP, but it eventually gets the frag. Now 4v4. A lot of these frags matter for the members of Astralis. Oof. I mean, good patience guiding the side of players. Just waiting for the punish Dito and Blame F. Not even letting any of the players or any of the Astralis members to get the rifles. So, B side is gonna be a bit easier to say the least, but the swing? Woo! Jesus! Just like that, he's gone. Oh, and another onto config too. Players, they're just really heading only towards this B site and specifics with the 5-7, but he go has in, to count dude. his bullets. He has, a, he has go in, a four. Bro. Yeah, you just gotta go in. You don't save at this point. You just gotta try to go for the clutch, right? Nah, no way. You're just gonna go for the exit frags, but it's understandable. Nah. He wants to get the rifle, but come on, Zip, for old time's sake, man. Just one clutch. That's what one clutch minister, bro. So long. Same minister, bro. Exit minister. Exit minister, there it is. Exit Maybe minister. lucky bounce. Caso, I think they're just gonna drop your AK, leave us a banana, and just have it bounce around and leave us a map. And Zip. He didn't die. Gonna look for ah, he's gonna try to look for the scraps Dita aside, but there's no nothing to be found. I mean, everyone is secure Dita aside than players in terms of their weapons. Mm. And ayun na nga, Astralis mm. conceding another round. I mean, naka pistol lang sila mm. doon. However, they could have done more damage, but at the same time, uh players they're picking up the pace Dita sa side natin. I mean, with your maiden less than you try to get as as much as you can, right? Astralis though, unfortunately, still on the low buy again. Just aggressively pushing towards his mid site now, try to overwhelm these players, but Exile just stably going for the spray down, and Aphany Hero, despite Exile being taken out of the equation, members of players can just back it up. It's a 4-7, it's a freebie for the members of the players now. It's a quick round. You blink and you miss it, Sneaky. Walana. Panalo na ulit. Yup. And a quick round, to say the least. I mean, players easily just picked up everyone on the side of Astralis. Just tried to go for a five-man push. Did not work. And back to normal. Like, nothing happened. I mean, M4 is for everyone. And only an up. Ito kay Shiro. As it should be. It never happened. Nothing. Nothing. The round went poof. And nothing happened. Nandito na tayo agad sa buy round. Para sa mga miyembro ng Astralis ngayon. They, they, could, they could just sweep that aside now. I, I, napansin ko lang na ng players, nakapag-reset na sila ng mental nila right after the disaster from one of the previous rounds. So now they could just play a lot of these sound cues, play the mind games against Astralis now. We're setting up. We'll try to make the push towards Banana a little bit more difficult. Again, it's another default strat para sa CT side to deny the banana control para sa mga players. Mm -hmm. 55 seconds left on the clock. Players walking up ever so slowly dito sa my banana area natin. I think it's really important that they did not use too much nades, especially in just taking banana and just walking straight up to it. And once they start throwing some utility here, then that's plenty of space for them to work with. Pero Hobbit, making space on the other side. Huh? I think they're just gonna commit towards the side of the map. Zipix just spot shot one of these players and eventually uh, he gets the reward. I mean, the smoke bang, after realizing that they could actually go for the push now, now's the time for them to try to go for the aggressive play despite a lot of the losses now. Glaive and Zipix, they get a lot of the frags needed in order for them to win now, but Inter's the heroics are not enough. It's another win for the Astralis members as I mean, this is a this is something that they need in order for them to get around closer towards possibly a tie against them. Yep, and I bet I mean I bet the players are 
actually really not happy about that round. I mean, that's a really basic push that they really just messed up a bit. But at the same time, Medo, out of place, yung mga ibang smokes na tinapon dito na siya sa B and Zip being able to use the one way and really just get almost free two kills with the Fabas. But that's a really good recognition getting sa kanya. But Axile, getting itong si Blame F sa mid. Ooh, it's gonna get two now. This could be the start that they want. Deep around, I mean, it's Axile, their top rifler, getting these first two kills. Now they only have to get three. Yeah. I mean, it's so much easier, especially that they got Blame F and Glaive, who were the playmakers in this Inferno map so far. In players are mismo. This falls on them, but Fun Thing got the perfect timing on Axile and Nafani, but Hobbit just comes out into the apartment. But the damage has been done. Astralis has made so much of the damage on towards the players right now. Yes. It is a 2v2, but that would have been an easily winnable round if ever that they recover from that. But again, Farlig just going for the smoke bang, but they have enough time to go towards this A site now. Util is perfect. They just take so much of the time. Inter's perfect crosser placement on Decipix, knowing that he could have actually gone for the apartment lurk now. All up to Farlig in the same direction where. Zipix actually fell. Falls on him. All the pressure, all the time in the world. But goes for the 1v1 now as he destroys Inters. But he doesn't know where Hobbit is as Pit is his home. That's another win for the members of the players right now. As we're heading on into another round. Closer and closer to the end of the first half. Mm -hmm. And it seems like players are finally in their comfort zone at this point. A little bit of aggression. Galing dito sa side that Australia is trying to take... Some mid control, kaso yun nga lang, hindi gumana para sa side nila, and that's just the rest of players just playing out the round like normal. You know, just trade your teammates as much as you can, and Hobbit being the last guy, seeing the guy in apartments, just end it. Just like that. And you know, uh, players 3 point beat in this one. It's always about the banana controller, right? So Inferno, para sa, at this game at the very least, right? It's, it's, like, it's like the closest thing to. I would say this is more important than mid. Itum banana. Oh, yeah. oh. Say, secure me yung banana. Mas madali man ako ko yung car chayo sandbox. Eventually, cross towards B. Smoke that down, and it's an easy plant, an easy secure of the site. But with banana being banana, it's a heavy battlefield, as you can see. A lot of mollies, a lot of incendiaries invested to try to take them out of cover, but. Farlig with a really clean frag. Another for Config right on top of Roof. And a second for Config. Astralis are waking back up, knowing that players are gaining back their momentum. And this is good. Paradito sa Astralis. I mean, their best rifler is online. Farlig is right there. Got one kill. But at the same time, Config has been playing really good for the past three games. And he's going to keep going. Dito sa A site. And Glaive, he's going to try to walk up with the P250. Gets the headshot, but still. Really great job guarding Dito Kai Config despite getting killed in that last round. He's been uh, doing the dirty work. Para Dito sa Astralis is getting those kills that are a little bit rough to get, but still, he gets it in the end, anyways. Talk about a value meal, Sneaker Frog. Eh, no? eh, no, ano, late ko lang na realize na broken by pala yung ibang mga players sa Astralis. But ano, they just rely on the riflers out from Astralis to pick up the pieces for themselves and. Uh, as you can see, config he in it na. He was uh, getting picked off, mispositioned in a few of these rounds, but now he's putting out a lot of impact, especially as we're reaching into the latter stages of this first half. As uh, I believe it is going to be the last round before we swap sides. As Astralis, they need this one point in order to. Uh, Close the distance against players right now. Config with a really good flash from Farling. Able to get the double, but Exile just pulls out the Tech 9 and able to stop the momentum out from Config. But that's a lot of damage being dealt on towards the players right now. Exile goes for the refrag right after Farling fights Jiro into a 3v2. Little Astralis. Still holding on to their numbers, Exile and Hobbit left alone. Only Hobbit happens sporting the Tech 9 there. Exile whiffing so many shots onto the Gadil, but that's understandable. There's still a lot of damage, and Glaive and Blame F cleaning up all the pieces for themselves as we're heading into a second half with another close game on our hands, Sneaky. Yep, 7 to 8. Ooh, I mean, 
I mean, it's the same story as map number one. It wasn't really a close... Uh, it was a really close half, rather. And one of the teams eventually might be able to break away. Baka may makuha pa silang lead dito with the momentum switch. But maybe it is the comfort zone for both sides once again. I mean... I can't wait for what Glaive uh, can think of the uh, side actually. Kung uh, meron pa siyang uh, strats dito coming in from the old area that he can apply from the new one or to the new one, and players will be on the CD side. So it's going to be a bit of an easier time, especially para dito kay Shiro. Maybe he can start um, maximizing his impact with the op as he's going to start to pressure mid gamut ang AWP. I mean, Stralis, the. Uh... Thirdly caught up to players again. They had a stellar but a rocky start nonetheless into this inferno map, but looks like the momentum has not been lost coming into this next round as players are able to find it. Two frags off the back of a double up from Exile. Hobbit also lurking around, even finds the head sound. What an adjustment after one of these players. It's now up to Glaive again and just wondering where it all went wrong. Coming out of Banana and there you go. Oof. Man, what can I say? Damn. Seems like everyone is really sweating for all of these rounds, man. I mean, <laughs> I like how they come into the second half and they're like, all right. I will fight tooth and nail for every round in this one. Because I think they both of these teams feel that they are fighting for they are fighting on 15 rounds, the last 15 rounds of this third map, and they're like, oh my god, okay. We either lose the legend status or we have to fight for I don't know, third and fourth, which is a whole process that you have to think about and I don't think any of these teams want to do. I think there's a timeout actually. Yeah. That occurred. I don't know from which side. Because mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, even if uh, the team's winning, they actually call some timeouts, as is Astralis does sometimes. But mm -hmm. uh, so far, so good. Fire um, aside, and um, players need. I mean, man, that's gonna like. It's. I wouldn't say it's like the passing of the torch, no. Pero pag nanalo yung players dito, it it's like. Uh, it, it's gonna make some people realize that the new age of Counter Strike is finally here. Oh, it's a amount of uh, it's amount of hype around this roster, despite the the issues surrounding uh, the big esports org, right? Because of the uh, hard times, the yeah, uh, players, the uh, players, uh, they're proving so much of their worth against Astralis, who had a fall of grace as of late, and. Uh, I mean, they, they're still a really good team, don't get me wrong. They're still uh, pretty high up in the rankings compared to other teams here in the BGL RMR. But so far, lie, it's uh, momentum and so much riding on the players right now that it's so hard with Astralis with what we're working so far. Banana, I mean, I believe this is A-side actually heavily contested possibly for the members of Astralis. Ngayon. And... Three of these players just swarming around, trying to wait for the aggressive push. They're just gonna walk in and uh, claim these kills for themselves. Shiro gets a two piece and a triple spray down from Exile. That's uh, that's just the Dundif. Yeah, you know? I mean, I kind of feared for Shiro's life as soon as he turned over the corner. I mean, a bajillion Glock bullets just started flying, but good thing. Lock, lock, lock. Na andun pala ang kanyang mga teammates just to get for the cover and it seems like players they have the game under control so far a three round lead dito sa ating second half and if they can get this third then Astralis they can up uh, hindi sila maka pick up ng pace agad dito sa T side and they're gonna have to find a way to snatch it back that's the CSGO things eh no? kahit nasa ilalim ka ng Molly matatamaan ka pa rin I mean no? cement's pretty hot that's for sure. Ah, that's true. Ah, that's true. That's true. I think I lang. Yeah. True. That Ooh. is true. Thank you for feeding my ego. <laughs> <laughs> yung pa yung gusto ko that. Yung feed ng ego. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. You're here to stay. That's for sure. Players. Ah. Looking at them though, dam pa naman pera. Unlike me, that's my one business. I. Uh, I mean, that's, the, that's, one the, that's one of the L's that you gotta take, dude. Siempre. 
If you're as hot as me, you gotta be broke. You gotta give others a chance, man. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, I'm dito, di ba? Yeah, I'm dito. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Pero, ooh. Lame if... Oh, wait. There's not much used up para sa side ng Astralis to take over itong banana area. I mean, you did have a point kanina na nga, yun nga. If you wanna go B, you have to take banana first. Which is, yeah, the only way for the players to get in other than dito sa my A and then going into CT. But still, taking banana is not just... um. Not just for B side. If you take banana, then you leave a person there and there, then that's gonna prevent one way for the CT side to rotate back pabalik dito sa A and uh, attempt to go for a pincer, which is what you don't want. Kung kayo yung TC dito. Oh, but config, what a shot from him, but still Nafani getting the kill. I mean, when you're on the low buy, a lot of these picks uh, definitely matter. Especially now that you are at the disadvantage. A really good molly, actually. Fish shot, exile. He's gonna force to reposition himself. Oh, almost gets the spray down, but it's Shiro. Four able seconds. to find one onto Farley. Oh. He got 10 seconds and he got enough time. Panama plant yung bomba towards this A site now. It all falls on to the members of players. We're gonna be able to retake against three AKs from Blame F, Glaive, and Config right now. Especially in the post plan, they have really good positions to watch over all of the entrances. Inters and Hobbit. I think they're gonna just go for the exits now. Especially with the time running out on the bomb. And another win for the members of Astralis. Yes, Glaive, Glaive. Yeah. Ooh, donate an AK. Maybe another one? Uh, Inters? Ma ma second back. Ma second. Yeah, Ooh, maybe third? So it's not that bad. Maybe, it's oh, not that bad. Dead. They have stead. Oh my god. Look at the look at the money. Para sa side ng Astralis. They're still in the 3 to 4k range. They won the round, but at what cost? You barely have anything to buy dito sa next round na din. Hindi ko alam din yun eh. Nang mga Astralis members. Kaya, pansin mo eh. So, sa mga players, medyo... Medyo... Config with the galit na fist bump. Galit na fist bump eh. No? Parang He's frustrated. Like won, but... Eh. It, it should have not had been that that uh, that damaging, right? Should not have been that damaging. For the Astralis members, nakikita mo nga naman, tatlo lang lang sila naka-MAC-10 ngayon. Isang Galil, isang AK. Si Config, mainit na mainit na ngayon, but... Oh, Shiro, just narrowly. I think the shot, but Zipix is down to 9 HP. That's a considerable amount of damage. So you're just gonna rely on him going for the entry instead. Play off of trades na lang para sa mga membro ng Astralis ngayon. Mm -hmm. But the Stralis, I mean, they're in the danger zone, man, uh, with players. So it's gonna be whoever just wins this very round, kung sino nga ang makakuha ng mas pagandang buy going into the next. And I think for the side of Astralis, the loss bonus is gonna be a bit more friendly para sa side nila. So if they win this, they're gonna get so much money. Pero players, this is a must win, man. This is a do or die situation para sa side nila. Para hindi mawala yung momentum. I mean, good news on them, they still have the better gun, so. And, uh, unfortunately, and good news then, and dami din lang time na binabay para sa players ngayon, di ba? Yung Astralis, medyo, medyo kaba pa nga sila, makapasok na A-side, but it's this util being pushed out, it's eventually gonna be going for the push now. Shiro, able to punish Config, another for Axile on top of apps. It's gonna fall down onto hell, but it's the spray down so good. A lot of the angles covered by a lot of these players. Yeah, it's another win. And as you said, they needed this round and they damn well took it. Mm -hmm. And especially napaka importante na itong si Nafani and si Axile to be in that anchor mode para dito sa A-site. I mean, if Axile is online and Nafani is online, then that's such a deadly duo. No? It's such a good rifler and an IGL itong si Nafani. Can just stay in the site and just be the bait for Axel here who's trying to defend as much as he can para hindi mabigay yung pit. Kasi nga, pag nabigay mo yung pit dito sa tease, then that's, uh, that's one way to just lose the round. <laughs> I would think more of a five-man push to the molly, pero I don't think uh, they're brave enough to do that. I mean, it looks like Conflict has all the balls in the world, but it's a little too ballsy. Farley, oh, stop um, moving, bro. God damn. <laughs> Farley's like moving every second. Like, bro, you trying to... He's trying to get the right tilt on the chair. Uh, I think that's why he's missing, no? Hindi, hindi naka tilt maayos. Maybe the monitor is a bit off. I mean, you got the... If you're... I don't think Farley can afford it. I'm not gonna lie. I think he's not as no. rich as Isizai where he has someone to do it for him. 
Ay. You know. Then, ano na? Ang uh, conservative nga. It's understandable. Low buys across the board. Si config lang naman yung may... Ah, hindi pala. Kaya si Blame. Yeah, yeah. I mean... You're gonna see a lots. real butterfly knife here, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, banana control for the pistols now. Ooh. Aggressively pushing, but it's Exiles AK. Stop Zipix from trying to make any sort of aggressive play now. Not too hot as well into the Inferno map, but Hobbit on top of Coffin, but it's the crossfire. It's so hard to... You know, main triangular positions ng players. How do you triangle fight defense, that with just man. pistols, right? Like a triangle defense. Yep, and 8 and 12. All right. Now the cogs will start running into Nafani's head. How are we going to finish it on game na to? before Astralis can actually attempt to get momentum back into this one. I think they're gonna go for maybe a fast play dito sa round na to. Just in case that Astralis is gonna try to play it slow once again, no, dito sa mid. But Astralis is gonna have to be a god tier lead. Galing dito kay Glaive na isipin yung, okay, they might play aggressively this round natin. Let's play a bit passive. So, di ma overextend or not anyone's gonna get picked here. But I think they're not, and they're really thinking about this buy. I think it's a timeout, actually, for the side of Astralis, probably. I mean, I mean they etong gambit or etong players. Maybe pa silang three to four timeouts or one or two timeouts. Ba? I think they used two in the first half. They did. They, did. they needed that. And so Astralis, kailan nila yun? Kailan nila yung timeout na yun? Because it's a good mental reset, and they realized nila na umiinit na tong si Inter sa chas si Shiro. Oh. Chas kapit nyan actually. Oof. Si Molly, concrete, concrete so so hot. Eh. Kaya tamang ano? Tamang uh, lusot na lang sa Gedly, si Glave, and uh, another attempt at trying to delay the push out around this a short side. Yeah, Banana is getting control the round for the members of Astralis here. Only two players is trying to hold down Hobbit and see Inters trying to make it possible for the retake to happen. Or maybe just deny them but trying to get in as a whole. Nades out, but Shiro has a really good angle on towards that side. Farling able to trade it out one for one, even going inside construction, but Axel just catches him before he even enters. It's a 3v4 and Astralis. They're on the back foot now, they are on a really huge deficit, especially with Farlig and Blame if out of the equation. But I believe it is Glaive who is stuck in a rock and a hard place inside sight. While the info gather as well from Nafani, but oh, despite him being stuck, who's stuck here? Hobbit he finds himself in no man's hand. He's already destroyed by Glaive, who I thought was stuck, but he's actually in a good spot to go for that crosshair placement. They pa sila na onti dito kasi they have to wait for Nafani to rotate in para meron pa silang isang body to throw at the site. And oh, players, Yoink. this retake is a must take para sa yo, but the smoke is about to go down. But look at this, Zip is actually gonna play close. See what happens. Yeah, I mean, it could go from 100 or 2-0, right? What? But Shiro and Exile, Shiro, what? I need to see that again, bro. No we way that Shiro hit that. We need a we need a replay. That was the tightest of peaks. That, that was the tightest. Jiggle peaking and he jiggle peaked again. What? No, no, no. Balls. Fast forward. Fast forward it. I want to uh, see. No, no, no. I don't, I don't it care about this. Look at this. What? what? No way. No any shot. Couch peaks. No shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. Players. I think they won. <laughs> I think. I think that's the win for players in this one. I mean, and um, yeah, Astralis, I don't know, man. They they look kind of deflated at this point. Uh, really good recovery for players there. The fumble in the mid rounds before. I think we could just forget about all that. Astralis themselves are running out of options, running out of strats. We saw that they were a bit desperate too, attempting to go for a one man push in the Molly, but I mean. They could still go for the eco buying and then give another round towards players. They're still not on match point if that happens, but at this point, you're thinking about the next round if you're strawless. But Shiro again putting another nail into possibly a coffin for the members of Astralis now. Smoke bangs from the tech nine, but at this point, 
banana control again for Astralis, but really good position for defense. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but players, I mean, they look well positioned around the Mandita sa mapa natin. And Astralis is just gonna harass it on B side, but I think. Will they think that it is a fake? Knowing that it's a rehit. Ooh, Hobbit, Ooh. man. That's Monk. just the vet moves. Monk. Now he has an angle. I did it intentionally. I did it intentionally. He has an angle. Should we just block, block out the oh. smoke? What the no scope? What? Shiro? What is that? Blame F, though. Deals as much damage as he can, but oh my god, that's on oh, top of the what? angle and another no scope. Shiro, what are you doing? Sanka maka binin ng ganyang op. I want it. He's just hitting those no scopes. Ano, ano right click, right click, man. Yeah, right -click, I, I, right -click. I think that's the end game strat para dito sa players. Just full punish. Para dito kay Shiro. Bang. Bang. Not the scope needed even. <laughs> It was through the box as well. Through the smoke, through the box, through his head, and his life. Ooh. What? 814. Ah, she does so good, but that is not normal. Look, Look at his mouse, dude. It's glowing. At least. <laughs> it's the RGB. Ah, that's when you know. Plus, plus, plus aim. Plus, plus aim. game sense. Plus awareness. Yep. See that? Oh. Look at, look at Inters' lame ass mouse. <laughs> Look at that. No LEDs. That's why he was running it down the first two games. Tigda mo si Shiro. Boom. Ilaw. <laughs> LEDs will blind you mid round even if all on flash, but it'll make you have plus 10 aim. No. Tira natin kung may RGB ba to mga boomers. Ah, wala. Wala. Hindi ko nakita. Yung keyboard niya at least walang RGB. But, I mean. No. It's the mouse that counts, man. That's where the aim is. Ah, that's true. Ano know what naman kapag may RGB yung keyboard mo, diba? And so far, uh, Shiro just hitting the crispy shots. Look at his KDA. Man, 21 and 10. This is a guy that you do not want to meet when you're trying to push down a side. Exile. Ooh, exile. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, beaky like para sa mga CT side natin ngayon. While uh, Banana is being controlled again for the Astralis members. But a really good nade uh, from one oh, of these players. The Astralis may eat the new bomb. What? Oh, they Axel left is it. gonna make himself at home here, that's for sure. <laughs> they left it. I, did they forget about it? Are they trying to play for picks now? As Exile is playing in enemy lines, he's finding oh! one here. Farling! He was holding the up. Nobody oh, has that's the bomb. Well, uh, they lost the bomb. They lost so much of this time. Exile, yeah. He got the really good lurk, but... I think that's he fine. He could have gotten more. Gotten I think more, that's though. fine. He could have gotten more, but yeah, Shiro is just gonna end this one. I think. That could be the final nail to the coffin of Astralis in PGL RMR. So far, they could have another chance, but well, not. So far, players are playing it very correctly, but Inters and Hobbit stopping any sort of chance for Astralis right now. They're at match point, series point. They could take the map away, the series away from the members of Astralis now. As nasa punto na sila, pwede na silang gumawa na kahit anong gusto nila, diba? Yup. And it's just full comfortability para sa side ng players dito. But they cannot get too complacent as Astralis. They are known for their rock solid mental. They believe that every game is possible, literally. So <laughs> they're gonna try to fight as much as they can before players can just roll them over in this one. Pero, I mean, they're playing seat side. Hop it! Gonna Ooh. just straight up eliminate Far League. Far League, you don't get to play Counter Strike Double Offensive. Released in Steam by Valve. Get out. <laughs> Courtesy by the god himself, Gaben. I mean, he's, he saved Axile Kanina with the Molly. So I think he's just yeah. giving him a favor now. Oh, oh my god, a double kill from Exile. Glaive though is able to trade it off, but I mean, they could try the best that they can, but it's still gonna be a two versus three. Still an advantage for players, especially for Sipix, who's down to uh, really low health. They can't even plant the bomb with a lot of the nades or a lot of the utils still available for the members of players right now. It's no nade, but still have the numbers in their favor now. They could just. Play the time correctly. Shiro can actually go for the pick peek now. He knows that Glaive is holding down the angle, so he's gonna go for the repeat. He pulls out the, the pistol, but 
He's gonna go back to side, but enters perfect angle, and Hobbit just goes for the last kill. That's players securing a 2 1 victory against Astralis in an epic close game fashion. Damn, the players do it, they make it to the major with legend status, so they are not gonna be touching the contender stage at all. That is for the Astralis and the rest of them dito sa ating group B and yun nga the EU RMR continues as we do see players they move on to the major man we are gonna see this team eh, ah, you cannot blame itong Astralis no? they, they look distraught but at the same time that one clutch by Inters really just broke you mental I think dito ng Astralis and yeah. they just couldn't recover at that point they tried to pero wala na nga. I mean, it is the players just taking over Dito. Really well played, galing sa side nila. What a stellar series by um, by Shiro and Inters waking up Dito sa ating third map. That's such a huge addition para sa side ng, uh, ng players na to if uh, they need to go up against Astralis. And it seems like the right people stepped up for this third map. And uh, yeah, I mean, nothing much else to say, no? I mean, players mm -hmm. getting the final map. Did we get the last bet pala? Panalo ba yun, mm -hmm. di ba? Panalo ba yun? Oh, okay. Okay. nice, nice, I keep nice. my record. Winning record ah. ba yun? Alright. And, ayun, uh, once again, uh, thank you everyone for joining dito sa official <laughs> Filipino broadcast ng ating EU RMR to the PGL Antwerp major doon nga sa Belgium. So, uh, make sure to check out Rivalry.com kung gusto niyo magbet doon sa ating major and dito sa ating RMR we have games uh, continuing pa after this pero pa kami isang best of three casted by the Salam duo the Moon duo themselves Kenoit and si Naofu. so yeah mag meron pa MVP meron na ba? graphic yeah, direct meron. yeah I believe meron diba direct uh, syempre kailangan natin bigyan ng props <laughs> Ano, may, bra may graphic na ata para sa ating uh, MVP. So without further ado, uh, pag uh, ano, go and ready na lang kay Direct. We're gonna be showing the MVP for this series all together. Sino ba? Sino ba sa tingin mo? Sino sa tingin mo? It's pretty close. I'm trying to think. I think it's I'm Inters. totally not ah, looking through Axel. HLTV right now. And oh, it's Axel. Axel. Okay, it's Axel. I understand. He top frag like yung buong all three games. Pero medyo kalat yung kills niya. So... I think. Oh my God! Actually, never mind. I take that back. Axile was top fragging the ancient, second frag the dust to second frag the inferno. So he he went pretty crazy. So yeah. Okay. Props to your boy uh, with wow. uh, that win, giving players the three zero. And will we see another team going three zero in just a short bit? Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Leave us a fire. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. And yeah, that is it for us two, Dan Femina and Sticky Frog. Make sure to check out our socials, of course, Twitter and Twitch, uh, Sticky Frogcast. And for Dad, it's uh, Dad Femina on Twitter and on Facebook. And uh, yep, that is it for us two. Uh, we will see you tomorrow, I think, for more CSGO action. So guys, keep it in the This is Keanu Reeves and welcome to Rush Lane. Rush Lane is a new intense multiplayer racing game where you can compete against real players to win real money. Set in the towering crime-filled metropolis of Hub City, here champions put their life on the line for glory, power, and riches. 
in the ultimate death race known as the rush lane. How does it work? Simple. Pay a small stake to jump into the next race. All the stakes go into the prize pool, so the more players, the more money there is to win. Once enough players join, the race is on. Races last just a couple of minutes and are fully automated. Rush Lane is driven by our unique physics-based randomness engine. Starting positions, track segments, and traps are all randomly generated, and we've tested over 10,000 races to ensure no player has any advantage over another. Cheer on your racer as they scream down the winding city streets and through mysterious alternate worlds filled with dangerous traps and pitfalls. The first player to cross the finish line wins the biggest share of the prize pool. But don't worry, the top few finishes are also in the mix to win. The exact number of winners will change depending on how many players were in the race. The more players, the more winners. Rush Lane is live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so you can jump into the action anytime you want. Good luck out there, racers. Only on Rivalry.com.
And yes, Kenoid and Naufu, welcome to the uh, official Filipino broadcast of PGL RMR Europe. Dito lang sa Focus 5 Gaming and um, Best of 3 Series. Nang, uh, sino maglilaban ngayon? Um, NIT versus Copenhagen Games. Mga sir, pero kanya, I'm Kenoid. Yes, I'm on dito si uh, Naufu. Don't yeah. forget to like and share our uh, stream. Also, um, subscribe now sa aming uh, YouTube channel and also sa Facebook channel namin. Type uh, sa mission point notify and um, subscribe na kayo or uh, ring nyo lang yung bell sa aming uh, YouTube channel. Well, um, also, um, thanks to our sponsor, Lupon Hello. WXC, Fosfar, yeah. and uh, The Armory, and also Rivalry. Please do check out rivalry.com slash Fosfar. Um, pwede nga kayo mag-sign up dyan if ever man makatanungan kayo about um, bets or uh, deposit. Uh, huwag kayo maya mag- uh, PM lang sa page namin and also sa mga uh, sa, sa chat support ng uh, rivalry.com available din sila diyan na 24/7 sasagot sa inyo no pero yun nga now po yes eh usapan muna natin yung ano yung NIP West Copenhagen oh. Flames mo NIP oh, NIP Brolan pre delikado tayo Brolan and Res pare ano naman last ma um, match up nila hindi mo naman Res and brawl at the same time popping off doon. Pagkabilang A site um, magkaibang uh, bomb site 'yun ah. Uh, for um, uh, rest naman dito man naman having full command doon sa may A site doon uh, sa may ancient na map and brawl naman being proactive sa may catwalk era kita man taking a lot of initiatives, taking a lot of uh, early fights ayun nga and napaka successful talaga ng map control nila and with that Medyo masakit to, sir, for uh, Copenhagen. Kita naman natin, Copenhagen versus Copenhagen. Sealers. Diba? Sealers, pre, ginawang bata, oh, pre. Oo, pre. Yung sinampal ng ano, eh, no? Nagpakilala yung Copenhagen. Saka nakita mo yung Molly. 
Yung mo- Grabe. Yun nga sila sabi yung ko, nine years na yung overpass na map. May nadidiscover pa rin ngayon na bago. Oh yung molly dun sa may beast, eh, sa may bilong. Grabe, napaka... What? Yung Grabe ano, no, yung innovation. Yung eh, no? Parang, ano eh, um, lahat ng generation ng CS, ng uh, team, no? Lahat may na-discover na kakaiba. Oh, Hindi okay. basta-basta, oh. ano lang eh. Tapos sa nakakatawa, play, kasi since hmm. ano sila, di ba? Um, mga din sila. Patsin ko talaga, kita mo naman, kita mo naman Astralis din. Danish rin yan, sir. Yung mga yan. And the same time, Copenhagen, pinapakita kung gaano ka talaga sila kagaling gumamit mm-hmm. ng UT, no? And, uh, ewan ko, kung may makikita pa tayo mga fresh ideas. Sino ba, ba mga ano dyan? Sino ba mga notable players natin dyan, pre, sa ano? Sa Copenhagen muna. Kasi para sa NIT, ano eh, medyo... <laughs> pa all-star na din yung lineup nila eh. Well, uh, sa Copenhagen, parang ito yung rising team. Ay, oh. Copenhagen, kilala natin dyan. Ay, si Skater Boy. Kagabi, si Skater, si skater si Boy. Yabi. Si Yabi. Si the Skater Boy, yung tawag namin dyan ni Naofu, no? Yes, sir. Grabe. Sa itsura niya, wala sa itsura niya, oh, sobrang okay. lakas na ng, oh, ano, maglaro ng CS, no? Pero, siya yung um, MVP noon last night. Yep. Nung nakas namin siya ni uh, Naofu. Um, against, yun nga, Skinners, grabe yung rating niya mm-hmm. doon, pre. First half pa lang, talagang 20 plus frags na eh, di ba? Parang, yep. nirate natin eh, first game, um, si Res, mm-hmm. yung lagi nakakauna ng, or nakakaramin ng kills. Well, second game, or second series natin doon, si Blame F. Oh, Nalala mo, oh, yung Astralis, okay. pero yung last series, grabe. Meron yeah, din na parang, oo, oh, kaya ko din yun, why not? Nakaparoon niya yung dalawang ah, last game. Yan, sir, alam mo. Mm-hmm. Teenager pa lang ata yan or kaka-20 lang yan. Pero, yun nga, tingnan natin kung magkakaroon tayo ng mga fresh ideas kami from Copenhagen. And, um, really though na capable talaga sila makalason ng isang team dito knowing na yung mga entries nila pumapalag and yung mga fraggers nila talagang um, nakakapag-convert ng round yung mga early pickups nila. And those initiatives taken by the youngsters, malaking bagay yan for at rebuilding din. Medyo rebuilding yan eh, no? yung Copenhagen. Yep. And sabi nito ni Valdo, ilang match pa? Um, last series na to, ano, Valdo, ngayong um, uh, dito sa broadcast natin. No? Yes. Oh. Pero best of three series naman uh, between NIP versus Copenhagen Flames at uh, nagtalong din dito. Kailan playoffs um, sa major na yun eh. Ano uh, boss eh, Swiss round yep. tayo dito. So, first na maka 3-0, matik um, qualified na sa ating uh, major. Ano lang, parang mga mm. regionals lang. Oo. Oh. Parang regionals lang. Itaps, uh, parang kapaan lang, no? Parang yep. play-ins. Ganun yung, ano eh, yung style eh, kapag uh, Swiss round. Pero, yun nga, guys. Um, mag-i-start na tayo in a bit. And, uh, huwag nyo kalimutan ulit, ah. Uh, I-like nyo share yung uh, stream natin para dumami naman tayo. Medyo, oh. kaabang na, uh, kaabang-abang na matchup to. Nawin na si Brolan. <laughs> Consistent siya dito na unang pasok niya, no? Eh, Roland and Riff na. Yun nga yung nakakatakot na duo dito. And ang tinanggal nga doon sa roster nila is si Uzi. And uh, Uzi naman, nung uh, last tournament, may tinakita rin siya, eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang naging consistent rin siya for a consecutive maps din. Tapos, ganda rin pinapakita niya. Then, ganda rin yung rating niya. Oh, but, um... Okay. So, eto nga guys, um, NIP, nagkaano ba tayo dyan, Derek? Parang nadelay yung ano natin. Ha? May technical problems lang dun sa ating uh, side. Oh. Baka hindi nakakonect. Ting, mataas yung loss. <laughs> so, yun nga guys. Um, Baka ayan na naman yung ano ah. Ayan na naman yung steam guard. Yung steam guard na hindi oh. na naman ina, ano, eh, nilalagin. May naglalagin na naman ng iba eh. Oo, oh, sir. And sino pa yung top teams natin dito sa ano? Kamusta na ba yung G2? Parang pre-G2. Galing pa sila sa panalo? Kalina. Panalo yung G2 kanina. Against sa uh, PNE, no? Yup. And alam ko, medyo binuhat sila ni Nico that time. And Nico naman, stepping, um, stepping up naman doon for that matchup. Pero nakakatakot pa rin for G2. 16-11 yung mm-hmm. board nun. And knowing G2, dapat yung mga ganong kalaban... Para ano nila yung oh, t- single digit na lang, na lang yung pinaka mataas sa kanila dun. O oh, kumbaga dadaanan na lang nila yun and parang nakakatakot pa nga yung status ngayon ng G2. Mm-hmm. And, di tayo sure kung ano nangyayari sa team nila. No? Kung ano ba yun talaga yung kulang kung may 
ano ba nag-a-adapt pa sila ulit mm-hmm. sa dahil sa roster nila or may alitan ba sa oo oh. oh, pwede mangyari yan o oh, inatin na dami and G2 medyo delikado nga dito for this sa uh, qualifiers no yep at uh, NAP versus uh, Copenhagen nga yung laban natin no oh. isang win na lang oh ano na uh, yun na yung pinaka wala lang oh, qualified na sila sa major di ba kasama na nila doon yung mga Navi Heroic yung mga nauna ng RMRA stage and dito sa ating uh, Um, group B naman. Oh. Kaina na, nalo pala yung players. Ay, players. Oh. Players versus, sino yung direct? Yung uh, kalaban nila kanina. Astralis. Astralis. Wow. Naku po, wala Ate. sila. Blame if. Paano Ate. nangyari yun? Nangati. Nangati ata. Nangati ata. 2-1 pa ata yun eh. Tapos uh, na one-sided nung um, players. Well, uh, nung eh, third map. Mm, no. Na third map. Third Kung map. Kung mainit siguro si Kuya Shiro at si Axel dun. Feel ko lang ha. Pero gusto ko yung ano, no? yung parang may reviewer ka. Parang may reviewer ka sa <laughs> Gainlip. Wala mo, yung mga strat nun, nakalista dun, no? Uh, Gano'n na pag-land, eh. Kung baga, ano yan, guidelines yan. And, uh, protocols. Yup, and protocols complete yep. yet. So, uh, tara! Ito na! Gano'n pista na rin naman dito. And uh, CPH starting off dito sa T-side. And aga naman ng pwesto ni Broland dito together. With a uh, um, uh, S... Doon sa may Guardian area and let's see, contact play, okay. Sa iPhone, kilala natin yan. Marunong talaga may entry flag yan. And just, Naku. the nick of that pixel. Kung delikado si S. Ito na nga, burst. Guardian na nangyari. Oh! Pero Broland getting one lang doon. Hooksy gets there to Broland. Good trades and Plopsky. Babawi dito kay Hooksy. So it's gonna be, I think, a freebie side. Nope, na-anchor is there. But Ayabi stepping up in a good flank coming from Nikodos. It's a 3v1 situation and it's gonna be res hindi to. Imposible, idol. Mukhang imposible, pero pag yan nag, <laughs> na-robot ay eh, ba't magnet kayo sa USP niya? Delegado, kita ba naman yung disiplina ng uh, CPH dito at even na uh, peaking res. Talagang sinisecure na yung uh, pistol round. And uh, let's see kung uh, bipick pa pa to. Uh, walang info kay res, no? So, okay. Gets one. Pero, oh, yun dun yung trade ni Ro. So, one and oh. Copy na again. Makuha nung uh, buong pistol round na yon And grabe, yung recovery na laman, Yabi yung nag-open up nung ano, no? Parang nag-iba. Yep, and uh, ganda na nga sana ng setup doon ng NIP. Kumbaga expected nila yung burst mid doon kasi ganda na ng pwesto ni Brolan. Nakabit setup sila and looking as it tag. Tamang jiggle lang, info lang siya doon. But then again, tumama yung mga shots nila eh. And yep. uh, the pistol round pa lang. Ramdam na natin, agad natin si Yabi there. Open, opening up that B-site. Tapos tamang-tama pa yung flank ni Nico. So, it's gonna be 1-0. Ukuha ng puntos dito yung CPH. And, uh, oh, first by dito for NIP and for no. UT. Pwede pa. Kita mo naman, um, tigils and utilities ang in-invest dito ng NIP. Knowing na vertigo, sobrang nikita lang yun, oh, yung papa natin dito. Panalo pa rin yung uh, tigils yan. If ever man magkamali dito yung uh, Copenhagen. Pero still... Um, slow slow pace para ngayon sa um, T-side with the Mac 10s also Galil with a couple of utilities to get this round and um, grabe sobrang ingat iniwan doon yung isang guy sa may uh, A-side dun parang mo magpaparamdam muna yun or si Ro pala to with the MP5 let's see kung uh, makakalasan pa siya dito or mabibigyan niya na bad info yung NIP Para lang ma-clear out yung B-site natin. Down to 47 seconds remaining. Here comes the Molly. Ang ganda ng Molly. Kaso, wait lang. Medyo nasunog doon si Hampus ng bagya. Down to 52 HP. Oh, the triple lead. Medyo hindi rin naagalaw si Ro. Info indeed. And the 5v4 situation. Down to 34 seconds remaining. Plavsky. With the 5-7. Through the smoke. Hindi makita. Dito sa loob ng smoke nga guys. Kaso wala rin siya makita. And the bullets. We'll go through in here, oh, 2v3 situation, pero oh, the trades as well. Dito sa may site, and CPH, grabe sobrang chaotic nung round na yon para sa kanila. Kita mo naman, pistols lang. Okay. A good oh trade yun coming from NIP, and really, kita mo naman, vertigo. May setup talaga sila, and sobrang plakado talaga yung gagawin nila pag may narinig sila sa, sa may A-ramp panda, and kita mo naman, 
double nade incoming mm-hmm. para doon kay Euro. Destan eh, no? Parang... So, pre, parang easy pick off na yan. But then again, a lot of info for CPH. So, ganda nung reaction nila. So, nagbihit na lang sila. Alam nga nilang 3A yung nangyari doon. And uh, it's gonna be... Full ego for... Full ego yeah, na to. Ego. Oh, another boost naman dito Grabe. for NIP. Ang dami nilang naiisip. Ang dami nilang baon dito sa Vertigo. Pero... What? Ay, no. Hey, so, papasok ba sa Patibong? Oh, dito yung uh, Copenhagen. Let's see. And a possible. Maka isa dyan talaga si Risk. Oh! Yun lang. Muntihigan pa. At, uh, that's the info. Alam na parang Matic. May tatlong players na dun sa... Uh, Iggy's sight, but still, open again and a four-man swing. Si Runa naman yung delegado dito. Pre, okay, tamo naman, i-APT na naman siya ng mga USP, but the map 10, still good for one doon, tagging okay. Hampus. So, Esitag, nakisang kill with the USP. And uh, mula ng, uh, anilangan to, pre, dire-direcho na sa b side to. With the Molotovs, smokes as well, dito sa may um, right generator natin, Dikodos. Yes, the AK, pero sana hindi siya malason dito, ano, ng 5-7. Feverman, NIP will go or um, will try to retake the, uh, the site. And Nico does din. Mainit na mainit, nagpapainit yung kanya AK dito in sa iPhone as well. Through the smoke oh. and almost a clean round for the side of CPH. 3-0 and o, ang ating na score. Yep, medyo, uh, alanganin nga yung mga shots ni Rez doon. Ang ganda na sana no idea nila. Putting himself on that boost. Triple boost nga yung ginawa nila doon. Kaso lang, di sila nakaisa. Masyado makulit yung player nung Aram. Mm. Then again, another big info yun for CPH. And nakareact na naman sila sa may B. So, nalaman nilang 3A ulit. Mm. Matic B na yung uh, tinira nila. And kita mo naman, bukas na bukas yung uh, site for them. And uh, S, itag win off naman dito. Early. Alam mo yung ano, pre? Kapang uh, summit da. Dito sa CPH, di ba sabi natin, parang may mga... May mga strat to na hindi mababasa na ibang teams. Ganon sila eh. Like, uh, like Entropic. Mm-hmm. Diba? Entropic. Sino pa ba yung mga ganon na playstyle? Dami, daming teams na ganon ngayon eh. And mukhang nabibigyan ata yung NIP dito kahit pa paano ha. Ito yung first decent guns nila ulit. And um, ngayon lang talaga. Tingnan natin kung mananakaw naman nila itong um, round 4. But uh, Esetag, yes the op. Pero kailangan niya kumuha ng early pick dito. Para lang maging confident pa yung apat niya teammates. But o yun, na, uh, nanako nga dito si Zyphon. 5v4 situation. Okay, CPH still. Um, drawing na nades. Some nades lang dito si Ro. Pero grabe yung default setup to para sa kanila. Si Ro yung pinapa-info dito sa may A-side and Hampus. Sobra unexpected no angle niya dun. Down to 5v3. Dito, dito sa ating round, hindi makakat ang um, CPH dito kaso sa B-side. Open-open si Plopski. Oh no. Possible, maka dalawa ba siya dito? Mukhang na rin yung ni, uh, ni Plopsky, no? Na possible may uh, close na sa kanya dito sa may uh, B-site. And uh, 30 seconds remaining. Here comes the rotation for CPH. Yeah, Plopsky? Ay, fail Molotov? Yup, a fail Molotov. Mo- na fail Molotov yun? Na nila to. So no. it's gonna be a B-hit dito for Hooksy. But Hooksy, nakaisa na kay Hampus. A good trade coming from Plopsky. Di mapatay oh, dito sa steel time. area. And a low HP na siya. Good swing coming from Yavi. Just to trade. And then a miss coming from Esetag. 2 Vito situation. But a trade from Brody. Ganda ng Molly, pre. And another Molly. Ang ganda ng Molly dito. Kailangan niya na bumig doon. And nowhere to go dito si Nico Dos. NIP with its... Um, uh, will be on the board naman dito. So it's gonna be their first um, win naman. Tamang ano lang ng uh, momentum. Tamang sira lang ng momentum doon for CPH and medyo basang-basa yung CPH doon. And... Grabe. Sa abusan ng time. Oo, oo. Feel ko sa time din. Kumana naman talaga yung slow play nila nung first three rounds. Tamang contact lang sa era. Mm-hmm. But then, dito na sa decent guns, medyo di na yata papalag yung mga ganong style ng CPH. Kung baga dalawang players lang binabato sa A, dalawang players na sa B, and yung middle nila, kita mo naman, pumapressure lang doon. Pinapa-atras lang yung Mga naka-setup dito, but then again, kita mo naman, eh, sinag, getting that first important kill mm, yun. for that round, di ba? Napakalaking bagay nun. No? Kung baga, sira agad yung lurk nila. Kung baga, sira rin yung pressure sa mid. So, nung wala nang paramdam yung era, parang matik B na. And just in time, para makapag-react yung players ng NIP. Good round. Feel ko kung nakuha up ng uh, CPH pa yun, pre. Ano eh, possible single digit lang aabote ng oh, NIP sa Vertigo, okay. no? Kasi makakapondo sila na marami sa kanilang T-side. And um, 
first three wins nila, si Rowe lagi ito matao doon sa, ano, sa A-Ramp. Yep. Walang iba. At siya yung nagbibigay ng info para lang makaangat yung mga B-Ramp players dito ng um, CPH. And let's see, dito sa ating uh, round 5, parehas pa rin. Si Rowe pa rin yung dito sa may A-Ramp. And um, all of AKs, di mag i ng op dito yung CPH. They will go for the firepower dito sa ating uh, round. Let's see. Mong contact play and the flashes ng binabato muna. Daming binato sa uh -huh. mid. At three players naman dito. CPH. Feel ko ko contact lang sa may middle area. I think we're gonna see uh, a split play. Possibly Pwede. coming from CPH. Oh, they're backing off. Oh, it's a setup. Oh, Molly. What is this lineup coming? So, I think it's a burst middle. But Esita gets the first kill. Gets who's see there. Masyadong mabagal. Ah, good setup body. Nyo, good okay. body to delay that and rope. Tight press the issue dito. Good shot coming from Ro. Getting Brola there. But Esita again with the trade. Ang bilis talaga ng mga rotation netong NIP. And just in time to repo there. Oh, another okay. reposition coming from Esita. Nakakaw si Zyphon doon. Ayun na nga nang ata yung pag-asa nila para ma-open up yung site. Then, uh, eh, si Tag, shutting off this Uy, B site, isang, sir. Sa angle na lang. Uy, oh, yun lang si Res din. Oh, And eh, si Tag with the clean up doon sa ating uh, round. And uh, look at the recovery. At What? hira bigla nakakapitas yung ano, no, yung CPH. Oo, oh, oh, pre. Parang, wala mo naman masyadong binatong UTs doon yung NIP, no? But then... Tataka ako bakit parang nag-set play sila and napaka-expected yata masyado nun. Hindi naman expected pero kumbaga mas madali ka makaka-recover from that. And kita mo naman easy tag. Easy pick off, getting that first kill. Tapos tamang fade away molly lang. Mm -hmm. And secure na agad yung visa. So it's gonna be 2-3 naman for NIP. Walang pera ang CPH ngayon dito idol. And possibly could be a momentum naman for NIP. Um, NIP... Kailangan na lang nila hindi magpalaso dito sa uh, yep. pistols ng CPH and they will go for the um, burst B ba? Kada ng pag-angat nila, no? Isang nade lang yung uh, trino doon ni uh, Plopsky. But the info, sira yung crosshair dito ni Plopsky. If ever man, hindi niya mm -hmm. agad makita yung ulo nung boost player dito. Hindi niya nakita, Ay, yung, oh, hindi niya nakita yung pa eh. Ayun na nga! At may kita yung tiny angle na yun. So Plopsky with the punish. Doon sa boost play, nakakaramdam dito yung um, or the rotations. Pupunta na rin sa, sa NIP, but Hooksy, mabilis ang digal shot lang to trade down his teammate. 4v3 situation. 2-2 setup na lang to. And Brolan with the swing. Oh Beautiful swing with the uh, help doon sa flash ni SC Tag. 4v2, Zyphon and um, Nico doon sa na natitira. Hindi na sila magpumunta ng A. Dito na sila, sila. Oh, wala nang time and digas lang din naman to eh. Next round makakapag-buy naman sila but wala nila madilit si S. Target yung pinaka-tour dito sa may B-site. Enough yung time but Nico Dos, hapat yung pipitasin niya dito. Sobrang hirap. At no, uh, straight 3 rounds din for NIP. So 3 to 3. Tigitan lang yung laban na sa ating uh, map 1. Yeah, P. Good anti-eco coming from NIP. Napakasimple lang nung... Um... Set up nila, which is naging 2-1-2 na nga lang nung walang paramdam nung early rounds, no? And, um, NIP? And na SETAG, sir? Minsan lang natin makitang uminit to, no? Lalo na with the top. SETAG, kumbaga... Diba minsan may off-game din siya, eh? Sobrang dami talaga. May times na... Okay, may init siya for hmm. siguro 2 rounds, 3 rounds. But, so, tas magano na, eh. For the, for, for the whole half, sobrang lamig niya na, so... CPH trying their best to take Uy. a ram control dito from NIP and NIP. Nice nation, oh. but row good flash coming from Hooksy. Huling huli si Rest doon. Kalahating katawan, parang manananggal ka lang dyan, hmm. idol. Bawal yan dito. And a ramp is gonna be given to CPH and a set. Oh, Incoming. Good the sequence of UTs. Para lang mabait yung isang anchor smoke doon. But then again, I think uh, CPH... Oh, oh good spam! Oh my god! Lan, nasaktan the X-ray! Down! To 34 HP and a good flash bulag dito yung players and ng see. NIP but apat na yung Uy, players na ito ng NIP just para. in time matapang Naman ito si Muya mahuli ba nila good spray down kami from both teams eh oh, ganda ng saluan sa A-Ramp and ubus na dito yung players ng NIP grabe naman expected dati reaggression dun easy tag oh, nowhere to go and durug clean round at yung um yung point Doon na yung ginawa ng CPH na nag-abang lang sila. Hindi sila nag, uh, oh. nagmadali oh, na mag-commit sa side. Kasi 
wala na may info na rin naman yung ano yung NIP sa atin but tayo mag ano pa ano parang yep bibit pa doon sa back nila mm-hmm. nakaramdam na tayo ng utilities mic mic na lang mic lang muna hintay muna uminfo ito yun nap na punish nga yung NIP doon so 3 to 4 ating a score basag dito yung um, isang round ng ano no ng uh, NIP pala ko momentum ulit eh pero hindi pa pala and CPH grabe sila mag side no yep. <laughs> hindi ano hindi Katitin. Sobrang compost, but eto, yabi. Uy, what? Nakalusot lahat? Nakalusot? Pero oh, the aim boss, eto na nga with the spray oh. down, scaling two. Parishing hampus and props, gito sa kanilang push. Hindi man nakita din si Brolan. Pwede pa si Brolan yung mag-salaba uh, dito, uh, sa NIP. And let's see, 3, uh, 3v5 situation, eh si Tag has the info. Kaso, naku, nawala ng info, no, nabulag na siya sa may B-site. In a 5v2, again, makakita ba tayo ulit ng CPH going for the clean um, round dito? Yup, CPH. <laughs> Naku, malabo na yan for NIP. Medyo mahirap na yan. Ang dami nang nakuwang info ni Yabi there doon sa bay, um, middle area. Tapos, ang bilis ng bawi niya sa B. Ang ganda nung basa niya. And it's gonna be a free B side for CPH. And may lurk pa nga dito. Siphon, oh. but di pwede kay Riz. Ano yun? <laughs> ano yun? Parang may dumaan lang. <laughs> Parang o picture lang. Hindi mo alam kung Tapos ano yun. Wala. wala lang. No? Drive-by lang, pre. Exit. Kung baga na nakawan ng ano yun. Oh, nakawan sa yes. sa kali. Pero yung kati talaga ni Riz. Oh, sobrang grabe yung yung aim nito ni Riz. At being biased, pero wala eh. Sobrang kati. Wait lang ha, si Brolan. Uy, may exit frag pa, healing uh, two guys, but the round still will go for the side of CPH. Yep, uh, a good try for, ano naman yun, NIP getting those um, early info. Kahala ko pa naman, nakalusot na kay Yabi dun, pero not enough. Feel ko may pixel na nakita si Yabi dun na nakakross din. Kita mo yung bawi niya. Sa... So, uh, pag free aim yan. Ganda nung crosser placement niya. Ready siya na sa swing and nga, B, bumawi agad sa B. Kung baga alam niya na nakamark lang naman doon si Ezzy Tag na naka pag every round yata nakatayo siya doon sa box. Ito mo, self-flash lang ginawa niya doon. Bulag na bulag opening up that B site. Getting the perfect read para mm-hmm. sa setup dito oh, ng simpre. NIP. What rest dito. Ang no. aga niya sa A-ramp. Delic- Sitting Calvario down to, in the smoke. May idea kaya sila dito. Uy, oh, nagbabungguan dito. Rest. Ako nakatalikod niya rest sa iPhone getting to What's the free transfer na recovering pa nga kami from Zyphon? Inubos na player oh sa A and I think it's gonna be an open A site. Napakaaga, wala pang 30 rounds yun, idol, for CPH. Grabe yung kate naman nito ni Zyphon, pre. Not sila mo, what? Grabe yung bala ni Zyphon, no? Kung baga magagawa mo ba yun? Parang pang isang player ko lang magagawa yun, eh. Free magnet. Ma- na magnet na naman, pre. Tsaka si, yung... Si Res yun na yung pumush, nakatakot uh-huh. din eh. Uh-huh. Para may gagawing, ano to yung may gagawing, um, di pwede sa bata. Oo. Uh-huh. <laughs> di pwede sa mata ng mga ito. Oo. Oh no, this could be a clean round. Uh-huh. No pain uh-huh. pro lan, pa rin yung matitira. Hindi eh, makanakaw, hindi eh, mabawasan ng NIP yung tao ngayon ng uh, CPH. Sobrang nahirap pa sila, no? And going for the exit, uh-huh. pang ahook si, pinatay mo si Yabi, kaya yan. And um, 3 to 6 ang ating score. Kanda nung duels, pero yung mga reads ngayon sa side ng CPH, mas ano yung gumagana. Yep, kailangan talaga mag na dito ng NIP. Kung baga, tinry na nilang maging proactive, tinry nilang mag-push talaga hanggang dulo ng mid. Kita mo naman, walang gumagana sila. Playing aggressively or passively, mahirap na choice in for NIP. At pipili talaga sila kung saan sila magpo-push and kita mo naman delubyo nangyayari saktong-saktong sa lubungan lagi against CPH and CPH props to them expecting those pushes mm-hmm. yung mga ganun alam nilang kailangan umasim ng NIP tas lalo yung na nag-smoke na ng ano nung ramp parang ay may gagawin to Nakarabdam. parang pag forward eh no ang bagay nila big line mm-hmm. um, si Ro lagi nakaangat na dun sa may um, ramp but yung round na yun talaga yep grabe CPH Sila lalaman dito ng tatlo, nabasag nila yung mga 3 straight rounds na rin doon ng uh, NIP. Sa kanil naman yung uh, pangatlo, ha? parang okay. dire-direcho ba to or Pwede. NIP's round na uh, naman ba to? Let's see. Oh, the spam. Tagging row down to half HP. Dito sa, uh, sa ating AA ramp, but um, NIP will uh, decide to go back and um, go for the long range duel. 
Wala rin enough info dito yung um, CPH. Pero hawak nila yung grounds sa may uh, A site. Yung sa may B site. Sanggay lang ata yung mga pinatao nila doon. Pwede si iPhone ba yun? Pero ito na nga. Molotov. And sagot naman ang counter utility dito yung um, NIP. But the nade. Mukhang uh, commit na ba to? Down to 1 minute pa naman. Pwede pa tayo makita ng uh, fix. Or um, biglang contact player dito ng um, CPH. No? 1 minute. Pero hindi nakakalas dito yung depensa ng NIP. Tatlo pa rin yung tatao dito sa may A-Site and Brolan. Na kanina pa siya yung huling na mahamatay. Let's see kung uh, makakailan ba siya dito. The spam. Napakasakit para kay uh, Brolan. Hindi niya man lang nakikita yung kalaban. And bullets agad yung nakita niya doon. And still uh, CPH trying hard and regress. Through the smoke. Killing Nico Dos. Saan ang galing yon May one-way smoke pala dito sa ating uh, site. 5v4 situation. Low dito si Rowe. Pwedeng maipit yung CPH ha. Paano may milagro gagawin dito ng CPH pre? Yup, kailangan mahit talaga nila yung mga entry shots and kailangan gumana na yung mga robot aim na entry dito ng uh, CPH. You're losing of time and rest. Ganda naman ang saloon ni Hampus dito and Esitag also dun sa may flag ng Siphon is too late para sa lurk niya dito. I think it's safe to say that uh, NIP is gonna get their fourth round. Uy, yep. di pa nakita pre. Mahalas pa sa timing ha. Mahalas pa sa timing si si um, Siphon. Uh, yeah. The round after street, uh, three straight rounds, NIP naman yung babasag na yun ng uh, momentum na CPH. Parang palitan lang talaga eh. Yup. Um, Kanya-kanyang uh, ano eh, hard read tong teams na to. And uh, props to NIP. Ganda ng mga counter UT na sa Arab. Kung baga nagparamdam sila ng heavy Arab doon. But then hindi nila tinuloy. Alam nila na... Dami talaga tumataw sa CPH yan. Kita mo, apat yung nag-take ng Arab nila. Good decision for NIP just to back down and save those UTs para madali lang yung setups dito ng CPH. So, that's gonna be a round for them. Perfectly red. Uy. By Hampus, ang napaka-asip. Ah, Pre, nasa wall lang. Oh. Pwede magbag yan nung makita yung, ano, yung right arm. But okay. hesitant. We eat the punish doon kay um, Zyphon. Hindi man nakita yung nires pero gra grabe guardian angel nga dito. And Hampus as well with the ball bang. Sobrang dirty naman nun. Hindi rin nakaangat dito yung um, CPH. But the damage na ginawa ng NIP. Sobrang sakit. Dalawa agad yung lagasan ngayon sa um, T-side natin. And um, paano gagawin nito? Ano? Ayun nga gusto ko sabihin. No? CPH sila yung may pinakamaraming um, nalarong vertigo. Oh. Both, uh, for the past 3 months So nage-expect tayo na ito Yun ang nangyayari sa T-side no? Parang binibasicad lang nila eh uh, ng, ano, ano, Wala pa masyadong um, Errors tayo na ikita Yup, puro default play na ikita natin And default natin na is To take a ram slowly And kita naman natin yan Every round they're trying to do um, an A execute But CP, um, uh, NIP, doing a lot. Oh, Nico Dos, mas mauko na dito against S. Itaget, S. That is the important shot. Oh, oh, an entry. Dito kay Abby, pero magmimintis siya. Res yung kalaban niya doon. Hindi yan bata, idol. Nico Dos, try to Uy. make a killer. Good flick sana, kaso not enough. Uy, Uy ano? Shot coming from Nico Dos. Good recovery from his crosser. It's gonna be 3v2 retake. Coming from NIP, pero mukhang di na retake dito. Ah, pabilis ni Grolan. Oh. Picking all that angles, covering the grounds. Gets Nico does in Hooksy to seal that round and Hampus for that defuse. So it's gonna be 5-6, sir. Bayan. Sobrang kambal ni ano no, ni Brolan and Res. No? Parang same playstyle silang dalawa eh. Kahit paggawain mo ng op. Dahil sila pipitas together with Hampus. But ay, uh, eh, si Tag. Yep. Nagi step up na rin dito uh, with this op. Kanina pa yan. Um, yep. First few rounds pa lang si Esitag na nakita natin dito. But the contact play more on a, uh, a hit yung pinapakita ng, ano, ng uh, CPH, no? Yup, and feel ko, tinatry talaga nila abuse yung A-Rap, no? Since nakukuha naman nila talaga. And this time around, NIP, hindi na binibigay fully. Si hmm. Esitag, inuupo na yung sandbag series. Kanina, hindi nila magawa yun, eh, no? Maga... Nung first uh, few rounds, hirap na hirap silang makontrol yung Aram, but then NIP, ganda ng mga bawi dito. And uh, Flopsky will be left alone dito sa B-side. Naka-off angle lang siya sa my wood and I, they're heading towards B. Oh, maririnig ni Flopsky to, sir. Pwede no. maririnig yan, oo. Oh, oh. And he has to be aware of this boost. Napaka-comment niya. Oh, Good task, just in time. Oh. Good straight transfer coming from Flopsky. Out na siya dito. Okay na yung dalawa. And row. Bumawi sa kabilang side ng map against the rest naman doon. So it's gonna be 
4v3 situation, 1 minute remaining. Contact play ata ang gustong mm-hmm. ginagawa nito ng CP. Kumapit na si si Zyphon. Yep. Makaka-recover yung um, CPH but Brolan. Oh. Siya yung tatangke dito. As, tingnan natin kung sino yung mas, may oh, mas maganda so timing. Luck. Oh! No way! What? Okay. Pero parang tumingala lang at namatay na biglado si Brolan. <laughs> making it the equalizer. Oh. But is it ag- The beast dito sa ating um, A site taking down one three v two situation in favor of NIP. Yung sa tao no, sakto low pa si Zyphon dito. Um, sobra suerte two HP dun sa laban nila ni Brolan. Yep, tamang tama lang yung setup dito na NIP and smoke. Incoming, okay to smoke. Ang ganda ng nade. So, uh, good nade coming from Hampus. Blind kill pa nga yun kay Siphon. Low HP siya siya. Then Hampus speaking short. Gets row dun sa may smoke. Tamang tama lang. Good timing. It's gonna be tie naman dito. 6-6 sir. Kumabod yung KNIP. Baga basang basan nila yung mga late rounds ng uh, CPH. No? Sobrang balance na itong matchup. No? And grabe yung pinakita dun ni, uh, ni Plavsky. Ganun timing. Feel ko na rin niya, no? Narinig niya rin. Feel ko, yung pag-angat kasi, di ba, parang... Oh, masyado malapit, eh. So, good round for NIP. But, uh, here comes our um, round 13. Oh, let's see. Um, Hooksy with the P250. Going for the contact dito sa may mid, but the nade. Hindi pa siya nakakaangat dun. <laughs> si Plapsy na naman ang unang pipitas dito. 5v4 situation. And the Deagles. I guess the rifles ang um, uh, makikita natin. Nade pa rin. Sobrang nakatao. Oh my god, bro. Ano yun? Ba't, ba't ganun? Ba't res? Um, mas matalino sa angle. And kita mo naman yung crosshair play si Pindero dun. Possible mapisas pa niya kasi res dun. And 4v3. Um, contact play. But Plopski. Hindi expected yung angle niya dun sa may steel area natin. And Yabi with the tech 9. Magpapalit ng tigil. Hoping na maka one dig dito. And going for the headshot. Or possible, ma- kung mauluan niya pa yung dalawang player dito, sobrang ibang round, but Rez taking down Nico Dos, only Yabi left, and still gets the head of Ezeta, oh gets TV1, but low HP, and the round will go for the side of NIP naman, 7 to 6. Yup, an- uh, an anti-eco round lang yun for NIP, no? Kita mo na setup nila, I think, um, 2A, 2 mid, and 1B yung ginawa nila doon, and which is tamang-tama lang. Ganda ng mga early pick-offs doon and uh, oh my gosh, yabi sir talaga. Kanin, free ang katay niya. Katay niya, and, digil. Yung ito naman ng CPH na yun, uh, okay na yun. Nakadamage sila, nakadalawang rifles rin yun. Kaya din daw na ese tag pa, mm-hmm. siguro parang pinaparamdam pa rin nila yung firepower nila kahit pa paano. So, pressure pa rin naman yung eco na yun, not so bad for CPH. So, it's gonna be 7-6. 7-6. Lumamang na yung NIP. Parang uh, yan. Oo, oh, first time lumamang get search this first half. Pwedeng ano pa eh, palitan lang ulit. 8-7 no? Oh. Feel ko makita tayo 8-7 dito. Pwede. Or... Swerte na lang kung 9-6. Diba? Makalason ulit. Hmm, no? Makalason yung NIP. Yung CPH, malay mo. Saan nila tong round na to? And let's see. Um, ops pa rin si Ezi tag but di niya expect kung ilan yung tao dito. Good flash. Para na mabak dito yung offer ngayon ng NIP. Still, um, utility presence lang yung ginagawa dito ng NIP, no? Not going for the spam as well. Baka kasi malason din ng um, CPH. So, flash. A bit thrown, but the, oh, the smoke kill. Taking down the rest. Kanina nga pa, kanina pa nga siya dun to, uh, tumatambay. And yun na nga. May kinalagyan na rin si uh, rest dun. Making it a 4v5 dito sa ating uh, round. Um, Yabi still trying to uh, kill someone sa so may B-site. In for si Plopsky na dalawa, but eh si Taga good hold pa rin. Dito sa may um, A-site, kahit na iniwanan ni Rez doon. Na 4v4, here comes the utility. Tiyat, try ng uh, mid guy dito ng uh, CPH para makuha tong mid. And makapwesto yung uh, birang players nila. Ang dami pang time. Si yep. Nico Dos nakagapang pre. And kita mo naman yung um, nakahold lang dito si uh, eh si Tag. Gandang gapang ni Nico dos dito. And a lot of space for CPH. Ito nung guys na sabi natin. Yung mga gapang place nila dito. And, oh, oh, on the base. Sa no P for Brolan. Ang ganda lang talaga ng hold ni Brolan doon. And uh, just a disadvantage. Good try yung target from Nico dos. But Siphon. Ganda ng pitas niya kay Hampus dito sa middle. And Esidag with that fast peak. Nahuli si Yabi doon. Masyado mabilis yung off niya. And uh, 
2 Ray Gun. Oh, good gosh, apa? Coming from Abi, malaking bagay na 'yon setting up uh, for a 2v2 situation and the Zaipon expecting this push dito kay Norsel. Oh no, wala nga lang time, a good delay coming from NIP and Plopski. Sealing that round and it's gonna be 8-6. Shay, may lumalamang na NIP. Ganda ng ginagawa ng Copenhagen. Ang laking space na nakuha nila. Mm -hmm. Talagang pinaglalaroan nila yung rotation. Yung switch ng POV. Yep. May ano eh, nasa ibang area, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. ganun, ganun yung pinapakita ng CPH. Ganda nung map presence nila. Mm -hmm. Kung baga may pressure all sides of the map. And talagang nahuhuli lang sila. Ganda ng mga angles lang ng hinuhold ng NIP. But then again... Naubusan lang na naman sila ng time doon. Siguro kung medyo napabili sila doon, mas maganda yung makikita natin doon. Yep. Ang dami nilang uh, magagawa eh. Yes. At uh, let's see kung NIP will go for the three straight rounds but the punish. Oh, no. kanina, kanina hindi nagpapush uh, doon si Plopski. Grabe expected niya. And sakto yung sound cue din ng pag-drop ni Plopski doon. Sobrang um, dinala sa ano, no? Dinala sa hukay si Plopski. Yep. 4v5. Mukhang regroup na for the side of um, CPH dito while Nico Dos going for the... Para siya yung magkakat ng rotation sa side ng ANIP. Paplash, Hampus, and Brolan. Siya, na, siya yung katulong ni Plopski dito. And siya rin yung um, gagawa ng ingay para lang ma-delay yung um, CPH. But Nico Dos ito, tingnan natin kung maganda yung timing niya. Gita sa good flash kasi si Brolan di nakatulong oh doon sa mid. Oh my gosh, Nico Dos nakapita sa mid. Okay. Wow! Clean road pa ata yun. Eh, may info sa kanya. Oh my and... gosh. Kumana rin yung slow play. 8 to 7. Just in time. For CPH. No? So, nag-expect nga tayo na makakamomentum yung NIP doon. But then again, this time, CPH. Ganda ng bawi nila doon. Parang kinakapalang nila yung mga slow play nila kanina. Nagahanap lang sila ng timing and tendencies netong NIP. And a better lead. Napakalaking bagay na to for CPH. Naka-7 naka round sila sa... T-side. Oo, first, oh, first half and T-side nga yun. So, magiging ano, nasa comfortable side pa sila ngayon for second half. So, it's gonna be CT naman for CPH, no? Ganda ng mga slow play nila, pre. Parang, mm. kumbaga, kinakapalang nila yung mga rotations ng NIP. Kailan magro-rotate. Yan yung mga protocol siguro. Tapos, ano naman yung last row? Magkanta ng contact ng two players ni Kudos. Tapos doon sa may B-Ramp, no? Then, yep. uh, wala. Pistol round naman tayo. NIP for T-Sided. CPH naman dito. Walang UT na bibigay. But throw with a... Siphon. Siphon. Tatangke. Ay! Nabit. Ang bilis naman ni Hampus. So, pero hindi mo yung kalaban niya dyan, pre. Ano rin, mapipinas pa rin siya dyan. And, uh, yun nga, 5v4 situation. A mid control for what? NIP. They will go for the B-split. Ooh, that's a good smoke. Oh. Kuxi, para lang maligaw dito si S, tag. And, um, Brola with the help para doon kay IGL niya. And a 5v3 situation. Na Hampus, dire-direcho lang sila dito sa may A. Kala natin yeah. magpapa B. But A side pala ang pinuntarihan nila dito sa ating uh, pistol round. And, 5v3, boy, yung duel list. Na si Ro, pwede ba siyang uh, makapanish dyan? But uh, yeah, B. Peke, pre. Oo, ngayon na peke. Biglang nag-A site dito. Yung A split pala yung gusto. And yung duel pa rin. Mapapanalo while Nico Dos. Late sa flank. Wala na siya kampe dito sa A site. Oh, no. Delikado since meron ba siyang kit? Wala ata siyang kit, no? And um, yun na nga. Nako po, tatlo yung kalaban. And the double or a triple swing. Doon sa peso round. NIP. Ganda nung call ni Hampus. Nico Dos, ang init niyan, pre, kanina pa. Last round hanggang dito sa pistol round. Sayang, siguro kung kay Nico Dos napunta lahat ng kalaban doon for mm -hmm. NIP, lalo na siya yung mainit, siguro ubos yung NIP doon. But mm -hmm. NIP, kapang doon sa middle area. Ang daming binatong players doon. Committed talaga sila doon sa mid and gusto talaga nilang kunin yan. And... Uy. What? Five months? Gusto ko to, pre. Pwede ito. Kaso crossfire yan, pre. Mah madali oh. lang yan. But the... Okay. Team damage. But bro, lag with the MAC-10. Okay lang yan kasi MAC-10 din. And the farm para sa kanya. But uh, Nico Dos, I think he will save the Galil for the next round. Pero grabe, nakakatawot yung USP all mid. Ah. Buti na lang, nagka... nagka ano, no? nagka tempo rin. May yep. tao sa ladder. Then sa mid. Oo, oh, kung... Mag-isa lang yung nakagalil dun. Feel ko may free galil sila. Tapos possible na manakaw pa nila yung round dun. Oh, um, 
angle being held dito kay Brolan pero good thing kay ni Gustavus tayo of Brolan but ayun lang not enough for the maximum damage dito pero okay na yun full USP tas dalaway na patay mo next round Medyo... makabay naman ng uh, maes na barrel pero enough ba yung op parang di enough yung op no parang di yata abot yung, yung, yung op mga full of rifles lang uh, dito for the side of um, Copenhagen pero full UT naman yan feel ko So, uh, ito yung first decent uh, buy round ng CPH. Ayan now, full of UTs nga sila dito. Tingnan natin kung ARAMP pa rin ang uh, pwepersa nila dito. Kita natin, last round, puro ARAMP yung tinry nilang itake. Then again, dito, tamang-tama lang. ARAMP nga ang gusto nilang gawin. Setting up na sila dito, Nico Dose. Doon sa may sandbags area. And row. Doon sa may short. Alam na alam natin yung setup niya ng Roland. Tama ka ano, dito, kailangan so makaunang pitas dito ng ano, yep. ng uh, CPH. Mhm. Mm Kasi delikado sila pag um, close na sa site yung NIP eh. Ayo, pero diba? parang sabayan na nila sa na delikado sila sa duel. Yep. But here comes Nico Dos with the spam. Oh. Parang pinadala niya, parang inexpect niya na may close na doon sa may um, sandbags and one minute na wala kang info. The spam! Huh? Naku, munti ka lang doon si Roe. And grabe, napakatapang ni Nico Dos dito. Hindi sila magkasabay ng swing oh. ni Roe. Medyo delikado yan. No winners, um, two players lang na nag-hold dito sa may A side. But the swing pa rin ni Nico Dos. Bro with the tag. Down to 55. Ang good, good molly. But the re-aggression na ginagawa dito ni Nico Dos. Oh my gosh! Nagapang oh, A1 is! Going for the 4K sana. 2v4 situation. And here comes Roe. Oh. And Roxy with the clean up. Grabe yung vacuum. Back yung cleaner ni uh, Nico Dos. Oh my god. Idol. Nico Dos lang naman. Kita ba yung ano? Paano niya clear yung angle doon sa ramp? Yup. Yung nga sinasabi natin dito nung T-side yung Open Hagen. A ramp nga yung nais nila. But then again dito naman sa city. Open Hagen. Having full command sa may A ramp area and Nico Dos. Pinakawalan na ang Dragon. Getting three heads. Perfect double din yun para sa three players. Pre, kung sa POV nila yon sobrang, wala. Hindi na makakareact talaga. Alam mo yung mga ganun times pag naglalaro, ha? Mm -hmm. POV mo na lang, bigla ka na lang mabubura sa server, eh. No? So, uh, ito na nga, CPH. Babasag dito sa momentum ng NIP. And mapapapos na sila dito. Medyo nangiti yep. sila dun, eh. Mm -hmm. Sinaktan, sir. Oo oh, nga eh. Pero yun nga, shoutout sa mga viewers natin dyan sa YouTube channel. Yo, ano daw tayo dito? NIP daw tayo dito, pre. Uy. Ay, ganun. Hindi. Hindi naman, no? Pre, Copenhagen. Idol nga natin kagabi yung Copenhagen. Yung pinag... Yung molly boost nila. Uy. Pre, Open, sino yung MVP kagabi nga ulit? Ay, nako. <laughs> Si Yabi lang naman. Si Yabi, diba? Si Yabi. Na nakaunang kill din kay Plopski. And a 4v5. Dito sa ating round 13. Or um... Ano naman? Round 19. Yep. Rather. Round 19. Dito sa ating uh, second half. Still um... Decent guns for both sides. Walang off sa side ng um, CPH. Yo. Sobrang ganda ng hold. Siguro yung magiging uh... Enough na yan eh. Kani last round. Mm -hmm. Di naman nila kinilangan ng off tamang contact place lang. And... Yun nga yung mga middle. Wow! Wow! Good need dito. Feel ko yung icebreaker dito yung ano. Yung ginawa ni uh... HP. Nico Dos. Oh. Yung pinaka icebreaker okay. eh. Possible makamomentum din yung uh, CPH. Kumbaga, di ba inihintay natin sa CPH yung maging loose sila maglaro bigla. Kasi nung maging loose sila maglaro and tuloy-tuloy na talaga eh. Pag umili talaga. Roland. Roland with a contact play. Napakatapang nakatakot yan. Oh, Once na mag-overextend oh, yung uh, elevator. Ang ganda ng flash. But Tres, grabe yung aim power nila dito sa may mid. Pati yung flash, wala na nagawa doon. But Simon, oh, grabe. Oh. Huge 3K din para sa kanya. Para lang si Nico Dos. Si Nico Dos ang suporta. And ipapasa yung trono doon kay um, Simon. Sa pre, the angles that they're holding, tamang-tama lang para makapag-multi-kill. Oh my God. Nico Dos, doon sa may ARAM. Pre, multi-kill din yun. Tatlo yun. Dito naman, pre, si Siphon. Hindi natin makakountout yan. Dito natin, T-side, mainit din yan. Eh. Dito naman sa city side, nagpakitang gilas din. Holding that guardian area. Very perfectly. Getting three heads naman for his team. So it's gonna be 10-9. Full eco. Full eco. Basag na basag yung uh, economy dito. And... Pero, Riz, kita mo, pre, yung tutok niya kanina. Nagmagnet sa ulo eh. Magnet sa ulo. Oo. 
Doon talaga ni Brolan, no? Pag sila yung kumontak, play. Nakakatakot. Nakakatakot. Tsaka yung, alam mo yung ginagapang talaga nila, eh. Yep. Sila yung mas, mga kilala talaga na ganun pumik, no? Mga crouch pick talaga. Oh. Okay, the flash. Going for the info. Hooksy with the MP9. Almost killing Riz. But the um, full glocks yan. May info din naman yung CPH. Uh-huh. Aangat dito yung um, MP9 na si Hooksy. Kasi farm sa kanya yan. But na-dink. Siya dito down to 44 What? HP. What? Ng um, glock. And then di mahanap nga ni Hooksy yung frags. But uh, if ever man na maklean up dito na MP9. Ni Hooksy yung um, NIP. This could be an uh, economic economy booster para sa kanila well the Zyphon ibang angle and let's see and the spray oh, down sobrang linis lang and uh, Hooksy nakaagaw dun sa ace ni um, Zyphon and 10 to 10 ang ating uh, scoreline grabe na yung mga tutok dito na si PH pre na ano na res- bigay respeto na yung NIP yep and NIP medyo Ayun nga, hindi na ganun kakate dito for the side of CPH. Kita natin kanina, medyo nangangati talaga sila sa NIP, no? Every angle, every peak, kumakana na. But then CPH, pre, nararamdaman na dito, dila dito yun. Then, kita naman talaga for NIP, bumbagal na sila maglaro. And masyado sila nagiging maingat. And, uh, oh, hampus, ang bilis niya dito sa middle. Ah, grabe, ah. Mas But maganda wait. to. A double push coming from CPH. Good hang. Good of angles. Oh, Nico dos. Tamang sagot. Nico dos. Yup. A two man setup nga doon sa mid. Alam na alam natin yan. But Siphon ganda na laso niya dito. Masyado na siyang advance. And a good thing coming from Flopsy. Gets to open up B side dito. Gets the head of Yabby. It's gonna be 2v2 situation. Row and Nico dos. Sila na lang ang bahala kung mariritik pa nila tong B side. But pre magkalayo. The re-aggression coming from Nico Dos. Pero naspatan ba ni Plavski yung uso? Hindi niya nakita. Grabe yung gapang. Sobrang... A good angle. Now for Nico Dos, sir. Pag nagbisa na dito, medyo magugulat mm-hmm. si Plavski. Kasi kanina niya pa hinuhold yung angle niya. Tapos wala siya makita. Paano baka oh. mainip si Nico Dos? Kita oh. mo naman, nagre-repo siya. Baka Ay, oh, biglang umangat yung ulo niya dyan. Nakakatakot and Plavski. Ayun na nga, umangat. At una na inip si Nico Dos. 2v1 situation na kay Ro na yung um, or si Ro na bahala dito sa round 21 ng CPH and let's see NIP nahanap pa rin nila nakuhold pa rin sila takot na takot sila na hindi nila alam kasi si Ro pwedeng uh, nasa likod lang nila eh. and let's see magkakakitaan yung dalawa and ese tag will win that um, duel actually hindi nga duel well, nakatutok na sa taas do si Ro and 11 to 10 ang ating score NIP pa rin ang lalamang dito na isa. Yo, pag try naman yun coming from uh, CPH nung ganda na. Tumatama talaga yung shot sila but then again Plopski stepping up naman dun. Ganda ng trade niya dun kay Res. And ganda pa nung transfer niya and dun na nagkatan sa late round eh no. Kumbag um, match na match lang yun eh 2v2. Kahit ano pwede mangyari dun but then again si Nico dos nga yung unang nainip mm-hmm. dun sa may B. Then napareak na nga si Ro and eh, si Tag, tamang timing lang doon sa middle area just in time para mahuli yung off guard na nakil na hinahanap niya. And again, middle area na naman ang uh, trip talaga ng NIP dito and Copenhagen, I think they're very... Nagkag ginagawa ng CPH, no? Yup. Um, they're playing off angles mm-hmm. para lang mapanish dito yung NIP but the B split, oh, What? ganda na yung uh, entry doon ni Hampus. We the Mac 10 but yeah, B... Missing oh those shots. The nade lang ni Hooksy yung tumulong doon. Para lang mabawasan sa tao. And oh, grabe, nilalabas yung smoke and the cell flash para kay Hooksy. Also, eh, si Tag. Through the smoke kill doon. Ang ganda ng trades ng frag. But 2v2 and pasok sa site yung um, NIP. Let's see. Oh, hindi agad. Pinapatitik oh dito ba, Tres? 2k. Ano naman, pre? Bigla na lang umiinit ng ganun si Res, no? Pre, pa yun, pa. And oh IP, nakabawi dito. Grabe. Kung baga, reset yung nangyari sa kanila. Kanina pa sila dito matama sa mga contact plays. And yung setups, basang-basa na talaga nga ng CPH that time. But again, NIP. Mm-hmm. With that idea, sulit na sulit nga naman yung SMG, no? Pinag-close range fi- uh, fight niya. And talagang burst lang yung ginawa nila sa may middle area. And yun nga, just in time. Naka-off angle lang ata dun si Zyphon. Pero not enough yun for... NIP is firepower. Um, quick trade kami from Brown. Actually, hindi nga trade yun eh. Sinalo niya lang. Oo, oh, sinalo niya lang. Yung pagbagsak nun. So, uh, NIP, tumatama na dito. Trades. Gumaganda na rin for the side of them and also spacing. So, 
So, 12 to 10. Yep. Init na mainit na laban pa rin si PH. Talagang good three. recovery. Uy, saan boost to? Ay. Ganda na ito. Possible makaisa nga dito yung NIP si Brolan. Kaso nakahold lang siya dun sa ano eh. Sa um, T-Base. And um, low gun for the side of CPH. Medyo delikado yung round. But the NIP, um, feeling ko, mag-aano lang to. Mag-aabang ng time, no? Good time management lang. Para lang makuha yung round ulit. Uh, while CPH, nag ng lason. Yep. Si Ro na, pares ano eh. Si Hampus and Ro yung ano, malamigan dito sa matchup, no? Mm-hmm. And tingnan natin kung si Ro iibahin yung... Um, Feel ko aware sorry, sorry din yung um, NIP na weak ba itong CPH. Yan yung nangadap. Kaya ganito sila kaba, kaba, kabagal. Oo. Feel ko ganun pre. Si Ceres yung kukontak. But uh, yung CZ nakakatakot. Baka si um, Ro baka ilang pa rin dito sa, ano, no, sa lane. Yep. Down to one minute. Anti-eco strat para sa side ng uh, NIP. Stay mo sa bubong to to. Parang fake. Slow approach talaga and a lot of time, 40 seconds remaining but I think it's gonna be an A-hit na nga. Pumwesto na yung 5 players dito. Bumalik na yung lurk dito, sumama na sa pa- family system. Yan. But Ro solo, lo hold nga dito sa may A-short area. With a CZ lang, will it be enough? Oh, no fee for rest. Good self flash para tumingin sa likod din si Ro. And a good pick off and A-smokes incoming. It's gonna be an ace execute for CPA oh, oh. I mean, in NIP bulag na bulag pa nga yung offer doon and good modi para mapabalik pa dito so baon na baon na talaga dito yung players ng CPA in a free A site good plan NIP napakabilis naman nun ganda nung antay sobrang bagal talaga maglaro no sobrang bagal and yun nga down to 5v4 kita mo naman sobrang kompleto nung NIP para lamatik yung A site and yeah. sila yung namatay na si uh, Row pa rin, no? Siya yung, uh, siya lang yung nakawal sa may, ano, sa may A, eh. So, 12 to 10, magiging uh, 13 to 10 ng ganun lang kabilis <laughs> sa A site. Wala na, wala na rin presence sa may B and also sa may mid. Yep. Talagang NIP. Kini-clear out lang yung mga angles na in-hold or mahilig uh, i-hold dito ng CPH. Yep, ito mga si Brolan, nagpa-farm pa dito, sulit na sulit yung SMG, sulit na sulit yung MAC-10. It's gonna be 13 to 10. Tatlo ang kalamangan ng NIP and momentum is on their side. Kailangan mm-hmm. ma- masira to ng Copenhagen kasi ang hirap niyan, sir. I think Maga- kung ano, si Zyphon, ano, mas uma- umasin pa siya ngayon. Ay, oh. Kasi city, city na sila eh, no? Parang nangyari yung... Kung ano yung city side ng NIP, parang naging ganun lang din sila eh. So, kailangan ng mga uh, ano dito na CPH. Parang at least good for one kill agad. Yep, kasi... Kailangan lang ma-open yung round. Lalo na't ma- mainit si Zyphon dito. And the same together with the Nico. Dos, sila yung dalawang mainit dito. Sila. Feel ko, kailangan sila yung pagkaroon ng initiative para ano ba yung makapitas man lang, makatulong at magkaroon agad ng man advantage para makapag-set up sila ng maayos sa site. Dos, so... Yun lang feel ko yung kailangan solusyon nila dito and dito medyo broken oh. by sila dito and a good angle ah. to hold. Ito na nga yung sinasabi yeah. natin ni Kodus yeah. getting that first kill dito. Si Brolan pa yung nawala sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Malaking tulong yun for the team ha. Si Brolan pa nga yun and uh, wala eh. Wala rin uh, map control and di inexpect ni Brolan yun no. Expected pala talaga yung angle na yun but ni Kodus dito naman siya sa may um, A. Oh. Expected ba ito? Oh, oh, long range CZ lang naman yung hawak dito ni Ro to uh, 3v5 situation mukhang A or B hit dito yung um, NIP but na 2k Zyphon uh, still hitting those shots to take down Hampus and the delete or um, kill doon ni Rez sobrang bilis lang at uh, talagang na magnet yung bullet doon sa ulo 2v2 and I'm um, hoping NIP oh, na hindi no. mabaksab ni Ro, sobrang delikado nito and a uh, huge kill sana but Plopski grabe na yung dalawang low sa side ng um, NIP hindi um, di alam ni Nico dos pwede niya nga pistolin itong uh, dalawa yep. but mukhang um, alam niya rin no, na may uh, low dito or I think na info na rin let's see kung makaklutch niya ba dito, dito yung round and let, uh, ito nung no, uh, Plopski low HP ka dyan and a good tap down to rest kaso wala siyang kit wala nga yung kit and nako Sobrang hirap na to, pero yung plant medyo awkward but uh, rest still mamamatay and yung round sayang eh naipi pa rin mga lodi kicks good try pa rin sa ano sa um, CPH yun yep good try coming from CPH kita mo naman ang 
wala eh. They had a weaker gun talaga doon. Mahina yung firepower nila. Mm-hmm. Pero na-convert talaga ng early pick-offs yung mga pistols si nila. No? Yung CZ, Zero. Mm-hmm. Kita mo naman, long range yun, idol. Napakabihira tayo makakita manalo ng duel against CZ na malayuan. Then, convert yun. Kaso lang si Plopski at si Hampus. Plopski and Hampus dun sa may B-site. Nakabawi na... Ganda nung recovery nila, pre. Kumbaga tumama lang talaga lahat ng shots and di naging enough yung uh, barrel na itong CPH. But then again, nice try coming from them. Ubus naman yung players. Medyo nakasakit naman sa economy ng onte But ito na, importante yung round to for CPH, sir. Kumbaga, last Full chance. Full utilities oh, last for chance uh, both to. sides. Kumbaga. Yung man last chance pero last chance na may decent guns, di ba? Oo, oh, kasi diba? next round di rin ganun ata kaganda yung ano nila, yung uh, economy. Yep. Tapos tunay na ata sila next round. But the B-Ramp control, kinuha agad dito ng CPH. Mm, Ito yung gusto nating uh, makita while uh, Zyphon. Ganda, ganda. Para na maka-info dito. Oh. Ito, ay, masyado ma-assemble doon si Plopski. Oh, in a parish oh, guy. Oo, oh, bawal yun. At hindi uh, mo ko may isahan doon. 4v5 situation. Hindi nag work yung mga labas sa labas sa smoke, no? Pag mga gantong, um, ano na, ka-intense yep. na yung um, laban natin. So, 4v5, lahat ng players dito aware. But, uh, res, mapipitas na kaya. Sito si Siphon. Sino kayo lamang or una makakita dito sa may smoke? And that Siphon na unang Kapit makakita pray. doon. Hindi pa rin siya namamati dito sa may B-Ramp. And yung um, info <laughs> ng um, NIP, si Siphon lang yung gumagawa dito sa may B, no? Ganda ng ginagawa niya dito sa B-Ramp area. Not giving so much space for NIP. And kita mo, oh, oh, the contact play din. Okay. Hooksy, ganda naman ng lurk niya dito. Killing Hampus, wala na silang IGL. It's gonna be 5v2 situation. 45 seconds remaining. And Hooksy, iniwanan na nga yung ladder area knowing na may mad advantage sila. So, alam nila sa B-site na lang pupunta tong mga to. Wala nang iba. Mm-hmm. Kailangan na lang nila tibayin at Gandaan lang nila yung angis nila dito and ito na yung sinasabi natin si Zyphon Freak. Di ba kanina nung uh, first half ang kate niya? Mm. Dito niya sinasabi dito ko kasi naramdaman niya na tuloy-tuloy yung multi-kills niya, tuloy-tuloy yung asim place nga lang niya pero feel ko timing lang nila pero kita mo naman dito sa may biram ganda ng timing niya no? Bigla na lang sila umasin no? Na... Yep. Si Plopski, sobrang confident niya na gano'n yung gawin niya doon sa may B-Ramp. Di niya nabigyan na respeto yung ano, yung smoke. Just B-Ramp like doon ng uh, city. So just in time and um, in the right place lang din yung ginawa ni Zyphon yeah. doon to kill um, the two guys from NIP. And uh, yun na nga guys, 40 to 11 pa rin. And uh, doon sa round na yun ng uh, CPH, possible sila naman yung makakuha ng momentum dito kasi hindi nabasag or hindi sila na low buy. At hindi na lang napigilan ng uh, CPH na makamap point yung NIP. So, uh, let's see. Mukhang may post lang tayo. Saglit. And, um, grabe, sobrang intense ito, no? Map 1 pa lang tayo, guys, no? Okay. Pero, more than one hour na tayo magkakasama dito sa ating broadcast. Kaya, don't forget to like and share yes, yung ating sir. stream dyan sa Facebook and also sa YouTube channel. Correct. Subscribe na kayo and also, um, type exclamation point notify sa ating uh, comment section sa Facebook. Ayan. And please do check out rivalry.com yes, uh, slash focus fire. You know? Mga bets tayo dyan and um, kaming bahala sa mga questions at um, concerns nyo about dyan sa site. Kaya use the code Lupon WXC and let's see 14 to 11 round 26 na dito sa ating uh, second half hirap or um, di pa naman ganun kahirap yung NIP na ano no makuha yung map points since ang dami nilang pera. Hindi basag yung uh, economy nila dito and CPH. Again, magdedere-derecho na ba sila? Hindi rin ka, ganun kaganda yung um, economy ng um, city. Yep, and, and compare mo sa NIP, no? So, siguro sa kay uh, Plopski. Oo. Iko, iko sila next. If ever hindi lang mamapoint to. Kailangan mapanalo ng CPH to para, para mo yun, hoping for a 14-14 or siguro 15-14. If ever na... Patalo nila to. Next round, walang perang NIP and Nico dos. With a self flash, getting an angle lang dito sa may A-Ramp area para wala nga masyado magalawan dito yung NIP. La, lalo na't wala ng smoke dito and oh, this, are you going to big? No, but eh, si Tag na una dito, tanggal ang offer. Tanggal rin ang rifle nila dito. Oh, a good 3K coming from Nico dos. Sinuubos na ang players dito ng NIP. 
Tamang tama lang oh. yung uh, sim nila yun. Ito na nga yung sinasabi nila natin na sa ipon. And Nico Dos, tapos si Ru, babawi pa sa may short dito. Oh, a good name. Almost. I think they're very aware na nandito si Plopski. Wala nang parandam sa ibang mapa ng area. And Plopski, being alone dito sa may A-ramp. Wala. No way for Nico Dos. Wow, a good 4K. Coming from Nico Dos. Nico Dos. What? Himself. Ang... Um... Mag-step up dun sa ating uh, round 14 to 12. Talagang pwede pa maging 16-14 to. Pre, CPH mananalo. Pwede pa. Na-jinx na, no? <laughs> Gra Oo, na-jinx na mo. Wala, tira mo naman, pre, yung hold nila. Oo. Oh. And kung para diba? pa rin pumix si Nico Dos with the op. He op pa yan. Kanina nga pumipira siya ng mga rifle niya. Nakakuha siya ng frag. 31 frags lang naman dito. But, uh, oh, the smoke kill is iPhone. Oh, ito na nga, oh. CPH. Tamang clear up. Oh, tamang clean up lang. Dito sa ating uh, round. And a uh, huge round para CPH. Hindi na convert nung um, Tech Nines ng uh, NIP. So, 40 to 30 ang ating uh, scoreline. Ito na. Pako na naman. And the course of 14 still um, prevailing yep. dito sa ating matchup. Pre, ito na nga yung sinasabi natin na si Zyphon tsaka si Nico Dos, kailangan nila yung mga early pay-offs na yun. And hindi lang early, pre. Inuubos talaga nila eh. And kita naman natin si Zyphon having full command sa may Biram Perial. Lalong-lalo na si Nico Dos dun sa may A-side. So, hirap na hirap ng NIP. Both sides of the map. Wala silang makuha. Wala silang makuha ang space. And uh, they need to get some rounds dito for uh, CPH. Kasi kanina pa sila nasa shutdown and... Basang basa lagi yung mga slow play ng NIP and sa iPhone. Again, hey, one way. napakabilis. Play. Alam, alam. Oo. Oh. Naku, ito yung sobrang crucial at uh, NIP. If ever hindi makuha tong round na to, CPH talaga. Yeah. Feeling ko uh, magkakaroon ng edge. But the flash and the info is there. Para ngayon sa CPH, taking down one, which is si Respa. Yung pinakakilangan ngayon ng NIP. Unang mamamatay. And uh, with that man advantage, gagalaw naman sila sa ibang um, oh. mapa, no? sa ibang uh, area dito sa ating uh, vertigo. What, uh, one minute, dito sa ating uh, clock, di expected yung angle ni uh, Zyphon and Yabi. Grabe, mabilisan trade lang sana to, but Zyphon nakaisa pa rin. Wow. Asan yung trade? Ayun na nga yung trade kay Hampus, but uh, Yabi with the swing, sobrang unexpected no swing. Dalawa na lang matitira sa'yo ng NIP and the damage has been dealt dito sa ating uh, B-Ramp, taking down ng... Or um, tagging down, Hampus, 7 HP. Paano kaya gagalaw itong uh, NIP nawing tatlong uh, healthy oh, pa sa side oh. ng uh, CPH, no? Ganda pa ng pwesto doon ni uh, Hoki. Uh, Angkor, oh, is this a one-way one -way smoke coming from NIP? Eh, sita, good smoke, good flash. Para lang di na makapick dito NIP and eh, sita, Tamang gapang lang dito. Feeling ko narinig na siya ng players dito. And Hampus, tamang takbo lang dito sa A. Oh no. Going for, for a fake Ay, ito. Na Hampus! Nahuli si Nico Dos dun. And just in time para makapag-plant dito. And it's gonna be a post-plant situation. 1v1. Hampus versus Hooksy. But Hampus, pinili niya mag-fold oh, no. dito sa may elevator. And uh, I think uh, he's hoping for a timing lang dito. And Hooksy, I think he's not aware that Hampus is... Oh no, may kita niya mga bag. Oh Ay, no. hindi. Boxy. Nakapurta oh siya dito sa B-site. And Hampus, feel ko aware niya. Masyadong matagal nga. Masyadong yung matagal eh. City and the top. Yun na nga. And... Oh my gosh! <laughs> the touch coming from Hampus. Hampus. Down to Ooh. low HP. Para lang maklatch yung round at manakaw yung map point. Dito again CPH and um, that could be in the round for um, CPH, no? Yup, and ganda lang nung red ni ano eh. Hapos, and yung uh, way na kasi si uh, Nico Dos na pa back dun sa A-side. Nakagahan out siya pre. Narinig niya naman yung info, di ba? Na si Hapos, sumatak uh -huh. mo lang. Late niya nabunot yung um, AG niya dito or yung rifle niya dito sa A-side. And that's the map point nga para sa side ng uh, NIP. Still a decent guns for um, CPH, no? Yup, ganda ng ginagawa na CPH during early and mid rounds. Yung mga setups nila gumagana, nakaka-multi-kill talaga sila. And laging man advantage yung situation. Pero the recovery, lang doon nila hampos, pati ni AC tag gumana sir yung fake game. Doon lang natalit yung okay. Nico Dos. Spots the head of S tag, pero hindi enough yung flick niya. Hindi tumama sir, pero awak niya naman yung buong A-ramp. Wala siyang pake kung may 
flash dyan or ano, di niya bibitawan yung angle dyan and it's gonna be rest, throwing the one-way smoke. Parang nga naman walang makita si Nikodos there and then pulling out that grenade, walang tatamaan dito. So, one minute remaining. Ingat ng ano, no, ng uh, CPH. Yup, napakabaon. Kito na sila kabaon kanina si, uh, Le- si Layabi. Oh, going for the pop flash Woo! and na-info lang sana kaso wala, may ki- uh, wala siya may kita dun sa may B-ramp. So, enough pa yung utilities dito ng um, CPH but yung time ang ganda lang nung uh, paggamit dito ng NIP and let's see. Yabi, Brolan, hindi pa sumisirap dito. But the spam, nauna na doon. And Brolan, sasagot at papatay doon si Yabi. Zaypo with the trade. And also Row, na boy, na boy pa rin. Dito sa may Abisa. At 3v3 situation. NIP, hindi pa agad makapasok dito sa may B. And medyo delikado pa nga sila. Para lang, and yung flick, hindi nag-connect. Also Row, the crouch pick. Tinuro ni Nico Dosto kanina. And Esitag na lang matitira. 1v3 situation. Mukhang delikado pa dito na makuha ng NIP and wala na nga siyang time. Oh. CPH still with a good hold and na set up dito sa ating round. Oh my gosh, pre. Ito na yung sinasabi natin, CPH. Just in the nick of time, si Rodon. Ganda ng rotation niya, ganda ng pag-delay ng players doon para di makapasok nga sa B-site and row. Dami niyang natutunan kay Nico dos doon. Nag-crouch, ano, no? nag-crouch play siya. Kung bari, tagal niyang hinulong. Ano daw yung ang... crouch play eh. Parang 100% chance sa win rate, no? Sa mga duwag. Hindi ka, di ka tatamaan. Nakakailang naman nga kasi, no? Nakakrouch pick. Tapos parang steady lang eh. Oo, oh, hindi gumagalaw. Oh, hindi gumagalaw. Uy, Yabi with an op. Pre, bago to. Double up setup. Double up setup. Yabi. Nako, let's see. Kung... Uh, Medyo delikado sa NIP. Yep. Look forward ako ng OT dito, no? Yes, Kasi sir. tatlong ano eh, tatlong upgraded pistols lang. And paano yan? Isa pang op. Hindi naman pwede agad uh, umentry dyan si Esetag. Kailan niya oh. at least pumitas muna. Para lang makalamang sila sa tao. Also, Nico Dos. May kalaban pala siya dito ng offer. Mahirap delikado. Doon, sir. Walang masyadong AK tong NIP. Pero tingnan natin kung tatama yung mga mini op nila. Which is yung deagle nga. And also, as he said, or Plopski, but ito, A-Rap is being contested dito. For NIP, magkakakitaan sila dito, pero wala mo nang matatag. Wala mo nang mababawas. Oh. Ano? A miss shot coming from Nikodos. Eh, si Tag, nasaspatan niya si Nikodos doon in a good info play nga naman. Coming from Nikodos, a good hold dito sa may A-Rap. Mukhang mapapabak na yung NIP dito. Mukhang mapaparotate na sila. Kasi ang hirap talaga kunin ng A-Rap dito. Oh, against hirap niya. Si na they're heading an... Oh, they're heading towards an up. Ang, again, up. Uy, Basta man. kami lang erin naman pitas dito si AC tag. Possible. Yep. Pero si Zyphon yung katapat nila sa may mid eh. And let's see the timing and yung rotation. And expect ni Zyphon na uh, possible close beer up na sila. Pero yung swing also tagging AC tag. Oh, Nico oh, do oh. sobrang tapang lang napumik doon sa may elevator area. 3v5 situation dito sa may B. Delikadong round but Zyphon in the trade ng Deagle dito nakakatawad pa rin. And Zyphon boy na buhay with the 3k and overtime. Para dito sa ating match-up. Prin, di ko masyado ramdam si Abby dito. But then, Nico Dos. Nico Dos and Zyphon. Kanina pa sila mainit. Kanina pa sila pa yung nakaka-multi-kill dito. Para... Sila talaga yung pag-asa ng CPH. At kita mo naman CPH. Just in time. Walang binigay na area sa NIP. Hindi nakuha yung ARAM. Yung middle, alanganin pa doon. Nico Dos, tamang rotate lang. Ganda ng pag... Punta niya sa middle area, huling-huli na. Kung baga, ay, hindi na ito magpapa. Eh, kukuha naman to ng uh, area sa mid. Then, saktong-sakto lang. Walang palag yung two players doon. Pitas na agad yung dalawa. Tapos tatlong pistols pa na yung natira. So, uh, so very good goal. last round. Sobrang um, gulan nung swing ni, ano, no, ni Nigo Dos. Yep. Tingnan na natin. Dito, 10K. Individually. Distributed dito sa ating um, round. But, um, let's see. Full AK since si Esitag pa rin. Dami ang tatanong ba't daw si Esitag yun, no? yung offer? E si Esitag naman talaga, nag-off din naman talaga ito eh. Yup, wala lang hmm. talaga si Rosie oh, and... Wala eh. nga, and device, sinihintay natin. Oh, Ay, but who the spam, bro? Tagging rest, down to 12 HP. Di agad, maka-forward dito yung NIP. Oh, sobrang delikado and yung spam. If ever mag-spam dito yung CPH, pwede silang, uh, or pwede nilang mapita si Res. But yung uh, info nga, ayaw nila masyado ibigay sa NIP, no? Let's see, again, the pop flash and utilities lang ang binabato dito sa may ramp. 
si Estag siya yung uh, ano eh parang second armor mo dito sa ano eh, sa uh, op niya and yung off angle ni Zyphon tingnan natin kung mababasag ba to oh no and, oh oxy with the nade dun sa kabilang uh, area taking down risk sakto siya yung low HP but the crouch pick will not do and Zyphon good for 2k dun sa may mid area natin yabi naku wala napitasan na dito yung NIP and again Plapski ang matitirad tight angle but uh, Plapski sobrang saktan siya dito ni Yabi and um, 1v4 down to 30 seconds remaining at mukhang this is a CPH round momentum on their side yep CPH round indeed Plapski nothing much to do here low HP na rin oh, siya na sa iPhone again with a multi kill Ganda ng hinold niya ng angle dun sa bin. Naka-off angle lang siya. Tamang tungtong lang dun sa may parang trolley. Then, yun nga, napaka-unexpected na yun. And, good hold coming from CPH. Pero yung A, yung ARAM talaga. Kanina pa hirap na hirap yung NIP eh. Once in mo, counter UT lang yung ginagawa ng uh, CPH. Tapos, pick agad nung off si Nico dos. Then, nakaka-hold na sila ng angle. So, kailangan talaga makuha ng NIP yung ARAM. Kailangan nila masolusyonan yan. Either early round or mid round. Meron, dito na nga sila babawi sa may B-RAM. Oh. Labas lang nang labas dito. Ayun, may happy. No, hindi niya makuha na nga doon. But, Saipo na tagpa dito. Good spam sa may wood. Pero, not enough para mapatay si uh, Saipo dito. So, uh, man advantage for NIP. Ngayon lang ata natin to nakita at this early. 30 seconds pa lang yung nalalagas dito. And, uh, Five man takes sa may ramp. Oh, Delgado si uh, Ro dito. Siya yung ano eh. Um, kukuha na muna ng info on the city side. Well, uh, katuloy niya rin si Nico. Tapos hindi siya ma-check. And oh no, mas nauna pa nga doon si Bro. Lambat na trade. Maaga agad doon na uh, kay Nico. Do, sa 4v3 situation, man advantage for NIP. Hindi na agad makapag-back dito yung offer ng CPH. It's, um down to 2v3. Dito sa ating uh, round 2, first overtime. CPH will go for the retake. Dalawa. Tignan natin kung paano ba. And up uh, Roland with the uh, good spam or um, smoke kill to take down Zyphon. So si Huxi ang pinakapag-asa dito na sa lesihan. Or feel ko expected na nasa smoke ko lang. But Huxi with the ball bang doon kay S-Tag. Dalawa yung low. Hindi niya expect si Broland. Nagkasali silang sila doon sa may um, smoke. And a uh, 16 to 16 ang ating uh, first overtime. Yup mong nasolusyon na nga ng NIP yun. No? Ang gin... Kanina pa sila sa hiram hiram na hiram. So, iniwan muna nila yon and kinuha muna nila yung hiram. Which is, alam nila, mahilig talaga mag-push yung players ng CPH doon. Either Yabi or Zyphon. But, yun na nga, napanish na si Yabi doon. Getting that first kill. A lot of space for CPH and overpowering hiram. Doon na sila nakabawi doon. Ito na naman si Plopski. Ang bilis dito sa may hiram. Nag-cross lang siya doon. Pero, took a lot of damage. Okay na yung uh, 14 damage niya kasi auto dink na yan or auto headshot na yan for CPH. Pwedeng pwede na yun. Mm -hmm. Let's see kung NIP medyo, tingin natin kung gano'n sila ano no? Gano'n karami yung baon nila dito sa nila nga T-side. Nakakaubos yun eh. Tapos nadala mo pa sa overtime. Yup. Paano kaya nila um, tatatagan tong uh, T-side nila or para malangamangan dito yung CPH. Nikodos again playing it um, aggressively with this op going for the tag. Dalawa collateral sana yun or Natag nga lang, medyo delikado but si Res pa yung una mapipitas with the low HP, hindi talaga sila or hindi sila papatinag dito sa ating A-Rab Nico Dos still going for the frag, mainit na mainit while well, Esitag, hindi siya mga or wala siyang vision dito sa ating ramp sobrang galit na galit na si Nico Dos dito grabe yung hold nyo naspaman na pero hindi sila umaalis so let's see dito sa ating B-Ramp NIP pa rin and um CPH again um uh, sila sila naman yung uh, mag-hold para lang hindi malason yon ng uh, NIP with the man advantage full um, set P dito may kasama pang Molotov sa may mood oh. on delicate si uh, B uh, with the A1S let's see Brolan with the entry 24 seconds Huxi with the trade doon kin hampus but si Yabi yung pinaka um, problema ng uh, NIP dito plus kin nalilito kasama yung mga balang uh, tumitilapon and uh, si Tag Yung offer pa nga yung natira, wala na magagawa. 16 to 17 and CPH with the lead dito sa ating uh, first half. Yup. Papi, ganda ng ginagawa ng CPH ngayon. And uh, really, the problem here for NIP is yung ARAM. Wala talaga sila makuha space doon. Sobrang alam na alam ng uh, 
CPH kung saan sila pupunta and makakapag-ready nga naman pala sila talaga ng setup dun since may idea na sila kung saan pupunta talaga tong NIP and yun nga B-site totally lockdown dun for CPH ganda ng anchor ni Abby maaasahan talaga siya dyan and wala nang napanish ng early rounds dun sa may side ng CPH kung baga naiwasan na nila magpapitas no then again may, may map control pa rin naman sila at the same time so lamang sila ngayon sa first OT natin Kasi, kung makakabawi ang NIP dito. Looking at the map pools, um, map 1 vertigo, grabe kala ko, ano eh, CPH ano na, um, oh. strong map na talaga. Pero kita mo naman yung nangyari. Overtime pa nga sa best map ng CPH. And uh, let's see dito, naka-off pa rin si Esitag, papal T-side man or uh, CT. But uh, Rose, sobrang aggressive niya pre Magkalayo or wala siyang katry dyan If ever man, si Yabi doon sa kabila oh. Tibidas na isa, taking down ng um, Yabi Para kay Brolan 4v4 situation Si Ro Hoping na makakalasong siya dito at makaka off guard Sa may ramp But yung Molotov and si Rez mo, aware na aware sila no? And Hooksy, may info na dito si Brolan Oh, yung POV Brolan and Hampus, papatay sa NIP in a 4v2 Delikado yung CPH, si Ro kanina pag gumagapang pero ngayon pala siya makakapitas. Taking down dress, man advantage para sa ngayon sa CT side and um, nalaga sana yung ano, ano, kung naantay pa ni Ro. Yep. Kasi nauna na yung mga, yung mga B players, dun sila na punish. Yep, puro contact nga nangyari dito sa CPH and then trades. Napakabilis naman dito for the side of NIP so it's gonna be... 3v2 situation ni Kudos. May op pa rin siya. Against AC tag naman. Meron pa naman silang smoke dito. And one flash. Pupwede pa yan para makapasok ng side. But Ru, is he aware na may flank na dito? Ganto ka aga. Smokes. Incoming sa may A side. Left side smoke. And Brola na huli na nga si Rodo. Not expecting that early lurk. Early flank. And AC tag will seal that round. It's gonna be 17 to 17. Tain na dito. Sa second OT. Nakabawi agad yung NAP doon. Eh. And uh, Naku, T-side na ulit yung CPH frame. Pwede nga makapag-adjust agad yun. Tapos magulat ulit yung NIP. Kung baga, sa na sa CPH na pinapakiramdaman muna nila yung setup, yung rotations. Tapos, na nga, siguro tenes lang nila yung default nila dun. Sayang, di gumana. But, better defense coming from NIP. So, uh, oh, default day again or A-ram partake. Good smoke. Walang makikita doon si Nico Dos. Eh, si Tag will just... Oh, ayaw rin ibigay ng NIP, no? Yup. Oh, no, no, isang spam lang. Eh, rest na kung hindi nakita doon si Ro. In a 4v5 situation, eh, si Tag hindi lang siya or hindi man lang siya nakatrade dito kay pa, uh, para kay Rez. In a flash, ang kakainin ng A players ng NIP. CPH, mabilis ang take lang. Naku ba, delegado. Hindi natin masabi na CPH mas malakas ba sa T-side. No way na ganito nila kaaga matik yung um, A ramp and the wall of smoke naman yung sagot sobrang clear at uh, libreng libre yung pagplant dito ng um, CPH and the spam grabe through the smoke but oh, oh with the spray transfer hoping na may 3k pa nga dun 2v3 situation the flank para kay Yabi with plubs KT oh. siya aware na nandula si Yabi sa likod niya usarap niya taking down ano from Mulan Ano pre? Man, ganun kakate ngayon yung CPH. Yun ang sinasabi. Kaya hari, bigla na lang bawat POV. Lahat ng players may um, ginagawa dito sa buong mapa. Pre, kung baga nung first round, okay lang. Try natin tong default. Tingnan natin kung yung mga setup nila. But this time around, CPH with that excellent round. Kita mo naman yung pwesto ni Rodon. Having full command sa post-plot situation. Getting two. Nakatrade naman si Bro Lando, but that was not enough para makaretake sila doon. Oh, an early pick coming from Nico Dos dito sa may B ramp. Napakabilis naman dyan and uh, tamang pakiramdaman lang sa may A ramp. Normal na situation na yan. Yung dalawang smokes na yan, lagi natin nakikita yan. And a slow play for A, but a heavy B. Oh, Ro! What? Nakaisa pa si Ro doon? Siya na lang mag-isa doon na yun. Saka yung IJ sign na wala. And also, yeah, B opening the B site dito sa ating um, map. Point ng CPH and let's see 3v5 situation ni Abby Maiisa niya ba dito si Brolan? Brolan got Molotov dito sa ating generator area Eh si Tag with the op Hindi talaga siya nakapatay ng op niya Kailangan niya at least bumitas But the splash Kailangan balabasin ni Brolan dito 
So, pinang makalasom, ba't mauna si Yab, binaligaw si Brolan dun sa generator area natin, eh si Tag and Res, may kasama pa, oh, no. Flap, and CPH, mukhang naglulok forward na na makuha oh. tong map natin, Res, with the A1S, hoping to save or to survive this round para sa NIP, and a clean up, clean round, para lang makuha yung 19th round, and the CPH, Makukuha pa rin nila yung uh, map pick, no? Which is a vertigo. Yup. Ito nga, CPH. Nag-T-side na ulit sila. Naramdaman na nila na... Kumbaga, naramdaman na nila kung ano yung mga kailangan nilang gawin for... Mm -hmm. I mean, against NIP. Yung first round, okay lang yun. Nananalo sila dun. Kumbaga, tinry na nila yung default. Binabasa lang nila yung setups. Tinitingnan nila kung gaano kabilis mag-rotate yung NIP. And ayun na nga. Last two rounds nung no, second OT nakadali yung CPH doon. Kita mo, perfect lahat ng ginawa nila, pre. Yung post plan sa A, yung biglang uh, bihit dito. Uh, uh, bonus kill for Row doon sa A. Alam natin na lurk yan. And, nakaisa pa siya doon, idol. Mm -hmm. Ito ng entries ng CPH. Dami opening, no? Oo, pre. Kung baga sabay yung contact nila, sabay nagka-pressure both sides. So, walang idea naman talaga kung saan pupunta doon since same uh, sides ng map may nabawasan na player so medyo nagulat siguro dun yung NIP di sila handa sa mga contact contact yeah, place nila so it's gonna be CP is for that first map hindi nung laban sir pre, yung last round so, that's so brutal for the side of NIP yung oh. ginawa dun nila yabi no oh, pati yung kay hero sila yung agad yung nakita mo sa, ano, eh, sa kill mm, fit eh totoo. and um, nung nalaman po lang yun kung NIP fan ka oh, oh. wala na to Oh. Bawi parang ano to Bansi to Bansi oh. to sa map to Yung map to natin yep. Will be Ano map to natin? Ay. Parang um, ano ata Ano map to natin direct? Oo oh, basta yun Ano ba map to natin dyan? <laughs> ano, napahanap din kami <laughs> Nakalimutan din natin And grabe yung laban Overpass Yun Both sides, um, marunong doon sa overpass. Pwede And uh, mag-expect tayo sa ano naman dito sa NIP, no? Uh -huh. Kasi kung Pwede. paano yung innovation ng CPH kagabi, kung paano nila talonin yung sinus doon. So, Pwede parang pray, ganda. Pero malay mo, may mga baon pa yung CPH. Di ba yung molly talaga? Ito ang tuwa talaga ako nun kasi bago na naman sa paningin natin and talaga man viral siya sa viral eh tapos sa sa, sa ba, YouTube ba yun sa TikTok ata YouTube ata, Twitter yung mga TikTok alam ko eh mm -hmm. and uh, you know ah, guys um NA or um, CPH yung mga kuha nung uh, map 1 natin which is a vertigo map 2 overpass na uh, overpass naman tayo yeah. and uh, for us we'll be having a short break hindi to dahil sa Fosfire Gaming don't go away This is Keanu Reeves, and welcome to Rush Lane. Rush Lane is a new intense multiplayer racing game where you can compete against real players to win real money. Set in the towering crime-filled metropolis of Hub City, here champions put their life on the line for glory, power, and riches in the ultimate death race known as the Rush Lane. How does it work? Simple. Pay a small stake to jump into the next race. All the stakes go into the prize pool, so the more players, the more money there is to win. Once enough players join, the race is on. Races last just a couple of minutes and are fully automated. Rush Lane is driven by our unique physics-based randomness engine. Starting positions, track segments, and traps 
are all randomly generated and we've tested over 10,000 races to ensure no player has any advantage over another. Cheer on your racer as they scream down the winding city streets and through mysterious alternate worlds filled with dangerous traps and pitfalls. The first player to cross the finish line wins the biggest share of the prize pool. But don't worry, the top few finishes are also in the mix to win. The exact number of winners will change depending on how many players were in the race. The more players, the more winners. Rush Lane is live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so you can jump into the action anytime you want. Good luck out there, racers. Only on Rivalry.
And we are back din sa official Filipino broadcast ng PGL EURMR Group P yep. sa ating, um, dito sa Focus Fire Gaming and uh, kami pa rin maging caster niya for this series, this Kenoid. And this is now po. Yep, and you know nga guys, PS of 3 between NIP versus um, Copenhagen Flames pa rin. CPH, nakuha nila yung mapa nila. Yep. No? Pero this time, pag-usapan naman natin, overpass yung mapa naman ng NIP and wala eh 50-50 map pa rin I might say no hindi, hindi siya ganun kalinis na ano na mapa for NIP feel ko ganun kainit yung CPH kanina feel ko kaya rin nila nakawin tong ano eh tong mapa ng NIP yup mahirapan dito yung NIP do for CPH sa saan nila yung momentum ngayon ah, saan nila yung pressure sa NIP and uh, pwede talaga magtuloy-tuloy yung init ng CPH knowing na yung firepower yung capabilities nila talaga nag-show off kanina kita mo naman Si Riz tsaka si Brolan, pinipitas mo lang, okay ka lang pre. <laughs> Alam mo yung mga ganito. Yung ano, yung crouch pick ni Nico dos pre, na ginawa ni... Yung kumuha na ulit? Si, si, si Zyphon ba? Oo, or... oh, si Zyphon. Si, si, sa may B-side. Si B-side si Grabe yung ano, yung parang pinasa ni Nico dos yun. Okay. Yung A1 is ganun, ganun na pala pumik, no? Parang yung same, pa yung meta. Same yung style nila sa pag-hold na oh. angle, eh, no? And yung gumagalaw ng onte habang hmm. nakakrouch yun. Yun na nga, power, firepower, usapang firepower, talagang hmm. palag yung CPH pre and gulat place nandun rin eh nandun din tapos um, trades di ba yeah. si Ro nung T-side nila nung uh, first half pa lang hindi pa nagkakaroon ng overtime siya yung uh, uh, nagkitake ng initiative na makapush or maka-info dun sa yeah. may A-ramp but uh, yun nagbunga lahat nung uh, paghihirap niya dun oh. siya, siya lang lagi umangat eh kung makaisa man siya dun okay okay pero kakalma yung ano eh ibang players ng uh, CTPH Yes sir, but then Ikodos, Zyphon, titingnan natin kung mainit pa rin sila dito ngayong uh, second map na. So it's gonna be overpass, NIP, T-side naman dito, couple of UTs, smoke in a flash lang yung in-invest nila dito. Pero uh, CPH, meron siyang defuse kit dito sir. Pwede to, oh, default play from NIP. Ah, uh, binigay lang muna yung A, yung A ng buong buong muna for... Uh, NIP, no? Nag-stack B sila, parang uh, nakarap na sila ng rush B mm-hmm. yata doon, pre. Parang tamang hard read, hard read lang muna earlier on. But Five again, man. A three man. Free aggression coming from mm-hmm. CPH dito. Yapi. Hindi expected. Take the pack. Oh! Dito sa may bala na NIP. Gets the press. Oh! A two kay coming from Min. A three kay coming from Yapi. What? Yabi. Dito ang players Yabi. ng NIP having a hard time. But Brolan, ceiling oh. that um, kills ni um, Yabi taking at uh, equalizer. 2v2 situation dito sa ating round 1. Yapi. Hook C and Nico dos. Para ngayon sa CPH. Huwag nyo sayangin yung frags ni Yabi doon. Tatlong kill na yun. Sobrang lean sa USP niya. Hindi yep. malang nag... Hindi uh, malang nag-shake yung aim. Doon mm-hmm. sa ano. Sa dalawang napitas niya. Sadyang nag-trade-an lang na mapilisan. Oo. Sadyang trade, trade lang ni Bro. Ang eh. din ni Bro lang eh. Bist yep. ng reaction. And also yung trade niya. But uh, NIP. Maranako ba ba itong uh, round nila? Or good recovery yun para kay Brolan. But the info is there. Nico Dos. Um, di, siya, uh, di siya alam. Dito sa may uh, B-shirt area. And possible fast plank, uh, fast plank agad doon. No? Feverman Hooksy will uh, buy some time. Dito lang sa may A-site. And Nico Dos ready na nga sa pick or sa yeah. backstab niya nga dito. And let's see kung tatama pa rin siya. Okay. Shinur kill na. But the time is enough para lang ma-plant yung bomb. Doon lang pininasa sa smoke and the spam dito, Brolan. Down to uh, low HP. Kailangan nila pitasin yung isang guy which is si um, Hooksy. Kaso wait lang mong expect din ni Hooksy. Na kailangan nga pumitas dito ng uh, NIP. And kailangan ma-defuse ng CPH2. No? Yung si Hooksy, nasa kanya yung kit. Yap, oh my hirapan God. sila dito. Wala lang ano to. No? Si Hooksy, hindi siya makaangat eh. Mo nakita ata. But the punish is there. Brolan pa rin ang pipitas. Nico dos na lang matitira. Hindi niya hawak yung kit. Nandun yung kill, but Brolan, buhay na buhay pa rin. Para lang um, makuha itong uh, round. Oh! oh, clean tap. Okay. Parang ngayon uh, kay Nico Dos. <laughs> Grabe, nakangiti na dito si Brolan, no? Both teams, wala namang bali sa ginawa nila doon. Talagang um, nagkagapangan doon sa may A area, sa may party. WC, WC contact ginawa ng CPH doon with the aggression. And Yabi getting three. 3 heads ng uh, NIP but Brolan masyado mabilis sa trades nga lang so naging 2v2 yung situation ganda nung pagkalaro nila sa postland na yun getting that full control sa may dumpster area and bank area so it's gonna be 1-0 lamang na NIP but then 
a force ba yata dito for CPH? Oh, may rifle si Ro. Eh, na-setup. Oh. Ah, nag-boost lang sila. Okay, good idea coming from CPH. But they will speak. It's my connector. Spotting oh. list. Good trade coming from Ro. It's gonna be 4v4 situation. Tamang out ng si Ro dito. Okay na yung napitas niya. But he's down to 11 HP idol. Knowing that siya lang yung may armor dito. Oh. Si Zyphon din pala. No, yung armor. And Yabby. Low pa nga si Ro, no? Hop, oh, Nikodos, contact dito sa may WC. Hey, Tamang info lang. Back na siya dito and the reaction will come for CPH. Ooh, Lawak ng map control ng uh, CPH. Ooh. Hawak nila yung A-Long. Ito sa itong uh, WC area, ready nga lang sa rotation. Doon yung B-Shirt guy ng um, CPH down to a uh, minute. Sa ating round 2, ay magpalaso ng NIP, no? Sila yung nakuha ng first round. But hampus, red sa swing. Kaso Zypho na mas matibay doon. Dalawang um, low sa side naman ng CPH. 11 and 10 na HP. Para dito sa dalawang players nila. 3v4 situation. Um, still NIP. Struggling na maka-forward dito. But uh, okay, that kill. To make it a 3v3. Bro lang pa rin yung naging step up doon. And uh, A take na nga ata dito, no? With the smoke and molotov. Sa may truck, may kasama pang nades. And a Plopski with a good entry. Taking down Yabi. 3v or 3v2 situation. Oh, the uh, Mac-10. Doon ni Zyphon. Medyo nakatulog ato yung A1 na siya doon. And Nikos, uh, Niko doon sa lang matitira. Dito sa ating uh, round and brawlan. Oh my gosh. Ginamit na naman yung mga upo-upo sa smoke na yun. NIP. 2-0 oh, ha. Parang pinapakita nila na bahay talaga nila tong overpass. Mapik. And, uh, also, brawlan. Stepping up dito sa first two rounds natin. Checking on his name. He has seven on the board. It's gonna be 2-0 for NIP. Momentum is on their side. Wasak na wasak pa dito. Force play na CPH. And, uh, it's gonna be full USP and uh, one flash. Oh. Ay, makakita tayo ng one flash uh, push dito. Mm -hmm. And um, CPH, they're leaning towards B. And Klopski, mabilis lang dito sa may B short. Getting full of full control of that area and a good default naman kami from NIP no very cautious lang sila niingatan lang nila mga baril nila and making sure na walang pushes from all sides of the map yan naman yung pwestuhan nila isa sa may playground isa sa may A ramp one connector one B short and one B long so all parts of the map are covered for NIP and CPH kailangan nilang sulitin yung isang flash nila dito since one opportunity lang yan for CPH para man lang makaisa or dalawa and uh, makakuha ng barrel pwede pang uh, mabawi ito ng CPH if ever isang flash lang oh ganda nung uh, flash nila dun and pwede mag stack si sila no na ding si Hampus <laughs> natakot doon sa USP saktong sakto lang good dink at uh, NIP nag-aalangan pa rin makakumit dito sa ating uh, B-Site and Plopski with the Galil um, siya yung first guy na mag-e-entry ngayon dito sa may B if ever ban Di, di, di enough yung info nila dito, no? Full USPs against the rifles. Bulag na bulag dito, but Nico does gets one. Rezen Brolan din naman, nasasagot, sasaga, oh, sarin dito sa may B. Eh, si Tag with the ball bang. Only yeah, be left for the side of um, CPH. Wala siyang hawak na barrel dito. USP lang against rifles ng NIP. And a possible. Malinis na 3-0 pa rin, no? Um, this time naman, NIP. Yung muna makakalamang ng 3 and oh kanina, um, CPH ata yun, eh. Yep. Uh, NIP, hirap na hirap kanina no first half. No? Uh, like slow, start, slow start sila doon. And this time naman sa map 2, sila yung unang lalamang. And also, eh, si Tag, win and off na dyan against Nico Dos, which is may off din. So, tingnan natin kung sino yung unang magiging aggressive dito or sino yung unang makakapitas. For... May take well off si Nico Dos dito, pre, you know? Yep. Parang kay Nico Dos na to eh. Let's see kung maka early pick ba siya. Diyo sa ating uh, mid, very risky position but the off angle and the flick, hindi magkukunit. Tagging down ng um, eh, si Tag doon sa utilities. Hindi expected na papush siya agad dito. Hawak pa ni Nico doon yung party. Dito ng um, CPH and let's see. Um, no contact pa rin but uh, roll na kaysa agad and quick trade lang para kay um, eh, si Tag. 4v4 situation. Low HP si uh, S tag but Nico Dos grabe sobrang asim pa rin hindi expected nandito lang yung upper ngayon na nga CPH the upper talagang uh, ayaw ibigay itong mid area impossible mapanis siya pa nga dun laki ng info niya dun sa mid, -mid. Mm -hmm. and knowing that wala ng pressure nga dun sa may mid area pwede na mag 3B setup ng CPH na yun na nga 
NIPR rotating dito sa may bilong the smoke just in time para madelay dito yung exec ng NAP down to 45 seconds remaining and CPH mo kung may idea na kung saan pupunta yung NAP dito pero naka 2-2 setup pa lang sila flash dito mas may B side pero wala naman nag react na players dito daw angle design for CPH up another angle dito na naman for CPH tingnan natin kung makapas oh, okay. Nikodos with a good entry game dito against oh. Oh, Arifi coming from Nikodos Gets all sides of Bilong and Zaipun. Tamang sa lang dito. Gets Hampus. So it's gonna be their first round. Same. Same, uh, same ano, no? Scenario. Mm -hmm. Kanina sa Vertigo. 3-0. Tapos ito, um, mahabol na ulit. 3-1. Pinatalo ng uh, first 3 rounds, which is itong CPH. Again, a good doll. Then Nico Dos, sobrang consistent na ng op niya all throughout the map. Um, one, di, nadala niya ulit dito sa map 2, no? So... Big ano to um, Madadala niya yung team, teams niya Or yung teammate niya dito sa ano Matchup natin So let's see Row with the aggression Dito sa may mid Sa so, talagang uh, si Row yung ano Yung pinapakawalaan nila Going for the info play But Plopski The timing Yabby yeah, oh. Kaka-clear lang dun ni Plopski Sobrang ganda ano na timing ni Yabby no? Naging ita 5v4 And a 5v3 Row din makakapita So wala man lang trade doon si Hampus Di niya alam din kung saan na galing no? And rest with the tight angle Killing Nico Dos Second guy Mukha expected niya rin Because uh, mag magmumoli siya dito sa may uh, connector area natin And a man advantage nga for um, city side and I think din na sila makaangat dito. Pre, look at the map kung saan namatay yung dalawang players dito ng uh, NIP, no? Sa B short and oh, oh. oh my god, siniilip lang at si Ro yung namatay doon. Shadow at ang uh, kumulit do si Ro. So, 3v3, very um recoverable okay. round para ngayon sa NIP, no? Low din si Res, possible siya yung paunahin ng NIP while uh, CPH kila nila kalmahan. Isang guide lang siguro yung uh, uminfo dito para sa kanila. Meron hawak naman nila yung uh, B short and nalitay ng info ni Zyphon dito sa may uh, B favor man Zyphon. Um, mag magawa niya pa rin kanina yung mga multi kills. Oh no, na it's like it. Ures, ayun, sakto lang sumilip din si Zyphon doon. And 3v2, it Yung pick dito, hoping for the sandwich but uh, Hampus medyo na late na sa trade. He has no time to plant the bomb or uh, he has. He has it. And um, dalawa yung mga kalaban niya dito But the uh, 4 seconds Expect na uh, fully plant na yun And oh, yeah. Yabi Winning that round for the side of CPH 2 to 3 ang ating score Again um, City pa rin no Parang strong side na dito nung uh, CPH Yup uh, Gumagana na dito yung mga mid round Re-aggressions ng CPH And yung contact play Medyo nadadali yung NIP doon And Yung timing talaga nasa side ng CPH yan. Kita mo naman Yabby pushing down the B-short. All alone without UT. Walang flashes yun. Dry pick lang ginawa niya doon. Pero bawas sa mga yung NIP. And it's gonna be a Nico round. For NIP. Tamang pick lang doon si uh, Ro. Wala siya may kita. And he knows that ikot tong kalaban nila. Kailangan nila mag, uh, maging passive dito. Just getting that early info lang naman yung objective. No? So it's gonna be third. Um, uh, Lagas na agad yung 30 seconds dito. Marami naman map control yung NIP and uh, tamang readjustment lang ng setups nila dito. Kung baga binigay na lang ganyan yung A-shirt since close angles yan. Mahirap naman talaga kasi labanan yung pistols kung uh, mm. close angles. no So good decision. 3A setup na and an off. Tag si Res. Dito sa main map. Yup. Of HP. Pero nakatawad pa rin no, since naka-close yung uh, NIP din sa may uh, WC area natin. Here comes the re-smoke doon sa may monster. Again, um, NIP or um, CPH, nag-aalangan pa dito sa um, WC or hoping na, or aware na aware sila no, na possible mag-push nga dyan yung uh, NIP. And let's see ngayon, the Deagles versus the uh, full rifles ng um, CPH. Oh, convert kaya nila into a round or um, mababawi kaya na yung momentum but the flash is there and Nico does with the off also leg tag lang yon and hampos with the trade naman doon para kay Essie tag making it a 4v2 situation hampos yung plopski na lang matitira again the nade and the duel ngayon na CPH but the plant is there and hampos with the top winnable okay ni clash this round kaso nga lang Zyphon with that jumping uh, info 
to take down Hampus, 3 or um, tatlo yung buhay sa side ng uh, CPH. And again, yung momentum or yung 3 straight rounds talaga, kuwaan lang eh. Feel ko NIP naman next so. Ah, <laughs> Parang ano lang eh, palitan. Uh, lang. palitan. Tsaka ang ganda, ganda rin nung um, barrel dito ng NIP, wala well, uh, CPH. If magtuloy-tuloy yung ganun nga hold nila, eh no good discipline no. Hindi sila masyado ano eh, uh, um, magulo sa mga pwesto, sa mga angles na in-hold nila. Yep, good anti-ego dun for CPH. Ganda ng mga mid-round adjustment nila ng setup nila. And the rotation was just in time. Expected nga talaga nila na mag i NIP dun. Pero nevertheless, NIP. Ganda ng pinakita nila nung eco round na yun. Nakapatay sila ng dalawang players ng CPH. Bawas economy yan. Possible na makulangan sila ng UT next round. Ito na nga, mukhang kulang-kulang yung UT nila. Kulang ng isang flash. Yep. Good run na for NIP kasi nakapag-clad na sila din. Clad na rin yun. Nakapitas na rin ng dalawa. So, it's gonna be 3-3 na, sir. Mabilis naman nung mapagtay natin dito. Di talaga pinapala yun, no? Both sides. Digitan lang at oh. wala talaga nakakuha ng momentum. Salita. Technically, no? Uh, mapamapuan man dito sa ating uh, first um, half. So, A1S. Uh, map control. Lang ginagawa dito ng uh, NIP while well, uh, CPH tamang react lang din sa ginagawa nila. Tingnan natin kung paano setup na gagawin dito ng uh, CPH and um, P-Short Control or B-Short Take naman. Dito yung NIP, Plopsky. Again, na full AK is yung hawak nila. Possible na makanakaw sila or mabigla nila itong uh, CPH sa may uh, B-Site. No? CPH, ang dami pa rin nila ng utilities. Batanico dos si Yasta Info na may tao oh, hoping for that flick masyadong uh, real or unrealistic yung ginawa doon ni uh, Nico dos sobrang tapang and row feel ko expected na la dito sa may um, party since kanina pa si Jan but yung timing niya dito oh, umangat pa sa may na. table minalas pa nga yung swing niya doon um, nasira yung crosser <laughs> oo nga in 3v5 situation NIP sa lang yung nakaramdam ng sakit dito which is AS tag um, mara lang mapatay si Row Basag yung A or uh, mid-aggression ng CPH. Delikado ngayon yung um, CPH, no? Pwede pa bang uh, ma-recover to? Yep, Siguro, yep, dalawa. Pati itong B-side. Hmm, pati iba yan. Uh, swimming. My God. Oh! So, oh wait, wait lang, Zyphon. Ako, napakatibay dito. Hoping for that spray transfer at 3K doon sa B-side. Well, yeah, B. The A1S. Yes, the kit as well. But uh, NIP hindi pa nagpo-push or talagang uh, sinisecure nila. Kinala nila yung kalaban or katapat nila dito. Down to 10 seconds remaining. And rest, he'll get punished. And yung swing nasa na? Kaso nga na plant dito. Oh! Kuyabi! The collateral. The collateral shot. And masyadong pangat yung angle na hinawakan doon nung ano, nung dalawang B-shirt player. Yep. Hindi sila, ano, hindi sila umangat. So hindi pa rin nila kita yung... If ever man na, ayun nga, si Yabi, mag-swing lang doon sa bridge. Wala agad enough trade. And low HP nga, hindi pa tinangke. Oh my God. Ang ako, NIP round na yun. Ang oh. ganda na nung uh, mid round ng NIP. Ang ganda na mga gapang nila. Ang ganda na mga pag-check nila sa mga angles na usually na tinatake nga na itong CPH. But then again, Yabi taking that shot. Stepping up again. Dito naman na ulit sa overpass, sir. Diba? Overpass. Overpass siya nag-init nun with a oh. 1.67 rating. Yup. Against the si sinners Lang ngayon. naman. Lang naman. So ngayon, si Yabi pa rin. Nag-step up para sa kanyang team. And NIP. Medyo ano yun ha. Tilting round para sa kanila. No? Yep, tilting Ganun round. na silang uh, tinalo. Since, wala eh. Nagkaroon na rin ng pressure dahil sa time. Hmm. Pan advantage yun sila dun. 5v3 siguro kung naswarm nila ng maayos yung site or naseta nila ng maayos yun. Could have been a much different story. Pero... Ganda nung hold ni Zyphon. Pre, nakadalawa siya doon and nalow niya pa yung isa. Napaka uh, napakalaking damage na yun para to give Habi a uh, chance nga para makapag-clutch that round. And an A-long take dito sa NIP. Wala masyadong info yung uh, CPH kung may binong ba talaga sila. Pero a good reaction. Nakapag-stack na sila dito sa may A-site. And the re-aggression coming from Nico Dos. Dito sa may WC area holding the tight angle. Parang nga naman di makakross dito yung NIP at NIP are planning to retake WC area. Mukhang nga uh, delubi yung mga kasalubong nila dito. Ang ganda ng pwesto ng both players. Makakisa ba? Oh! That Nico Dos is too close dito para kay Bumplan. Oh, the timing! 
Nakita yung bond barrel na row. Tamang-tama lang yung close angle niya dito para masalo yung... Ayun lang. Nikodos na Nikodos. Good trade dito para kay Esitag. Napakabilis lang. Napos sa ilong. Oh no. Nikodos takes down Nikodos. Wala na yung open nila. But Yabi too fast dito para sa Lurk. 2v1 situation. Hapos lang natitira. Isang dink na lang sa kanya dito. Tulog na siya. And a bomb drop. Mahihirapan dito si Hapos. Oh, Sinunan nga na good swing coming from Mavi. Yabi pa rin. Di the double digit frag. Sa ating, uh, sa ating uh, first half, delikado pa yun ha. Yung kay Rowe, no? Ano eh, tiwala na dapat pag si uh, Nikodos yung nag-hold dun, no? Nag-repo ba siya? Napasama pa yung repo niya dun? Pero buti na lang, andyan si Yabi. Para lang um, yung round mapunta pa rin sa side ng CPA. So, 5 to 3 ang ating uh, score. NIP, hindi ganun kaganda yung economy nila. Hindi rin masyado nakakapatay ngayon si Propsky. Yep. No? Wala silang... Um, um, B-side presence din. Kukulang sila sa ganun eh. Ang ganda na sana ng saluhan ng NIP. Ang ganda sana ng trades na. Pero, di enough eh. Ang bilis masyado ni Javi dun sa Lurk. Tamang-tama lang yung timing niya kung kailan siya i-in for or kailan siya tutulong sa mga teammates niya. And ayun nga, masyadong malaki yung nabigay nilang map control dun for CPH. Knowing na nakapag-A-stack na sila, tatlo na yung players na tumabay doon sa may A eh, na nakapag re-aggress pa nga so that's gonna be tough for NIP knowing na si Nico doon yung nakabantay doon sa WC area kumbaga matik may mapipitas at may mapipitas doon eh so full of tech nines or upgraded pistols pero may mga utility yung NIP oh, very interesting um, talaga itatry nila itong uh, kahit na low buy sila well CPH feel ko kanina pa to eh sobrang aware na sila sa mga Sobrang lockdown na eh. Malaisig yun na dito sa ano. Sa city side nila. And a row. With the info. Again, sila na uh, Nico Dos yung duo dito sa may uh, A. Tingnan natin kung gagana pa rin ba sila. And let's see. Row without uh, one kill. Taking down Brolan. 5v4 situation. Lagas na isa dito yung NIP. But uh, hindi malang nagamit yung um, utilities dito. Wala na agad sila isang... Uh, wala na silang agad na player. Si Brolan pa yun. Nakailangan magpainit. One minute left. Mukhang B um, or A side take ang gusto dito na ngayon ng NIP. Knowing na CPA siya. Hawak yung buong B short. And dito na nga dire. Diretso na res. Makakaisa ba with the tech 9. Ganda nung flash. Kasi yung trade ni Plopsky and Nico. Dos. Sobrang tibay lang dito sa may truck. Yabi with the trade. Esitag, a good for plant pero hindi pa pinagbigyan doon ni Hook C 6-3 ang ating score. Oh my gosh. DPH. Ito, diretso na naman yung 3 rounds. Okay, three. ano ba? NIP ba ulit? Ganun oh. ba ang uh, dito? Yung bola natin? Parang uh, are we seeing a pattern ba dito? Parang may pattern ata. Sa laban nila. And uh, CPH, momentum is on their side and... Uh, Really, pag nag-hold sila ng uh, site, laging good for one or hindi pwede yung hindi makakaisa mm -hmm. dito. And napakalang, napakalaking bagay nga yun para sakto lang ang mga rotations ng NIP and uh, ano lang naman yun, weak guns lang naman yun. Dito na magkakaalaman, naka-off na si Esitag. Another chance for NIP to execute CPH's uh, momentum. So, um, off ni Kudos again. Ah, ganyan dito. And solong-solo niya yung A. Grabe yung tiwala dito. Oh, oh uh, unusual miss coming from Nico. Das, but the re-pick. Grabe oh, yung re-pick. Oh, sobrang yep. asan yung respect of Don. The angle is holding. And yes, it's tamang bawi dito sa mid. But it's gonna Wala, be 3 one situation. A better defense coming from CPH. Oh, so, no. Wala, Momentum breaker for the side of NIP. Oh no. Di 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 nila inexpect yung di inexpect this Brolan ba yun yung nasa ano sa mid. Wala. Yep. Ni repick eh no parang wala lang ya doon sa party area. O pre kumbaga natag mo na ha. Oo natag mo na. Tapos pumipit pa. Repick ka pa no. Oh my god. Grabe ka nga doon ni Ikodo sobrang gulang at lahat ng ginagawa niya hindi na di alam dito na NIP o the confidence. Um for this guy and let's see. Rush. May kita ba natin sa NIP dito? Um, Molotov Flashes Ang, ang babato nila dito sa may A-site And NIP, nako, Yabi Ang ganda na spam and palitan lang nila dito Ngayon ni Zyphon The duo and Hampus Hindi man lang naka isang player or kill Tamang linis nga lang yung CPH Tamang sila dito ng lima Against NIP 
and the momentum. Alam mo na, kung na kanino. Yup. Yung CPH, parang naipasa nga yung torch dito. Kitang-kita naman sa logo nila na parang mala astralis yung datingan nila eh, no? Na mm-hmm. si Ro and uh, si Nico dos. Tamang uh, asim lang lang sila sa, ma- sa early rounds eh, no? And uh, pinakamusok ko dito, hindi natatakot yung CPH na pumik against NIP. Usually kasi matatakot ka knowing that Res, Brolan, kalaba mo, tapos sila yung mga nag-alert dito. And uh, the confidence to Ripi coming from Nico Dos, napaka... Dito naman siya sa maihilong, bre. Oh, sa ilong naman si Nico oh, Dos. No. Oh, gets Brolan again. Pangalawang beses na yun, bre. Two consecutive Kailangan lang, nila si mag-team. Hindi makapasok si Brolan dito. And Res, kailangan bumawi sa may connector area. Hindi niya naman maabutan si Ro dito. And uh, bro, saktong-sakto lang yung pag-back niya dito. No, oh. na, nakaisa na sila. Man advantage for CPH and lagas na agad ng NIP and oh oy kada naman ng pawi sa galing yun quick shot dito yep. galing kay Hoxie tumalon lang ba yun parang tumalon lang yun no oh frame pinisi oh ng pangyayari parang nadilit nga lang lang hindi alam oh still race buti na lang nandoon si Siphon to catch siya para nga ma oh the pick coming from AC tag Grabe, fast kick dito. That off-angle oh, coming from Zyphon. Bawa na yan kay Estag. Naka-off siya dito. Lamang na lamang siya. It's gonna be 3v1 situation. And Bambi Estag. Almost. Oh, oh, okay. Estag. bumibilis na rin. What? Grabe yung frags na doon, ha. Sa kanya lahat. Nung kill doon sa may uh, B-site. 8 to 4. Nakakatakot pa rin. Um, CPH. Grabe yung mga bawian nila dito, eh. Kung paano i-take ng, ano, ng NIP yung uh, B-Site, di din mag ganun kalinis, may nauubos din sa kanila eh. Diba? This time, uh, mas pinili ngayon ng uh, NIP na ano, go for the contact play na lang muna. Mm, grabe yung read ni Rez sa setup ng CP. Yung paano niya niya... Niya pinatay yung dalawa, no? Oo, oh, kumontak lang siya dun. Walang ginawang UT. And kung ako, expected pa na nasa sandbag si... Kaya habi dun. And Esita getting that final kill dun sa may heaven era, sealing that round. Getting their fourth for NIP. So, apat na lang yung kaalamangan. Hindi naman masyado malayo yan. Tamang uh, momentum starter lang yung round na yun for NIP. Dito magkakaalaman kung kaya bang mag... Uh, or kung may capability ba yung NIP dito para magtuloy-tuloy. Oh, Molly para sa playground area. Nakita natin dito. And a flash from Resetag. To get an uh, initial pick dito sa mid. Na good day dito. Tag down na Resetag. Oh, na spray down dito sa may bilong. Lagas ang buhay ng NIP, Hampus and Plopski. Down to low HP agad and Nikodos. Same approach sa may Elong pero medyo late Boy, na si Esitag. Si seconds dito, Esitag not holding that angle all oh. too long. Tapos pata na si Nikodos, Nikodos dito and a lot of info for NIP and he has to go back dito. Ayaw niyong maipit siya, no? The rotation na naman. Tama mm-hmm. kung CPH, ang bilis. No? Wala mo lang lagasan sa side ng uh, CPH, no? Yup. At si Plopski, sobrang basag na yung HP niya dito. Wala, hindi pa makangat yung uh, NIP. Sa yep. T-side nila. And let's see, uh, one minute dito sa ating um, round. Nahihirapan pa ata dito yung, ano, yung uh, NIP. Isang uh, guy lang may info. Yung offer pa and that's Hampus, the IGL. Bukang basa na dito na CPH. Yep. Na si Hampus yung humiwalay. And na possible magbihit nga dito yung NIP and Paano, paano hold ba ang gagawin ng CPH? No, minsan si Yabi, siya yung pinakamalakas na mag-hold uh, ng uh, angle dito. And tingnan natin kung makailan ba siya. Holding the right angle. Okay, and dun din si Hooksy. Tamang frag lang din si Brolan. But hindi yun enough. Eh, si Tag, yung matitira ngayon. And Nico Dos, grabe yung ano niya, ano yung mga flicks. Hindi na talaga tumatama in that clean up pa rin. Kay Yabi, mapupunta yung mga frags. 9 to 4. Going for the double digit round and Yabi, no? Gamay na gamay yung overpass. 18 frags and 4 deaths. Ano mo yung patsin ko dito? Parang ang T-side approach ng CPH is, ayun nga, sabay kumukontak both sides of the map. But then NIP, very methodol, methodolical lang yung ginagawa nila dito. Isang part muna yung kinukuha nila. Minimake sure nila may trades na magaganap doon. And... Kung baka nababasa na ng CPH, kung ano yung gagalawan muna ng NIP and rotations, tamang-tama lang. Yung timing ng pag-ikot nila para support yung teammates na, oh, Plopski. Nakamit yung oh, no? Nakita niya na nag-jump spot dun sa may ABC area. And Plopski waiting for a flash yata dito sa may B, nung B-shirt lang. 
trying to make an entry or timing of good molly para mapabalik lang and hook si kailangan nila i-take tong b-shirt pre yep. kasi yung mga naka ano lang to pistol si uh, Plavsky and si tag Ayun, but uh, Plavsky may sarili siyang timing sa may uh, b and paano kaya i-clean up or uh, i-clear ng NIP tong uh, WC area natin si Row Kanina pa sila umaangat buong uh, um, rounds or halos ng rounds dito ng CPH no si Row and Nico dos yung tumatao sa so, may uh, A site well uh, info play pa rin yung mga B players ng uh, CPH NIP kaya pa naman mag uh, makapag-set B dito with that smoke couple of flashes and also Molotov Paano kaya gagawin nila dito? Wala pa namamatay. No casualties pa rin. Down to 40 seconds. But Flamsky with the CZ. Alam na Logan lang. And reading as he swing, uh, sa swing doon si Hooksy. With the 3K uh, 5v2 situation. Eh si Tag nakakuha ng AK. But may ipit siya doon ni Row And hampos with the top. Taking down Hooksy. And a 3v1. Hindi nila kailangan i-pick since yung bomba. Hindi rin naman hawak ni hampos And Nico Dos with yeah. the op. 10 rounds para sa yun na nga CPH. And isang or last round na lang dito, NIP. Nahirapan or nag-struggle sila sa T-side. Yup, nag-struggle na nga yung NIP dito. And uh, Boss Jeric, pag nakuha ng CPH to, wala nang laban mamaya. So, uh, NIP medyo nahihirapan dito sa first half nila. And City side CPH, parang komportabling komportable sila. Kita mo naman kung gumalaw sila sa mapa. Napakabilis at napakaliksi nila. Kung baga... Kung uh, alam nila kung kailan tutulong, kung sa may A, A long or A short, tamang-tama lang yung pag-fill uh, ng gapses ng uh, lapses nila eh. No? And uh, for NIP naman, parang medyo nahihinaan ako sa pag-swarm nila dun sa may B-side. Or hindi lang naman sa B-side, sa ibang area rin ng map. Parang nakukulangan ako sa tradings nila, sa spacing nila, and uh, yung timing nga ng mga map control na yan. So, Ano ba talaga yung uunahin nilang kunin? A or B? Kailangan nila matimingan to And kailangan nila mabasa yung setups ng CPH. Ito na nga. Bilis nila dito sa may middle yan na NIP. Ay, to make pressure niya. But a good flash coming from Nikodos. Oh my gosh. Lagas agad ang players ng NIP. Ito na nga yung default nila. Hindi gumagana. So, down to two players agad ng NIP. 5v3 situation. Wala pang 30 seconds. Ubus agad sila, sir. And... Yup, of course, they're leaning towards B again and CPH. The rotation coming from Hoxie. Let's see you with it just in time. Ayun nga, nahuli si Hoxie dito. Galing A pen and a good flash coming from Hoxie. Kaya pala, nahuli si Hoxie. Oh my God. 11 and 4. Pero hindi makapatay si Plopsky. So, may missing piece dito yung NIP, no? And that CT side, CPH, um... Ang magwawagi doon sa first half or lalamang talaga dito, good pondo na to, no? For um, CPH. Medyo... Po, napakalaki pondo na nga yan, no? For CPH. Kasi if ever mag T-side sila, dami nilang opportunity para mabasa yung setups ng NIP. And the uh, NIP, four rounds, kailangan nila manalo sa pistol round and masil yung first three rounds na yun, no? Second half, if gusto nilang bumabol, no? So, uh, pistol round, magsisimula na. Second half natin, mga idol, tingnan natin kung makakabawi pa ba ng uh, NIP. And, oh, two players coming from CPH, Hooksy and Nico Dos. NIP, kung gusto nilang maka-momentum pa ulit, ito na. Yung it's time to shine na mapanalo nila itong okay. pistol around. And uh, Plavsky, going for the opening kill. Dito sa may uh, monster side, well, yeah, bepre, nakita ko lang sa, ano ko, no, sa screen ko. 20 frags and 4 deaths, but rest. With the tight angle dito and Prona with the headshot dun kay Yabi Namatay agad at 5 distance na dito 4v5 situation and a massive B hit for the side of CPH Magandang trade oh lang si Esitag nalang yung natiraan Oh no, malayo pa yung panggagalingan niya Na disable pa sa may heaven area Tatlo yung kalaban niya dito, wala siyang kit And also utilities no So feeling ko, CPH will uh, play will play it secured dito sa ating um, pistol round Hindi na kailangan na ipick pa. Hindi na kailangan mag-defuse dito na SC tag. And mukhang it's gonna be around for CPH. Ayun na nga. Jump, mm -hmm. jump, jump, jumping plaque ko for SC tag na lang dun. Wala na siya magagawa. Apat yun. Na nakapang sure na pwesto. Kita mo naman, peak of contact lang sila lahat dun. And uh, 
Ayun nga, ganda ng pistol raw nila. Napakasimple lang naman ng idea. Burst bilang naman yun. But the flashes coming from Nico dos. Doon talaga pumalag eh. Ang ganda ng uh, flashes niya doon sa may back pillar. Mm -hmm. Lighting those players na nasa water and be short area. So, UT naman yung naging edge ng CPH doon. And uh, of course, timing na rin ng burst nila. So, it's gonna be a full eco for NIP. Kailangan na kailangan kasi nila ng pera. And, may uh, Sobrang kala ng milagro. Back 10 pa. Well, back 10 ni Yabi. Ito si Yabi dito. Oh, Only dalawa. Only two. So, back 10 will be dropped. 3v4 situation. Resist to. Hindi ka pa mamatay, no? And the tag kay Brolan. Uy! Ang MP5 dito. Or yung stapler gun ni Zyphon. Yep. Making it a 4v2 situation. And look at the lead. Para sa'yo na nga si APH, no? Walang gun si Hampus and Res. Sobrang lamang sa round na to ng um, CPH. Let's see kung uh, last 3 rounds na ba sa kanila or makukuha na ba nila itong mga pick ng NIP. Bila silang lumakas sa overpass, no? Simula okay. dun sa laban nila against Sinners. Siguro na ano na, na... Na boost na yung confidence. Na boost na, na breakdown na dito yung or nahimay na yung overpass ng CPH. Pwede, pwede. Yan na yun. Safe plant. Hoping na lang na makanakaw ng rifle dito si Hampus. Low rin naman si Rez, wala siyang magkakawa. He has, uh, he has the U uh, USP lang dito sa round. Low HP rin sa kanya. Grabe, nagugulat sila dito sa Copenhagen. No? Mm -hmm. Kasi alam naman natin, hindi naman lagi nagkakalaban yung two teams na yan. And hindi sila masyado aware siguro sa yung playstyle lang Copenhagen. Which, uh, which is ang dami yung mga nangyari. Oh, oh. 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 Leaning that round for their 13th naman dito, sir. Grabe, ang layo na yan. Three rounds na lang. Kuha na nila tong series. And uh, for NIP, walang uh, opa si Esitag dito knowing na kailangan nila bumili. Kailangan na nila bumili kahit uh, kulang-kulang yung UT nila. And ito na yung last chance nila. Pre, feel ko. Mm -hmm. Ito, ito na. na. Very crucial round nga. Lagi natin sinasabi sa NIP, hindi na uh, kung hindi nila makonvert tong round na to, it's... Uh, be a possible uh, map or series na sa sign na nga si PH. No, Rush B. Mabilis na lang. Zyphon, dire-diretso dito. Babasagin yung frag. And oh, Rez with the 2K. Trying to help NIP. Dito sa round na to. 3v5 situation. And, oh my God. Basag dito yung uh, CPH. Nabasa ata yung Rush B setup doon ng... Uh, nabasa ata dito yung Rush B setup nila. Ang gagawin dito ng NIP. Hindi na kailan umangat. Nakakatakot pa rin na may dalawang AK and Galil. Para kay Hooksy. And sakto low lang din si Plopsky dito possible. Sino ba makauna? Si Plopsky pa rin yun na low HP. Papatay pa rin. And Hooksy and Nico dos na lang ang matitira. Uh, or lima yung pipitasin niya dito sa may uh, B-site. Mukhang yung bomb din. Iniitlogan na lang dun ni, uh, ni Plopsky. No? And I think it's, this is a possible round. Wait lang! What? Oh my God! 2v3 situation! Oh no. Patay pa si Plopsky! Make it a 2v2! Delikado pa din si Esitag and Res. Pasok What? pa sa site and hook si Witag Kalil! Oh What? my God! 2v5! Overpowered and overplayed dito yung NIP. Anong nangyari doon sa may B-site? Sobrang saklap. Grabe, nakahold lang din naman sila eh. Kaso, gumaan na yung mga robot aim natin sa CPH. Ganda na ng ginawa ng NIP doon. Expecting that B-Rush. Tamang-tama lang yung counter smokes na binato ni Plopsky and Res and Res. Ganda nung hold niya doon sa may B-Site. Ba't din the recovery coming from Nico Dos? Sir, grabe naman kayo. 2v5? 2v5. Tapos galil ha. Yung, yun? yung galil pa eh. Diba? Um, AK tas galil yung hawak. Si Plopsky, ang tagal na na nabuy time niya sa may Toxic. But the info, okay, Yabi na nakamark 10 lang. Saklap ng round na yun for um, NIP. Feel ko mababasag na yung nandito, yung, yung hope nila na maka, or mapigilan sa map point yung mga CPH. But Yabi is aware na anytime magiging aggressive sa B-short yung NIP with the FAMAS ni Res. Um, ito na yung pinapag-asa nila si Res. Uh, Mag-step up na rin dito sa ating match-up. Hindi siya halos nakakapatay. Sobrang um, uncharacteristic para kay Rez and Brolan stepping up. Wait lang. Si Brolan gumagalaw din with the A1S. Ganda ng timing. Nakita rin yung bump. So, CPH. 
Makuha pa rin naman yung uh, bomb doon sa may WC but the re-aggression dito ni Brolan possible na di magi aware yung CPH no nakaangat pa rin yung NIP and um, just in the right time ng uh, commitment dito ng CPH sa may A site tingnan natin oh the smoke and spam na para kay Brolan hindi pa siya tapos hindi makaangat at walang magandang trade dito yung uh, CPH and oh, ayun oh. pa nga yung triple kill para sa kanya hindi man lang siya mapapatay dito sa um, WC area, scout tag and SC tag with the scout. Si Nico Dos na lang ang matitira. Down to 12 seconds. Hindi abot yung time and spam. Nakasakot spam. Pero yung time wala. And NIP. Again, Brolan. Nagpapakilala ulit dito sa city side natin. Yep, kailangan talaga magpakilala, magpakilala ni Brolan. And uh, kailangan niya mapakita kung ano ba talaga yung halaga niya. Worth ba siya ng ilang... Uh, thousands of dollars nga pa talaga dito and ito mo naman siya yung nag-step up for that round yung mga timing na re-aggressions niya just in time para magulat yung side ng CPH kung baka di talaga silang mga form eh pinapwesto ka nila yung WC siguro tinatry nila mag-exec doon but Roland keeps up shutting up uh, angles doon para sa CPH hindi makapag-try na fast connect oh, no. but Roland Connected yan ni Brolan dito, gets 2k, gets hooks yan sa iPhone, and he will leave connector, okay na yun, mad advantage na Nakasalo naman dito yung offer nila, which is si, um, uh, no I mean, uh, eh, si Tag dun sa may uh, divider area Lagas na nga dito ang players ng CPH, 3v5 situation, and, uh, ang hirap pa, broken by pa pala broken to sir Broken by, ang hirap pa, or, hirap din talaga mag-close out yung CPH, no? Si Iki pre na kata. Pwede pa. Oh, no. Favor yung bigyan din si Nico dos ng isang rifle dito. Oo. Oh, Pwede na lang uh, mabaliktad. May nakita ba? Mm -hmm. I'm going for the info play lang muna yung CPH. Pero nakadalawa na si Brolan eh. Yep. Hindi nila pwede sayangin yun. Lesson learned na kanina na, na 2v5 sila. Hindi na sila, oh, di nila yung uulitin yung uh, mistake na yun. Oop. <laughs> May nagulat. Nagulat siya. Sobra hata sa kape dito. Mm, sobrang, si si, sobrang ano ni Nico Dos dito. Oh, ulap na ulap. Sabi naman yung mga reaction time. Also yung op na kanina niya pa pinapainit. Map 1 pa lang. Nandito rin sa map 2. Si NIP counter utilities. Para lang uh, madelay dito yung uh, CPH. Close angle pa si Yabi. Tingnan natin kung maganda swing. Okay, Yabi gets one. Sakto, load din si Brolan. And ito na lang si Hampus na yung pinapag dito ng NIP. If ever man, di pa makapitas dito si Hampus. Pero yung bomb oh. in trade dito ni Yabi. Enough lang yung time para ma-plant. And a 1v2 situation. Hoping for the swing. Sana kaso hindi rin enough yung time. And si Res yung nakatapat niya dun. With the FAMAS and a headshot. Para lang dun kay Yabi. Yep. Hmm. Siguro kung kinumit niya yung plant na yun... Pwedeng pwede, pwede pa, pa o. Oh. I mean, makakaabot naman yun. Siguro may one second mm. pa siya para... And may pera sila. Di ba? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dagdag uh, pera din. Ito nga. And uh, yun na nga, Brolan stepping up dito for NIP. Um, getting those two rounds, very important nun for NIP para makabawi naman lang or makaipon ng uh, pera kahit pa paano. But then, kailangan nila mapigilan si Brolan, sir. If ever gusto pa nila makaisang... Uh, Round pa dito. So, it's gonna be full eco for CPH. Taamang takbo yun lang yung dalawang player towards Ilong. Feeling nila walang tataong batro. Gusto nyo pang pumik dito knowing Esitag loves to hold that angle sa may party area. Oop, sakto lang. Hindi nakita. Oop, naririnig na. Esitag, babalik na dito. Oxy, trying to get a pick off dito. But, uh... Another nade, eh na. Oop, hindi umabot. But, uh, row, got tagged. Siya pa yung nalulog. Ayaw niya dun. So na sana na makanakaw ng makanakaw ng frag CPH dito with their glocks but sobrang imposible na to no? near impossible para lang makuha or uh, makuha nila yung round sa NIP full of rifles yung kalaban nila dito and man dami rin nilang utility hindi talaga makakaangat yung mga glocks but with the right timing sobrang pwede pa no the off guard delikado yung ginagawa dito nila eh si Tag at yung glock ni Ro na kuhampus Good for two, but Brolan na siya yung uh, sumagip sa dalawang player niya dun sa NIP, no? Ruxi, ang matitira, 14 to 7 ang score. And NIP pa rin with the uh, momentum. Masasabi na natin na sa kanila naman yung momentum dito sa second half natin. Um, ang ganda ng economy. And sa CPH, 
eto na, gun round na naman para sa kanila. Yep. Tingnan natin kung map point. Ito yung sinasabi natin dito na maraming opportunity itong CPH na may panalo itong T-Side since malaki yung naipondo nila ng CT. Eh. Naka-11 rounds sila. But dito naman sa second half, 3 rounds pa lang ang uh, naiimbak nila dito para sa board line. And uh, it's gonna be their second by round. Kailangan ng um, makabawi dito yung uh, CPH. No? If ever hindi sila makabawi, momentum naman for NIP. Tuloy-tuloy yung rounds nila dito. And dito mo naman bro lang nagpapainit na tuloy-tuloy na yung uh, aggression niya dito and also eh si eh, si Tag gumagana na rin yung op niya map 1 pa lang diba map 1 pa lang contact play it's gonna be executed Uy, pwede ko last yan pre yup yung kulat nga dito the spacing is not right and yun nga just in time no pag the repi coming from Esi that was too early hindi yan pwede kay Nicodas but bro lang saktong sakto lang dito gets to the spray transfer connected and it's gonna be Zyphon and Nicodas down yung killers pa nga nila ng uh CPH doon. So, it's gonna be 2v4 situation. It's only up to Abby and uh, Hooksy. One minute remaining and the bomb is still dropped dito sa mid-top connector era. Will we see a flash dito? Oh, oh my Dabit god! Bigla nasa mukha niya, no? Nakabilis. A1S pa yun. Narinig na rinig ni Hooksy. Uh, 2v3 situation. Hooksy got tagged. And um, let's see kung uh, CPH, mare-recover ba nila itong uh, round na to Sakto, low lang din si Hooksy. Tatlong players sa side ng NIP, walang kagalos-galos. Or si Plopski lang, parang kinurot lang yung HP niya dito, no? 20 seconds, plant the bomb. Let's see, oh, datag din kay Abby. Mukhang delikado dito and easy kill lang to para kay Hampus. Ayun na nga, 2K para sa kanya. 14 to 8 ang ating score. Looking forward na NIP maka double digit na rin dito like, um right after mag yung init ng CPH yep try in uh, also bro lang pre consistent siya every round nakaka multi kill siya hindi lang pwede yung isa sa kanya eh kumbaga either 2 kills or 3 kills lang dito para kay bro lang and kailangan talaga mapigilan ng CPH yung mga bigla ang pushes na ganun and you need to be aware that bro lang is Kumbaga, Roland can be anywhere on the side of uh, map. Eh, no? Pwede siya mapunta sa connector, pwede mapunta sa B-short, pwede siya mapunta sa may party. Alam ko, mm -hmm. kinagawa rin niya ni Roland. And, uh, ayun nga, hindi napipigilan yung mga mid-round pushes dito ng NIP. So, doon napapanish yung CPH. And Rez having full command doon sa may B-short area. And the oh, top and the wall coming from Esita. Good headshot, good wall bang. It's gonna be a man advantage agad for NIP. Oh, the Deagles! Oy, rifle yung kalaban oh. nila. And ang ganda ng ano ng ginagawa na NIP, no? Passive lang. anti eco sa side na kalaban ng Yabi with the Deagle na pakatapang oh. taking down Plopski. What? 4v4, open yung B site ngayon para sa ng CPH pero dito pa rin sila pupunta sa BA. Mo fake bilang yon at iwala sa call. Yabi nakadalawan oh. sa B pero wala pang reaction sa mga teammates niya. Oh! Oh my god, yung tap! tap! Sobrang walang yaka nga doon, Yabi. 2v2 situation. And again, this is a deagle round for the side of CPH. Napakahirap, bro, lang yung esetag. Medyo na lumalamig yung mga kamay nila dito. Well, Yabi, going or parang talagang hindi pa siya tapos sa mission. Since nakuha niya tong B, the king of the B side is here. And esetag, nakatulog doon si, si esetag. And that's a 4K. Malinis na malinis para kay um, Yabi. Down to 42. But uh, Brolan. Ito na si Brolan. Baka, baka mamaya may baon din to. And uh, info. Narinig ba? And also yung pagtalo niya din sa Maya Water. Nico Dos. Kailangan mo tumulong dito. Nakaapat na si Yabi. To open the site. Makakita ba tayo ng swing? Or pick ka sa akin, uh, Idol. And let's see. Smoke. Kailangan na lang i-defuse ngayon ni Brolan. But a 2v1 situation. Ipit dito si Brolan. And hinaharot lang ni Yabi. Good uh, buy some time lang. Para ngayon kaya Yabi. 1v1. But Brolan will win the duel. Enough buy in time. Oh no. Oh no. Saktong sakto Sakto lang. Na Idol. And NIP. Grabe after that Bro, round ni Yabi. Sobrang na disappoint. Ata uh, dun yung bata na to no. Ay, ay, ay. Yep. Sayang clutch yung apat niya dun. Skulder. Okay, maximum effort coming from this kid. Yabi. Kita mo naman. 
Uwang kuha niya yung oh. B-Sight and... Grabe, oh, Grabe talaga that. yung tutok niya, pre. Ang hirap talaga pag naka, nakalaban mo yun sa contact lane. Yun <laughs> e, yung mga... Logi ka na agad. O, oh, pre. Yan e, yung isa sa mga kakatakutan mo pag uh, naglalakad ka sa isang parte ng mapa na mag-isa. No? So, sayang yun for CPH, but uh, a better clutch coming from Broland. So, suking-suking talaga sila dito kay Broland. Mapa early round, mid round, or late round. Even though sa clutch situations, no? So, it's gonna be 14 to 9. Bawing bawi talagang NIP dito, humahabol pa sila. But eh, si Tag win and naman. May pera pa naman sila dito. And eh, another decent guns for uh, CPH. Oh, so good tag. Para dito kay Hampus. Pero kiliti lang yan. Para kay Zypho na na-full ko na. Oh, oh wait lang. sa nagaling yun? Binawian siya. Series na nagawa nung kanina sa may connector eh. 5v4 and a man advantage. We'll go for the side of CPH. Again, uh, magaling sila na maka makakuha ng opening frags. Pero ano eh, minsan naiipit din sila. Hindi natin masabi na, ay nako, CPH uh, round na yun. Uh, look at NIP. Kahit down sila ng isa, hindi pa rin mamabasag yung uh, setup nila dito. 2-2 setup. And yung A players, nakaangat. Para lang mapantayan sa tao, ito nga CPH. Naku, masyadong malayong flick pero hindi pala flick okay. yun. Mas mabilis pa rin yung... Uh, Pag-repo ng kanyang aim and May let's see. Lang. Quick adjustment. Hindi naman siya flick. And a 4v4. Sale Ese Tag. Doing the Nico the Sway. Parang <laughs> kanina lang din sa mga WC area. Hopper. Yung naghahanap no, ng frag. Para sa CT. Ika do. 20 seconds remaining. Kalaban din ng um, CPH yung time nila dito. And I think nag-aabang lang talaga. And mukhang delikadong round na for um, GPH and the rotation is in. But Yabi, Plapski din. Papatay din sa may B-site. Yung bomba nandun. Si Ro yung magagagawa uh, ng ingay sana. Together with Nico Dos. But uh, double digit round for the side of NIP. Yup. Um, Copenhagen dun. Sinubukan nila nga yung i-fake yung A-site. And really, Yabi. Tinry niya talaga makaisa dun. And kailangan na talaga nilang mag-go dun since wala ng time. And... Uh, Good idea naman for Copenhagen. Kaso lang, hindi na pa-rotate yung players doon ng uh, NIP since baon na baon sila doon sa may bilong area. Yung setup nila kasi is for bilong late round. And yun na nga, masyadong malayo yung setup nila. Siguro kung setup nila around ABC lang or even papaparotate agad yung, ano dun eh, yung NIP. But setup-wise, not enough yung uh, pagbasa dito ng CPH. Hindi pa nila masyado gets yung... Uh, later on na uh, setup na ginagawa ng NIP no and uh, eh si Tag ganda nung ginagawa niya dito kumbaga siya talaga yung nagmamando doon sa may banana area and uh, WC kumbaga kulit mm -hmm. niya eh. pwede siyang sa loob pwedeng sa labas minsan nagho-hold lang siya so uh, CPH med medyo nahihirapan mag map control doon since si eh si Tag na yung best doon sa may A site and a better B site setup pa so Gonna be 14 to 10. First double digit na to ng NIP. Magdedere-derecha na to. Oo, oh, pre, kanina pa yan. CPH. Ilang beses na sila natalo sa mga gun rounds sila. Also this round. Yep. Look at the economy. 200. Uh, 1K. So, sobrang saklap ng pangyayari ng CPH. Mukhang napagana yung Curse of 14 na ano dito. Ah. Laso na. Ay, mukhang Curse of 14 mm -hmm. pa nga Oh, wait lang, Ayabi. Oh. Taking the grounds. Good nade ba yun? And the Molotov. Oh. Para lang maparepo. Good for one. Ang ganda. No trade okay. sa iPhone. Mabilis na lang din. Um, 4v3 situation. Kailangan hindi na mag-isip dito yung mga CPH. No? Huwag na sila mag-hesitate dito sa may B-site. Kaso, maray pa naman time. Good counter utility. Sampos making it a uh, one-way smoke. So may B and the off angle. Or um, off angle na ginawa doon ni Brolan. Hindi aware si Hooks. Hindi, hindi mala siya napacheck. Doon sa may uh, connector side while Nico does oh. Oh, Yung kill feed lang yung tinitignan ko Idol and yep. patay pa yung IGL dito na NIP Paano kaya to row with a good flank Kaya nga pa nga hinahanap yan um, Pamilyar to ah no? yeah, Pamilyar to, uh, to. row will clear the site for his teammates Well eh si Tag well, Very aware naman na may flank na mangyayari dito Kaso lang lusot na lusot na si row dito sa may heaven area just in time to equalize that round So it's gonna be 2v2 situation It's only up to Brolan and Esitaki Knowing na si Brolan Kanina pa kumaklatch yan yan for NIP Saka si Esitag yung kasama Low si Zyphon 
Tingnan natin, magandang crossfire lang, hindi rin, uh, uh, wala pang info dito yung NIP, but the gun barrel, Nico, just with the punish kay Brolan. Puso S, ito lang matitira, siya pa yung upper and a map point for the side of CPH. 15 to 10 ang ating uh, score, isa na lang at uh, the series will go for uh, CPH. If ever man magganto yung uh, play side nila, grabe gumana na yun eh. Nagbunga na yung ginagawa ni Rono. Kanina pa siya gumagapang doon sa may A. Pero ngayon lang siya nakahanap ng magandang timing. Yup. And uh, yun na nga yung sinasabi nito. Yung difference nga ng both teams. no So yung Copenhagen. Gustong gusto talaga nila po pressure from all sides of the map eh. And uh, NIP. Kilala natin yan na sama-sama gaming pag uh, kumukontrol ng era. And feeling ko too much pressure for NIP. Masyadong marami silang naririnig. Masyadong maraming contact plays ang nagaganap doon. But then again... Recovery daw naman for CPH. Yung nang ganda pa nung flank ni Rodon para maklear yung a set Leading to a post-plan situation. Napakahirap na nga yun for ANIP. Every round is a must. Sana dito sa NIP. Kaso hindi nag enough yun. Ang ganda nung salitan or um, refrag ng CPH. Sila yung ano eh. Mas pansin mo. Bigla nila si Nico. Dos mumipitas kahit na naka -op. Yep, Hilfid na nga lang yung nakita natin doon. Di natin alam kung saan nang galing yun. And uh, NIP, walang pera dito. Ah, uh, sakla. pistols and walang UT masyados. Only smokes. And a uh, couple of flashes. So, uh, how, will this, how will they work this out? No? Pero yung hirap yan. Molotov, good molly. Going for the info, ang CPH uh, AKs against uh, pistols. Yep. Hirap na ito ha ah. uh, Low utility din yung NIP no? Iantay na lang Oh wait lang Lamang na sila agad sa tao Rest with the headshot Doon kay Ro Oh my gosh Nakakaw pa ng AK si Hampus 5v4 And a possible round pa nga sa NIP to Sana hindi lang magpalason na ulit Yung um, CPH Kung gusto talaga nila kunin Itong mapa Huxi lalabasan ba yung smoke? Kilala natin siya na lumalabas talaga sa smoke, no? Pero away ba dito? Hooksy with the headshot. Take it down, SC Tag. But the trade is there. Flaps give it the 5-7. Nagulat lang din kay Yabi. Zyphon din. Pwede the wall bang. 3v2 situation. Brolan ni Hampus na lang ang matitira. And a 40 seconds left. Makakapag-plant yung CPH. Pero yung flank. Tito ni Brolan. Ang ganda ng timing. Hindi agad magkiklear. But ayun na nga. Nico does aware na aware. Only Hampus ang matitira. Tatlo yung kalaban. Tito. Meron siyang AK, gets one, sakto load din si Habi, uh, Yabi. Pwede niya mapapatay, 1v1 situation, but Nico does almost para kay Hampus. 16 to 10 ang ating scoreline. And look at the high para sa side ng uh, CPH. Grabe yung struggle nila doon sa 14 rounds lang, no? Dere-derecho, eh. Yup, and uh, really nice try for NIP. Hindi naman... Uh... Sobrang one-sided nung map na yon But, then again, kita natin, hirap na hirap talaga sila dito against Copenhagen. Kung baga, usapang setups, mas basa nila eh, no? Mm -hmm. Ganda nung uh, mga timings nila sa pag-exec na site or yung mga contact plays nila. And ang gusto, gusto ko nga dito sa Copenhagen is may pressure sila from all sides of the map. Hindi lang uh, isa yung gumagana dito. Lahat ng players nag-take initiative. Hindi sila natatakot. Okay lang mabatay. Pero, may map control sila eh, na yun nga. Open Hagen. Open Hagen. yun sir ha. From the uh, digit na map 1. Tapos din nila, uh, nila dito sa map 2. Kahit na map nag short. Na oh, map na NIP. Medyo nag short lang ng konti dun sa overpass. Yep. But still sila ang mananalo. And qualified na sila. Agad sa ating uh, major no. Kasama na sila doon ng uh, players. And uh, yun na nga guys, mabilisan lang or hindi naman din gaano kabilis yung series natin Pero that's a 2-0 Mananalo yung CPH, NIP, isang win pa Sobrang kailangan nila para lang maka-qualify dito sa ating major And parang di, di rin sila mapunta sa challenger stage Iba eh, parang NIP mapupunta sa challenger stage Parang ano, kakaibang ano yun ha Kakaibang uh, pangyayari naman yun this uh, journey nila no mm -hmm. Pero ano mo naman sasabi mo doon? Sino ba yung MVP mo sa matchup na yun, pre? In para sa akin si Yabi talaga eh. Yabi? Oo, kasi kanina pa siya naka... Ano may yung unexpected place talaga sa kanya nang gagaling. And uh, mm -hmm. yung, uh, fire, yung firepower talaga ng Copenhagen. Kumbaga sa, sa kanya nagsisimula. Then 
pag uminit siya, panadadala yung teammates niya. Eh. Kita mo naman, dami niyang tinaray doon, i-clutch na round. Dami niyang multi-kills, dami niyang good holds doon. And uh, yung sakto-sakto nga lang talaga yung mga rotations nila. And uh, feel ko MVP dito si Yabi. Yabi. Na, last match, yung last match naman natin, siya rin naman yung MVP doon with a staggering 1.67 rating. And... Pero may MVP na ba tayo direct dito or wala pa? Oh, wala pa tayo. Wala, And wala. then nga, sa amin ni... Um, now for yep. Yabi sa side oh, ng uh, si Pitch. No? Kaso, natin. kaso overpass map eh. Doon naman sa vertigo, Ay, diba? Sino ba yung mas nag-up of rate? Parang Xiphon din eh. No, Xiphon. Silang dalawa talaga yung... Xiphon hindi ko dos eh. Silang dalawa yung nagpapalitan or nagsasalus dito. Pwede hindi ko dos din. Kasi siya yung early pick. Eh. Oo. Consistent rin kasi siya eh. Since uh, CT side and T side, nakakapatay rin naman siya. And... Um, Consistent yung mga impact frags niya, lalo na nung city side, yung mga re-aggressions niya with his op dun sa may WC area. And also, eh, si Tag na. Diba nga, tinatry niya yung... Uh, mm. Parang pare sila ng idea ni uh, Nico doon sa pag-op eh, no? But then again, mas maganda lang yung space na nabigay ng team Copenhagen doon, lalo na nung mga late rounds, nung mga B-site re-hit nila. Yung mga ganun, eh, mahirap pigilan eh. Nilang beses na sila nadalo doon. So it's gonna be a win for... Copenhagen. 2-0 din yun. Tapos, yep. knowing na NIP, ando na si Brolan. Nakita natin na yung mga frag si Brolan, impactful din eh, di ba? Yeah. Hindi lang talaga, ano, hindi lang enough yung effort niya dun yep. para mabuhat or makeri pa niyo yung uh, team niya. Um, oh. Also, siguro si Plopski medyo nag lang din dun sa pag ng frags uh-huh. ng first half. Nung uh, City pa sila, medyo nahirapan dito yung uh, NIP and uh, CPH. Sobrang rock solid performance oh, yun, dito sa kanilang uh, series. Oo, oh, pre. Mm-hmm. So, uh, ayos na. Napaka unexpected, pre. Nag-expect ako sobra talaga for NIP since nandyan na nga kasi si Brolan. No? And ganda pa nang pinakita nila ng last match against Bad News, Bad News Eagles. Eagles. Mm-hmm. Yung pa. And uh, let's see, ay na nga guys ang kwento, 2 and 0 ang ating uh, series um, CPH, kaabang-abang na team dito sa ating um, RMR stage pa lang. And uh, for us, mga magpapahalam muna kami, yep. this is Kenoit, ayan, like and uh, follow nyo na rin yung uh, page ko. Yep, and this is Nafu, Nafu CS go lang sa FB.GG. Yep. And uh, yun nga, shout sa mga viewers namin sa YouTube oh. and also sa Facebook. Um, comment section natin ha. Thank you, thank you sa panonood dito sa Focus Fire Gaming and huwag nyo kalimutan na i-check out din yung rivalry.com um, slash Focus Fire na site. No? Uh, bet na kayo dyan or uh, kapag may mga deposit needs kayo, PM lang kayo sa aming uh, page and also may chat support dyan 24-7 na sasagot sa inyo. And uh, for us, maraming salamat sa mga, uh, sa mga nakinood sa NIP versus uh, Copenhagen Flames. Again, this uh, Fili- uh, official Filipino broadcast of uh, PGL EU RMR dito lang yan sa Focus Fire Gaming. This is Keanu Reeves and welcome to Rush Lane. Rush Lane is a new intense multiplayer racing game where you can compete against real players to win real money. Set in the towering crime-filled metropolis of Hub City. Here champions put their life on the line for glory, power and riches in the ultimate death race known as the Rush Lane. How does it work? Simple. Pay a small stake to jump into the next race. All the stakes go into the prize pool, so the more players, the more money there is to win. Once enough players join, the race is on. 
races last just a couple of minutes and are fully automated. Rush Lane is driven by our unique physics-based randomness engine. Starting positions, track segments, and traps are all randomly generated, and we've tested over 10,000 races to ensure no player has any advantage over another. Cheer on your racer as they scream down the winding city streets and through mysterious alternate worlds filled with dangerous traps and pitfalls. The first player to cross the finish line wins the biggest share of the prize pool. But don't worry, the top few finishes are also in the mix to win. The exact number of winners will change depending on how many players were in the race. The more players, the more winners. Rush Lane is live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so you can jump into the action anytime you want. Good luck out there, racers. <laughs>